everybody, I'm Zenith Warrior Princess. Welcome back to Zen Streams, where I stream one of the numerous different video games in my collection. However, today is very special. Um, the big thing about today is that today is uh, a charity stream. Uh, the origin of this is actually pretty obvious. Uh, a while back, uh, this guy named H Bomber Guy did a very successful. Uh, I think it was 100% uh, Donkey Kong uh, 64. 101%. 101% run of uh, nonstop of Donkey Kong 64. And all the money from that stream was donated to Mermaids, which is a charity uh, that supports trans people. And ever since then, I kind of wanted to do something like it, but I didn't know how to do it. And, you know, I was just starting streaming at the time, so I wanted to make sure that you know, things were set. Right now, I've been streaming for two years, officially, and uh, I, I, I think it's t high time that I step up my game and actually, like, start doing stuff. Um, but also, there's another reason for the stream. Uh, I just got um, the first surgery for my transition. I've been in transition, uh, male to female, for about three years now, and I just got my orchiectomy. Uh, for those who don't know, that is a surgical removal of the testicles, so I don't have testosterone running around. It's, you know, it's uh, an interesting development, and I'll talk more about that in a minute, but I just had my first big trans surgery, and beforehand, I was doing a Pokemon stream where a bunch of uh, very rambunctious trolls came in and had to be banned and uh <sighs> yeah i decided after that stream since i was going to get my surgery anyway we're going to do some charity and um so today is a 24 hour super mario odyssey stream where any donation is going directly to the trevor project now the trevor project uh is a group that helps with suicide prevention for trans youth, LGBT, um, and they're very highly rated. Um, so my initial goal for this 24 hour stream is uh, for us to get $100. However, um, I do have interesting news regarding that. My girlfriend Ari told me this morning that she intends to donate $100 herself to the Trevor Project. Aww. So Sweet. <laughs> um, um, guys, what what time is it, time is it over there in New York? In, in is it the time? Is it one o'clock now? No, is this is 12? the this is the opening stuff. It's preliminary part of the stream. Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It's... Over here, it's. Over here, for like, uh, yeah, first, like, 2, 2 a.m. in the morning here in Australia, so, yeah, that's why I'm acting, like, real low-key. <laughs> it, it is yeah. right now noon. It is noon. Um, but anyway, uh, we're, we're just doing the opening stuff now because it's going to take a while to talk about all of it. Um, but anyway, so, Ari is planning to donate $100 to the Trevor Project um, when she gets her next paycheck. Um, she surprised me with that today, but... Um, so, you know, anything else that gets donated will also help support the Trevor Project, which again is, you know, we're, we're gonna, you know, raise some money for trans, for trans youth. We want to get that going. Um, so in that vein, this is the trans charity stream while we play Super Mario Odyssey. Um, but before we get started in my 24 hour, uh, marathon trying to get all the moons, um, Couple things. <laughs> As a player of Odyssey, I can tell you right now, you are going. You are. Oh God, you're in for a shock. There are so. There's many there's them. 999 moons. There's 999 <laughs> moons in the game, and we're gonna try to get as many as we can. Um, and yes, I we're we're gonna take breaks. I I, I have planned breaks. We're gonna keep hydrated. I have special guests that will be coming in later in the stream. Um, as, Ooh. as things come up, um, and Chiaki is going to open the door behind me and scare me every single time because I forget she's in the house. <laughs> um, <laughs> um, but yeah, so I, uh, just a preliminary, I have been in transition for about three years. 
I have been on hormones uh, for two years. Uh, I've taken electrolysis for about a year and a half, getting rid of facial hair, and it's it's taking its sweet time. And I have also, uh, hello Chiaki, say hi to the people on the camera. Say hi. Hello. Hello. <laughs> um, so yeah, uh, I, I've been working on that for a while, but um, this year for me has been the year of surgeries. Earlier this year, I had major chest surgery for a birth defect that's not related to transition. Um, but uh, I wanted to, you know, while I was on medical leave, get something actually done. So we had uh, my orchiectomy scheduled for while I was on medical leave. And um, the, the thing with that is when you take hormones for a certain amount of time, uh, the testicles tend to shrink and uh, atrophy so there were definitely like uh random days where they would be hurting for no particular reason it would be like you get kicked in the nuts um and it's not fun so i'm just like you know what why don't we get this taken care of um orchiectomy was a very simple procedure i went in on monday um i got the surgery started with like around like 9 30 9 45 and i got out at two they, they uh, had my friend drive me home, and uh, as of today, my pain is mostly gone. Um, it's a, you know, it, it's a routine procedure in case you have, like, testi testicular cancer or um, other things, but they also do it uh, for, for trans, uh, male to female, and people who just don't want to have to deal with that anymore. So um, that wasn't too bad, actually. I'm, I'm, it, I don't have any pain right now, which is good. Um, hey. <laughs> uh, I'm, I, the first day was a little bit loopy because anesthesia just kind of knocked me out. Um, but I went to Miriam Hospital over in um, Providence and they did a really great job. They were all very nice over there. And uh, I know they gave me something to help with uh, anxiety because I don't like anesthesia whatsoever. And uh, yeah. <laughs> uh, altogether, it was just, uh, it, it was it was certainly an interesting experience. It was better than getting my chest surgery, simply because after this chest surgery, I was in the hospital for a week, and it hurt like I got hit with a truck. This was more just like, you know, it, it, it's like getting kicked in the nuts repeatedly. Um, but, you know, it, it was a lot These easier. These both sound like such pleasant experiences. Well, I mean, would you rather get hit by a truck or kicked in the nuts? Yeah, true. Well, I mean, in your situation now, then, now in your situation, then you can't get kicked in the nuts, so, you know. I am going to... Love you, uh, Tifa. <laughs> I'm going to take my leave now to go to work. I will see y'all in hopefully about four and a half hours. Yep. See ya. Later, man. Oh. Uh, so, oh. yeah, um, it, it was a very interesting experience, um, but... Recovery has, has started, and I wanted to kind of give back. And uh, so what we're going to do for the next 24 hours is we're going to be playing Super Mario Odyssey. Super Mario Odyssey, we're going to try to get as many moons as we can. And for those of you who want to help me support the Trevor Project, you too can donate. Uh, look at the links underneath the Twitch page. So if you go on my Twitch channel and look there, just click on the... Super Zenny Odyssey picture, and it'll take you directly to the Tiltify donation link, and your name will pop up on screen, and we can celebrate your donation, uh, if you Yay. so wish. Ooh. Also, I'm here now since Rosen's got I am the mod. Yes, <laughs> yeah, we have we have uh, we have a bunch of mods here. We got a bunch of friends in, and we have more coming throughout the day. Um, and we also have a cat on my lap, and she, Aww. Chiaki, is being very nice today. Oh, that's so sweet. Chiaki's adorable. Hold on, hold on, let me lower the camera. Yeah, oh. there she is. There she okay. is. Hey. There's a little delay in my footage, but I'll see you in a second. Good. <laughs> <laughs> oh, there 
There's Shiroki! No! There she is. I can see her now. And, uh, oh my god! <laughs> ben, your leggings are so cute! <laughs> yes, oh, the, they are really adorable. The, those are my cat leggings. I actually got them at Con Bravo. Um, Cat gave them to me. So, uh, yeah. Um, <laughs> Alright. So, are you guys ready to uh, to do the Odyssey? Odyssey! 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 Yes, see. Oh, oh, oh. Switch news. Uh, October 18th. Be prepared for that day, because that's the day a hat in time comes, comes to Switch. Switch. I heard about that. I'm yeah. very excited. Um, try playing with detached Joy-Cons. Well... Oh wait, you know what I just realized? And I, I thought what? I had the pro controller. I don't. This is the uh like the mount. It's not the pro controller. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> yeah, the, yeah the, pro, the pro controller is like a hundred bucks down here. Oh, okay. Yeah. My, my brother my brother got the um because when we were when I was getting my Switch, which is my Switch, but he helped me get some games as well, uh, for the time being. Uh he got the Smash Ultimate uh, box that comes with the game and also a, a Smash Ultimate themed Pro Controller. So I was really lucky in that aspect because like, otherwise I probably wouldn't be getting a Pro Controller this early on. But yeah, so the Pro Controller honestly is one of my favorite like controllers for a system currently because it's just really comfortable. It's just, it's basically a 360 controller that, but with a D-pad that's not utter shit. <laughs> yeah. Oh no, something's happening. It's so we we're starting off with Mario and Bowser fighting. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I haven't seen that one before. <laughs> <laughs> and he has a pretty pimp and top hat. You have to admit. Oh. He's looking dapper as fuck. <laughs> yeah. Dapper and as all get out. <laughs> and he's finally because he's like I'm finally going to marry Peach. Damn it. Hey Max. I think, that's like first, I, think that's, I think that's like the first time in like um, I think that's like the first time in a proper mainline Mario game where that's actually been like his like the way they've cl clarified that yes that's his motivation because obviously the Paper Mario games exist but I think like this is the first time where in a mainline Mario game it's like yeah Bowser wants to like actually marry Peach. Yeah, he's just like uh, instead of kidnapping you, let's just kidnap you and get married. Like that's. That's that's all the motivation yeah. I need. I'm gonna make I'm gonna make an honest woman out of you. I mean, come on, I've been I've been raising Bowser Jr. I've been raising our kid all on our own for the last ten goddamn years. <laughs> so I you mean, should you, 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 just you, a floozy. You see what I had to deal with. You see what I had to deal with. You <laughs> I, I, I love how Switch, I, I love how, I love switch how, parental um, control app. <laughs> I love how um, Johnny mentions in his review, like how in Super Mario Sunshine, uh, when like you know Bowser Jr. says like you're not gonna take my mama away, and Peach is like, wait, mama, I'm your mama, and she has to like stop and consider it and like think about it. So it's like, oh my god, it's like she doesn't even remember being goddamn pregnant. <laughs> okay, I'm I'm fighting and I'm going after a ghost. No, it's a friendly ghost. Is, Look at it, it's so it, cute! Is it Casper? Well, yeah, it's just, Casper. it has your hat, go after it! <laughs> it has bits of your hat, let's be legit here. <laughs> Who am I? It's I'm just... Mario, don't, don't, don't you see from the overalls? Like, gosh, guys... Oh, yes! I, see, the thing is, I only played uh, Super Mario 64 at my friend's house, so I, I never like got used to like some of the stuff. But I I know how to do the backflip, and uh, the controls are nice. Oh yeah. <laughs> yeah, from what yeah from what I've seen of, of Odyssey, and I, I've I, like I said before, I haven't <laughs> played it, but um, Odyssey looks probably like it would be my favorite 3D mainline Mario game because. I know this is blas blasphemy, but I actually wasn't Shut up too big money. on Galaxy 1. I actually love Galaxy 2, but Galaxy 1, I feel like, had a little bit of missed potential. Ooh, uh, Tifa, like, thank uh, you for the $20 donation. Hooray! Oh, man, we're already... Hmm. Already. <laughs> you, you gotta break this skull by the, damn, by the end of the goddamn hour. Yeah, look, we're like a, you're like a quarter in. Hmm. I mean, never mind the fact that we're, we're supposed to be starting in, in 45 minutes. I thought oh, I and there we go. Fun. It updated. Sweet. Oh, okay, I was I was just making sure that everything updated. We are twenty. Uh, we we are not even 
like a little bit in, I may have to update the goal. <laughs> but thank why, you so much, we, Tifa. Why is it that I had uh, you, you told me to put the uh, to, to me put it at one p.m. instead of twelve? Uh, because I was originally going to do it at one p.m., but I decided not to wait. <laughs> of course. <sighs> oh, you made my mom colors pink. <laughs> Aww. And Tifa says trans rights. Damn it! And she's right. And hello, Rob Cowboy. Can we get AOC in here yet? I mean, is she available? <laughs> I I don't personally know her, but we do have guests eventually in the evening. <laughs> God damn it, H-Bomb, you really set the bar to god damn fucking hell. I'm gonna say god damn it. Hey, Rom, uh, the, the goal right now is currently $100 because I wanted to start small, but apparently, you know, my, my girlfriend has already got to donate $100, so we're at, we, we've reached people 120 you, People aren't letting you uh, start smalls in. People aren't letting you. <laughs> well, well, thank you so much, everybody. Time travel paradox. <laughs> Um, oh, anyway, yeah, so sorry for running away like that. You startled me, and I do startle easily. Aww. I saw what happened earlier. You've been through quite the ringer. You've landed in the Cap Kingdom. You've been under attack by the same uh, Bowser monster that gave you such a trouncing. It has an emoji. <laughs> and to make matters worse, the fiend has kidnapped my little sister. Tiara, oh no. Ari is a tsundere, I, I do have to admit. <laughs> you, here, here's the thing, you guys, I, I she comes off as abrasive, and she doesn't mean it, it's just her disposition growing up on 8 Mile. <laughs> but she, she's a tsundere, she's a sweetheart underneath that facade, trust me. <laughs> oh. And then we cut to, and we cut to her and she's just uh, doing M&M. &M. <laughs> no, she's, she's just going... Yeah, yeah. I, my girlfriend live lives off of Eight Mile. She she is in that neighborhood, and so she was raised very tough. So. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. How do you speak in emoji? I'd hope to chase that Bowser monster in a ship my own. The airships were wrecked in the attack. Oh, Final Fantasy is going to be pissed. <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> oh shit. I Although, now that I think of it, I'm fairly certain there's a functioning ship in the next kingdom. I could get us there if only I could reach the top of the Top Hat Tower, which is being guarded by the henchmen. Okay. It seems we're after the same thing. Perhaps we should team up. Let's see if we can't help those two. <laughs> I, I, emoji are a thing now. I don't... <laughs> well, yeah, come on. It's cute! <laughs> So Zen, I'm just checking. Do you want me to uh, post the thing on Reddit? Yes, you can start I've posting already, I've, now. I've already, I've already, I've already posted on Nintendo Switch, uh, and I think we already got seven upvotes in like three minutes. Oh, let me post. I'm gonna, I'm gonna post on Trans Gamers. I'm gonna post in my Discord. That's a good-looking hat, but Mario looks so confused. He's like, "What? Now what the hell is this?" <laughs> Ooh, my hat's back. It's a go time. It's a go. <laughs> Let's <-a> go. <laughs> it's a me, Mario, and I have eyes above my eyes. <laughs> okay, so Cappy's my companion. Okay, we throw with That's Y. Okay, so who's actually in this call right now? Right now, it um, is me. Uh, we have Phil, Ontariaku, and Miss Nightmare. Um, Where is this on? I haven't heard on Tiriaku. He he uh, he sounds similar to Philip, so you may have uh, you know. Oh God, damn. <laughs> Wee. My airship is ruined. Oh no. You okay? I'm ruined. Ooh, coins. No. <laughs> that was cool. I love that one flash. My airship. Ooh, coins, shiny. <laughs> Uh, how do I butt stop? Hmm. Oh, there we go. I just had to throw Cappy at it. Wait a minute. Uh, 
Uh, by the way, guys, this is entirely blind. I have not played this before, and um, <laughs> uh, you may be able to see, but um, uh, my uh, my Mario is very limited. I I have only played bits and pieces of Mario. It's not something I easily. I mean, it's not hard. Phrasing. <laughs> of course it's hard. <laughs> what does Ghost need with an airship? <laughs> Ooh. Um, Unleash the pigeons. Do we know who Rom Cowboy is? Rom is a friend of the stream. He's in our Discord. Oh. Okay, okay, because I almost mistook that for Raw Meat Cowboy, who is the guy who runs no Go Nintendo. So I was thinking, wait, has, anyone, has someone told him yet? I haven't contacted him yet. Alright. I've posted on my, my Discord. I posted in the normal Rosen Git Discord, because I think you forgot to do that. I'm gonna. Ooh. I could, like, Yay, I got a heart. <laughs> Yay, heart. Woohoo! Yeah, I me. Mean, I will just. Oh, just nice! As well. Yay! Yeah. I can yeah. backflip. Yeah, if you throw it on the little on the lamps, it will light them up. Ooh, nice! Thank you, Cappy. So yeah, my Mario experience is I my first ever video game that I owned was Super Mario Brothers One. Um, with Duck Hunt, so I do have experience with that. I was not very good at it because I was very young at the time, um, but I do have experience. Uh, I also played a lot of Super Mario 3, which I played a lot with my friends, but I only got as far as the second world because I was, like, very young at the time. Um, I, uh, I didn't own Super Mario World until, like, later, and I wasn't very good at it. Uh, what else? What else did I own? Um... I mean, my friend had Super Mario 64, so I played a little bit at his place. Um, he had Sunshine, and I played most of it at his place. And then uh, Super Mario get Ooh! I possessed a toad! Yeah! That's the fun of this game! You can possess anything! <laughs> oh, that's awesome! He's a Mario! <laughs> Rivet, rivet. Moment, uh, you, you said you said Toad, and for a second I thought you meant like an actual <laughs> Toad, like the character Toad, but nah. Frogo, no. <laughs> better than usual. Yeah, I think most of the time you just skin him and use him to swim around with. <laughs> oh God! <laughs> Look at his face. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, okay, I'm I'm a frog, Rivet. Poop. Ribbit. I love how we have you know, Charles Martinet having to do Ribbit. Cause... <laughs> me! This it's is so me. much fun. Frog Mario. I can't imagine a day when like Charles Martinet passes away. Because you know he's he's playing Mario till he, till he dies. I can't yeah. imagine a day where he passes away and like he's ha and someone has to replace his, replace him. Uh, oh, I'm sure. Look, I'm sure considering the fact that he barely said anything. <laughs> I mean, I think honestly, it's probably the most words he's ever said, ever. Even more than a uh, Mario teacher's typing too. <laughs> oh God. He wasn't. What? He wasn't in there, was he? Um, he it, it's, that, that's a meme. That's a meme. <laughs> so back to where I was beforehand. Uh, so I own Super Mario Galaxy. I have actually been the main campaign of that. So I've played a lot more of Galaxy than anything else. And uh, I own Galaxy 2, haven't played it, and I don't own any of the like new Super Mario Brothers games, which I hear mixed feelings on. I'm a frog. <laughs> this is just plain awesome. In terms of the, in terms of the Galaxy games, uh, like I was saying before, like I, I, I like Galaxy One's a fan, a fan favorite, and most people think that Galaxy 2 is like a down, like is a downgrade, but. Honestly, I think Galaxy 2 actually improves on a lot of the stuff that um, that Galaxy 1 offers. Um, I think Galaxy 2 is actually a re really, really good game. Galaxy 1 I, I like just fine, but I think it's a little too... I don't like using the O word, but maybe a little overrated. I think overhyped is more 
I think that, I think I it's it. better to look at both of them together as one game, honestly. In a lot of ways. Maybe, uh, but uh, I mean, Gak, I mean, but, I mean, Gak, I mean, yeah, Gak, two different. Have, Thank you for the follow, Dojo Eight. Thank you so much. <laughs> The only, the only real difference between Galaxy 1 and 2 is the inclusion of Lu is, uh, Luigi. Yoshi! That was different. I, I, think, I think in the new suits, I think there was a beast suit or something. Ooh, I got extra health. That's awesome. That's also, new. Also, Galaxy, really, Ga Galaxy 2 doesn't really have uh, Rosalina all, all that much, which, granted, is a plus in Galaxy 1's favor because Ros Rosalina's amazing. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. All right, so. Top hat tower. Yeah, so is that like, a, oh, it's a save point. The flagpoles are a save point. Okay. No, 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 oh yeah, the flagpoles, yeah. The monster has ruined because, everything. Because this because this is unlike, you know, previous uh, Mario games. You know how in like, say, 64 or Sunshine, you get to, you pick the star. You're yeah, to go for. you pick the mission. In this, in this one, in this one, there's like a whole linear giant adventure of like the main moon stars, and like there's like a couple dozen extra ones that are just hidden everywhere. Oh well, we have we have 22 people in this. Call. That's the most I've ever had. Hello, everybody. <laughs> Hi, everyone. The boss Hello. warned me they'd be a fellow with a mustache coming along. They're rabbits. These are these <laughs> are the wedding planets. Look at the guy in the blue in the blue outfit. What the? F he the, looks like they're rabbits. They're rab they're rabbit wedding planets. <laughs> Guess we ought to introduce ourselves. We are the wedding planets for the happy couple. <laughs> oh they call God, us the the, the, the brutals. <laughs> Okay. The brutals. <laughs> uh, th this is this is probably the weakest part of Odyssey, in my opinion. The bosses—they're like, there because it's basically just these four and like a <laughs> stupid old lady with a chomp dog, repeated like three times. All right, so we got let's... that treasure we needed. They—they—they're fighting me with hats. Okay. There we go. You you don't Boss seem so battle. tough. To... Boss battle. You don't seem too hot to me. Get the heart. Woo. The heart, Zenith. First, you start with the heart. <laughs> Use the darkness inside the heart. Woo. <laughs> Well, that was a yeah, quick. Yeah. <laughs> it may not be as quick as this one, though. Uh, uh, uh. And now I'm electricity. <laughs> yep. Off to. Oh man, I'm not gonna lie. The Dino World. When you first see this, get first see that in game, it's like, <gasps> damn. <laughs> Oh, you get the title screen. Yay. <laughs> Wait, why is followers only chat on? Oh, I need to change that. Uh, I... <whistles> Let me quickly change that. Oh, the reason I had put that before was because of the troll uh, that we had the other oh, day. Oh, yeah. So, let me fix this. Hold on. Yeah. Sorry, I was just trying to make sure everything was okay. Oh, the reason I had put that before... So, chat settings... Luckily, he's pissed off by now, because I remember he followed you with, like, his last one, and I was like, God damn, dude, find something else to do with your time, please? Chat settings... Okay. Off. Okay. Should be good now. Alrighty. Okay. And I just tweeted. 
All right, so there should be an old airship around here. Let's see if we can find it. This is basically Final Fantasy Mario. <laughs> yeah, Wait, in what? a way. Well, there's airships. Only with more dinosaurs and less gun blades. We need more key I'm blades. Not gonna, I'm, not, I'm not gonna lie, Mario having a gun blade right now sounds fucking awesome. <laughs> <laughs> Mario with a gun blade would be so funny. Oh dear god, now I have my head with Mario with the gun blade, damn it. Let's all do the Odyssey. Odyssey, Odyssey. Oh, when you get to New Donk City. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, oh uh, wait, do you see the T-Rex? Hmm. Oh, yeah, the T-Rex is in this one, so you can actually capture him. <laughs> you can capture <laughs> the chain chomps, you can capture the uh, the dinosaur, oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> Mario's too bright and shiny. Yeah, just a little bit. <laughs> I love it, I love really the little... Yeah, I was gonna stop playing again last night. <laughs> uh, it's like I really want to play this game because I love the ideas and like the, the the stuff that like it shows in it, and it really does look like it would be my, probably my favorite 3D Mario game. <laughs> um, I just need a, I have a Switch now, so I can totally just buy it and play it. But I just need to find the time because I have like so much other stuff I need to play. <laughs> mm -hmm. Meanwhile, like the last game I played was uh, Persona Five. Because I actually um, just got the 100% completion. My last game, um, I still need to finish it. I have played the Steven Universe Save the Light on Switch. I uh, need Eek. to finish it because I was almost close to beating it. I, I have a just... problem with finishing the games I play. I still need, haven't gone through Kingdom Hearts 3. I'm trying not to spoil Ooh, myself. We got a moon. What part are you up to? I am literally at the right before the Keyblade graveyard. We uh, got yeah, a moon. Okay, you, have to, like, the, you have to wait the really good stuff happens. Yeah, that's the problem. Because I, I feel like if it, once I start it, I'm gonna get my heart broken, and it's gonna be very, very sad. <laughs> Just, um, mm. of course, no spoilers because, like, you know, this mm -hmm. part of the game where, where it's like a lot of, you know, really big shit happens. Um, but no spoilers, but just saying right now, don't expect much from the final, final world, that being uh, Scarlet Ad Kylum. Don't expect much because you're gonna set yourself up for disappointment because, like, that, that world's not really a world. <laughs> Give it five minutes and 60 more moons will be found. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, oh, yeah, he's sh oh, yeah, they're not joking, yeah. Like, I played a bit of Odyssey, uh, our new save yesterday. Oh my god, just moon, moons everywhere coming out of my ass. I put a hundred <laughs> moons up my- I put a hundred moons up my ass. <laughs> okay. I'm sorry, Mario's face when he's looking at you, see, he's like, yeah! Wahoo! <laughs> yeah, escape! Please don't make me do this all over again! Here we go! <laughs> oh, oh, god! Why? Why will Peach put out? No, oh, not Mamiya. <laughs> uh, the, the little map showed like a little. It's like a pamphlet, and it showed like the T Rex off to the side there. <laughs> yeah. That's cute. Just playing as a T Rex is hilarious. Awesome. Oh my god! I, I I never played the game, so it's nice seeing the water hitting the screen. Okay, so I have to throw oh. him on the globe. Yeah. Oh, tr oh, trust me, the dirt and um. Uh, Dirt effects can be amazing. Like you're walking through sand, just particles of sand just appear on you. Mate, way he looks, you know, <clears throat> wet and stuff. All right, so we're gonna we're gonna put the power moons on the ship. All right. <laughs> Here I we go. The, I love the, I love the, uh, the face that Cappy makes <laughs> on the Earth. Uh, that's like, cool. Mm -hmm. that, how many moons were there again? There are 999 moons, so we have 998 to go. <laughs> I'm wondering when they go announce an expansion pack for Odyssey. I mean, an extra 200 moons. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 an extra 1,000 moons, yeah. Ooh, we have purple coins. Yeah, each, each world also has its own unique currency, which is cool. I'm just gonna climb on everything. Ooh, it's uh, coins. Of course, in this game, you don't uh, have lives anymore. You just, you know, lose ten coins. 
I, I, I prefer that because uh, I'm, I'm bad when it comes to lives. I need to get I, one. I, I... <laughs> One up, one up, one up, one up, one up, one up. <laughs> trust, trust me, trust me, Zen. You're you're all fine. You know, it's me who doesn't have the life. I'm a fate fan for crying out loud. <laughs> there is a Tyrannosaurus Rex. Right there. Um, yes, and you can capture it in everything. <laughs> God. Let's see. It's just, it's just dozing off. It's just it's having it's a nice sleepy. little sleep. It just wants to nap. That's <laughs> all it wants to do. And that was a big selling point when the first game, the game <laughs> came out of the, uh, the trailer. You too can be a T-Rex. Well, you be the T-Rex. <laughs> oh God, I'm a I'm a T-Rex with a mustache. <laughs> I'm a T-Rex with a mustache. Oh, this sounds so wonderful. Oh. <laughs> you can destroy everything you want, Zen. I you will destroy monster. all the things. <laughs> it's so it's. It's so weird seeing the super realistic Tyrannosaurus Rex in a field full of uh, chain chomps and Mario and a blind talking cat. Like, hey. what's wrong with this creature? Why can't it stick its tongue out and eat everything? Oh my God, wrong with Jurassic Park. Oh, 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 oh so, so I so I get I get it when Sonic has um has realistically proportioned humans in his world. It's weird, but when Mario has them, it's all <laughs> fine. Hashtag justice for Sonic 06. Everything oh. I touch dies. <laughs> <laughs> that sounds Please. oddly specific. Yeah. Oh, I think you might yeah. need one of those chop bombs to destroy that. Yeah, yeah. They, don't worry, they respawn. They respawn. Oh, to destroy this. Oh, there's a moon. Like I said, there's going to be a lot of moons. A lot. It's, it couldn't hold on any longer. <laughs> 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 oh, 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 oh. oh phrasing! <laughs> I have a big head and little arms. Uh, arms. I'm not sure what I'm supposed to do. Master. Uh -huh. Oh my god! Sending <laughs> <laughs> Ethan to do that. Oh my god! Clever man. Clever. Th thank you. Oh, you can use your cappy to get the coins. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> cappy, you are amazing. It, this does play a lot better than Sonic 06. <laughs> <laughs> no, I was joking. Fuck Sonic 06. You better oh. fucking be, goddammit. <laughs> yeah, 06 is, I mean, also, the, the 06 isn't even, like, the worst Sonic game. I mean, it's bad, fucking horrible, but it's not, like, the worst. Secret Which Rings is the, is the worst. worst. Secret Rings. Well, the thing is, Sonic, o Sonic 06 was just bad on so many levels because of just the way it was developed and shit. I mean, yeah, uh, yeah, well, yeah, that, and, like, uh, you know, 06 is god-awful, and I, I'm not going to defend, like, it in being a good game, because it absolutely is not. The thing is, Secret R at least I can, at least I can get used to 06's bad controls. They're bad, but, there we you know, go. at least I can get used to them. Life of me, get used to playing Secret Rings, even after purchasing the upgrade, which supposedly make it better, which, for one... Control being an up, like good control being an upgrade is so stupid, and yeah, and even when I when you upgrade the control to make it quote unquote better, it's still impossible to control. And then the Shadow of the Hedgehog, which like you have to do, you have to play the game like ten times in order to get every. I don't even. Yeah, I don't think I even care about the other Sonic and the Secret Ring uh, spin-off stuff. Just whatever. Black Knight was actually, but Black Knight was actually pretty good. It was Secret Rings that was just horrible because of the way controlled. Haha. <laughs> Ooh. And again, then again, I'm a sucker for you know Camelot stuff and you know uh, Knights of the Round Table stuff because you know. All right, I've uh, heard about this, but I want to see. Hey. Yes, classic Mario. <laughs> wow. Yeah. Hey. Dun, 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 dun. Oh, the, the chopper's gone. 
Wow, I killed it. <laughs> this is Aww. this is so cool. <laughs> yeah, now if you well, if you figure out how to get the moon. <laughs> Let's end the coins. Hmm. Oh, you should not have destroyed the other block. I'll get it. I'll get it. You're not gonna be able to get it jumping on top of it. <laughs> You'll be fine. <laughs> now you have there are some hidden blocks on that other side. That on the other side of those up here. What in a little space to the left? Yeah. So there's. So, don't tell me. I'm gonna figure it out. I mean, can you do like the super jump if you hold down or? You can uh, you can super jump if you press Y with your jump. Hey, thank you for showing up, Libram. Hello. Uh, and no. just a reminder, everybody. Oh, there's a hidden black. Okay. Just a reminder, everybody. This is a trans uh, charity stream. All proceeds go to the Trevor Project. Support trans rights. Yeah. You're up to 21 people. Hello, everybody. <laughs> Hello. I found a moon. Uh, you'll be hearing that a lot. <laughs> <laughs> Behind the waterfall. Yay. It's so cute, though. Is there a way to track how many um, you you have? Uh, I think there is. Oh, the, the action guide. That's what I'm looking for. Uh, um, Zena, just just to let you know, I tried posting the uh, posting the stream to uh, our trans gamers, but I got it's it's saying it's an auto moderator just uh, let me know like no, we're taking down the post because um, you know posting Twitch streams is very easy for like it makes it very easy for anti trans individuals. To yeah, know, I found that on, out actually. Mm. Yep, well, and I've, you found that. I'm actually, I'm actually probably, well, like I said, uh, I think we got on our Nintendo Switch, so hi, everybody. <laughs> Hello. Thanks for joining. To, uh, what, what, what was the other one that you posted? Uh, our gaming or? Nah, don't, don't, don't do, don't do our gaming. Uh, yeah, no, 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 that, no, no, that's, no. Too, that's too big. That's too big. Yeah, I would suggest I if, if there's another one, I would suggest maybe um, our uh, Mario or something like that. Like. Yeah, a Mario feed. Mario Odyssey. Yeah. that now uh, Mario Super Mario Odyssey maybe I don't know <laughs> let's see uh, uh... See, see, uh, see, honestly... that is one big rabbit <laughs> Get used to it, I think. I don't know. Uh, yeah. This is, um, the, uh, this, is, this is the other boss battle that gets repeared at Nauseam. Our Super Mario Odyssey is uh, 15.4k members. <laughs> I'm so, pretty sure our slash Mario would be bigger. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, but she ha has like the power moon, so... Yeah, our Mario has like 39.6k members. Right, so I should, should oh, I just do wow, this was Mario? easy. <laughs> Completely up to you. I leave that to your discretion. You are the mods. You you do that. <laughs> well, I'm not a mod. <laughs> I, thought you, mod. I thought you were a mad mod. mod. Everybody gets a mod. You get a moon, and you get a moon. Everyone gets a moon. Moons. Moons for days. How much did uh, our Nintendo Switch have? I've already posted on our Nintendo Switch. Yeah, yeah. I was, I was just asking how much. Oh, Jesus, 1.3 million. Yeah. <laughs> it doesn't matter. Anyway, I'm about to beat this bunny. There we go. She's pissed. I, I, 
bunny. <laughs> Bunnies are adorable. They are adorable. This bunny ain't adorable. Yeah, this That's bunny, no bunny. Th this is one of the rabbits. <laughs> Oh, Hold God. on, I have the stream. I don't have the stream open. Hold on, let me let me open the stream. Oh wow, yeah, that's not an adorable bunny. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, yeah, but my, my the hood is a little behind for me, but it still shows what it is. Super oh, wow, moon. And you killed her too. Yeah, she got she got chomped. She's dead. Run away. Oh, <laughs> we almost because so one of us started almost quite my. So we got it. a multi moon. Multi moon. Multi ball. Multi ball. Multi ball. You've done it, and now we've got a multi moon. It's as strong as great. three power moons combined. It should get the ship moving in no time. Okay. I remember I wasn't the only one who thought of the future on the reference. <laughs> so that counts as four more moons. Hey, you got four moons. Five. <laughs> Five out of 999. Dun, 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 dun. You did it. The Odyssey is restored. Woo! Now you can take it anywhere. It's a giant hat! <laughs> it's a giant hat, Jim. Why don't you take the helm? Uh, but what if I want to stay here? I I want to go to the... You can stay. You can stay, but you can also... You now, know, are there look... moons in the Cap Kingdom? They probably yes. are, but you might want to go back to that, later to that. I would suggest. Come on, we, we, you're, you're, you're live. You go to the Sand Kingdom. Check it out. No, I'm going to take a look around here. Ooh, I already see a moon. Okay. <laughs> oh yeah, because now, now that I've done the main thing, there's moons everywhere. Yeah, she needs to get that one moon that uh we missed that she couldn't get with the chop because she accidentally killed the choppers. Yeah, tear down that wall with the the chain. There were a lot of walls need to be tear down by the chain chop. Gorbachev, tear down this wall. <laughs> don't, don't. <laughs> I mean, this is transferring to so no Reagan shit. It was a joke. I know. <laughs> Gosh. Hey, it's a pipe! You did it! I'll be right back, guys. Alright. I did it. I found a moon. Yeah. Woohoo! Alright. Any, any guys see point on the big stump? <laughs> the moons are everywhere. Oh, hi, Takatu. What is the secret you're seeking? Oh, um, so I was telling you that there is a hidden moon behind the counter at the chilly desert level with the Day of the Dead Skeletons, if she remembers correctly. There's gonna be, there's gonna be a lot of hidden moons. Just the really the moon that I'm looking there. forward here is this one. Hello. All right. Yeah, that one possess the chopper that's right in front of it. Hello, moon. <laughs> no, no. Imagine if uh, this was like Goodnight Moon was just a, a book about Mario getting all the moons. <laughs> I'm sorry. You know what? I'm thinking more of the how the voice act, uh, actor for Morgana read "Go the fuck to sleep" in Morgana's <laughs> voice. <laughs> <laughs> There's an actual video on her on her YouTube channel, and it's just so much fun. <laughs> With the scooching. Hurry up with the scooching. <laughs> Scooting around. Alright, that didn't do anything. Ooh, I see another path. Let's uh, find some more moons. Just a trampoline. Ah, damn it. Oh. Okay, I didn't intend to do that, but... 
I found some hidden stuff. Oh no! <laughs> Why is oh, there an empty picture frame here? Hmm. Interesting. Maybe. Oh, maybe for a reason? Hmm. I wonder. Maybe it's like harking back to the old, uh, like, original Mario games. <laughs> well, we'll get to spooky, scary skeletons. This is a 24-hour stream. We have time. <laughs> there was time now. Yeah, Tiff, I just said it might be a reference to the Mario game, old-fashioned uh, N64 Mario game. Yeah. You got seven stars. Only 992 left. <laughs> How can there be 999 in this game? That's, that's, and that's just so many moons. <laughs> Wait a sec, there's a giant round-shaped hole. I wonder if you go there. Nope. Oh, well. Oh. Was... Hey, Retro K. Hello, Retro. Welcome. I'm back. Welcome back. Welcome back. Hooray! Ha ha ha. And I am finding the purple coins. Did I? I oh, didn't go coins. in this end. We. That's a fine moon. All those grapefruit coins. I have a feeling there's like 50 purple coins like in each one. Oh, another Mario one! Mm-hmm. All of the things. All of the things. Do -do -do -do. How it's the, I love how it's the Mario 1 8-bit sprite, but it's like they, they updated his overalls to match his actual colors. Yeah. <laughs> no, Zen! You just shorted it! <laughs> You're not going to get into this coins now, Sam. Why? I can do it. Okay, you did it. <laughs> Sorry, I'm watching footage and so behind. I know how to do the thing. <laughs> she did the thing. All right, I already got this moon behind the waterfall. Yeah, never mind. <laughs> Secret entrances to other kingdoms. Hmm. Mm hmm. Yeah, that's the, that's that's what the uh, the painting frames are for. Eight hundred eighty are unique. Okay. I see coins. Let's get the coins. Hello, purple coins. We have. About half of the purple coins. Oh Jesus Christ! What? What? Um. Apparently, um, there's a Amazon show called The Amazing Mazelle, and apparently today, LA has made it Mazelle Day, where certain like retro locations are selling items worth that much in the 1950s, such as a 30 cent hamburger, 50 cent milkshake. Uh, staying at the Roosevelt Hotel for forty dollars for one night, gas in one gas station is only thirty cents, and I see a picture of cars flocking to get that gas for thirty cents. Jesus Christ! They're insane. This is LA. This is like the most cheapest it's ever been. Well, this is new. <laughs> but Santa Monica's far a little ways from me, so I'm not going, and I don't have a car. I can't be bothered to get a car. Driving's overrated. I have I, I have a nice car. E. I I share my fiance's car, but I need a car for myself. I can't take it. Oops. I also I need it for work. The um 
yeah, that, that, that's basically why. Because, like, I'm... I myself am, like, getting my uh, learner's permit. Or I'm on my learner's permit, and I'm mm. currently, uh, you know, getting myself up there, like, to actually having a... Really, uh, having a driver's license. But, um... Uh, there's nothing up there, okay. Yeah, I've been kind of sloppy. I've been, like, getting back on, back on track with actually, like, you know, learning to drive. Because, uh, yeah, it's kind of something I need. As time goes on, it's going to be something I need. Mm. Wait. Because like, oh, a lot of places I can, get, I can get to just easily with public transport. But there's other places where I'm like, yeah, driving's, like, the most convenient way to get there. And I need a, yeah, I need a driver's license. Ooh. Rosen's in the chat. Rosen, go, get, go to work. <laughs> There's a moon. Oh, this is. I love that eight, these flat levels. They're so creative. <laughs> One moon. Oh, it sent me back there. I, I, I'm gonna go into the get the other moon. I didn't know that was the exit. <laughs> Sorry. I think, to, <laughs> I think the way you have to get get to it is by going like lower to with the other kind oh, of yeah, I, doors. I saw the other pipe. Oh, yeah. I, I just didn't know if which one was which. Mm. All right. Oh, my so now we go down. Just because you're at work doesn't... Rosen! Shine, get! <laughs> Alright, okay, so I'm I have gonna, to go no, I'm trying here. To, I'm trying to figure out how you're supposed to get it. I, I can show you the world. I can Basically, show you can... the world. Alright, get, get up to the, those moving platforms, get up there, and then just jump down. Oh. Yes, don't go into the second part of the 3D world. Go back. No, Zen! No, what are you doing? <laughs> she almost died. I am doing whatever it is I want. <laughs> Just jump down, mate. You're on a very big delay, it seems, because yeah, I'm already we there. On a delay. <laughs> well, we have to wait for the lag. We have to wait for the. We, yeah. It's like, what? Uh, oh, we have. Oh. Get the. Yeah, there we go. Aha. Uh -huh. Crafty. Dr. Crafty, one would say. God damn it. Hey, Rodolphus. I got both the moons. Let's go back. Do 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 do. And turtle responded. Do, 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 do. And now I just gotta make it to the end of the level. This is a very good game. Mm -hmm. This this good game, I I give it a den out of den. I'm gonna cook it. I'm gonna stretch it. <laughs> den out of den. Why? How is it ten in the morning? Actually, it's one over here. <laughs> it's the time we were supposed to start. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I was impatient, okay? She was excited. And she couldn't hide it. She was lo going to lose control and she thinks she oh, likes it. Let's it. Yes! <laughs> I'm, so I'm so excited. I'm so scared. Thank you. <laughs> Well, I was waiting for that to happen. All right, we have nine. Shut up and take my money. Ooh, Philip, thank you for the twenty dollars. Thank you so so much for your donation. Yay. No problem. We are now at hundred forty dollars total 
for the Trevor Project. Thank you. Thank you so much. Um, <sighs> and we still have technically 24 hours left to go. <laughs> yeah. Hang on. Why isn't the, why isn't the meter updating? Give her a second. Give it a second. Uh, yeah. You know, that, that's why I was being, uh, that's why I was being quiet for like the past like three or four minutes. I was just, you know, getting all that sorted. <laughs> All right, well, we we are doing very good. Thank you, thank you very much. Um, there we go. And because of that donation, we're going to the next kingdom. <laughs> because we want <laughs> you you supported this thing. All right, so how do I travel? Oh, that's the I can change outfits there. Yeah, you put on that. You you spin the cap onto the globe again um to travel. yeah the same thing you did to actually get the moons into the ship you do it to travel head off to another kingdom okay my question Where my questions we? then my questions then are you gonna make this another uh you, 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 you're gonna make this another spider booty case and make mario like half naked no no on, th th this is for trans people we're gonna we're gonna do something funny not it's not gonna be spider booty but it's gonna be something different mm -hmm. What with spider booty? What did I? I don't see it going on your right, 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 For those right, for those who don't know, um, I run a, a Spider Man PS4 stream uh, with New Game Plus. We 100%ed it. We're about to go to the DLC. We called it Spider Booty because we were using the costume of Spider Man with just his underwear. Oh my god! <laughs> yeah, it was but funny. It doesn't make a lot of sense in terms of you know fighting capabilities. Because you go yeah, through glass go. and windows and stuff. But it, it was funny. <laughs> Tiffa says that Zeta needs to get the doggo wearing a hat for her ship. But I, I need kitties. Where, where is Chiaki? <laughs> She's somewhere. My, my, cat. my cat is hiding now. Aww. <laughs> well, you have, well, you have, well, you have Chiaki on your wall, though. Yeah, retro. Th that's no true. Mario that's booty, true. <laughs> no Mario booty, sadly. Oh, <laughs> uh, but also you have. Also, I voiced Chiaki from uh, the Don Garampa two game w on Rosen's Twitch, so you have a, a someone voiced Chiaki. So. Hmm. Chiaki's best girl, and I will hear no uh, no objections. I know She's how to so ground sweet. pound, Cappy. She's so sweet and kind and nice, girl. Oh, that scene from that scene from Danganronpa three tore me to pieces. <laughs> uh, I was oh. crying. So we've captured a frog, we've captured a chain chomp, <laughs> T Rex. Don't get electricity. Thank you, dude. And we and we've controlled electricity. I like there's one missing. <laughs> you've got a lot to control. As you no doubt piece together, entirely covered in sand, and it's quite hot. So he wants a ring that's covered in sand. Is is this Prince of Persia? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> what? It's already been an hour. Oh, wow. Mhm. Mm mhm. Mm I uh, I have not noticed. Uh. <laughs> it's it's no one of those games. I can tell you that. Well, don't worry, you'll be noticing by like the halfway point. <laughs> Time yeah. flies when you're having fun. Oh yeah. Why is it so cold? The deserts are supposed to be hot. It's not the highest tower. Could it be a power moon? Okay. Uh, could be during the parts of California where it actually is cold like i it's supposed to be it's august it's supposed to be summer over here i've yet to experience an actual hot day that they normally have here at all it's been normal it feels weird without humidity it feels normal oh hello yeah. dancing skeleton guy it's skeleton welcome to our sh shop okay Ooh, crazy cap shop Sands Undertale? Is that you? 
Oh god, no. They they accept <laughs> coins and coins. <laughs> Sands on the tails. What do I want? They're all so happy. <laughs> I wanna buy the crazy cat. Life of Heart. A sand king to power moon. Get a thousand coins, then you get the bloody Mario booty. <laughs> <laughs> Alrighty. I'm gonna be a crazy, crazy cap salesman. <laughs> Wait, you're not I'm gonna buy- There's a Mario dress outfit, right? Yeah, there's one sure? where, yeah. uh, yeah. yeah, there's one yeah. that Mario could be in, P in Peach's wedding dress. Yeah, and when he, and when he gets to the Spoiler alert. Wedding, he's like, Bowser's like, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. For, mm -hmm. I thought I'm marrying Beast, not you. And there's Ready some sombreros and stuff that I can get. <laughs> Zen, uh, when you when you find, when you eventually get the uh, the peach wedding dress, you gotta put Mario in that. that that's yeah. that's the goal of the stream right now. <laughs> we have to get the wedding dress. Tifa loves the Day of the Dead skeletons. I do. I love them. Scales, they're so cute. Hey, look. Scary skeletons, except they're not so spooky. Spoopy, spoopy, <laughs> spoopy, spoop, 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 <laughs> Welcome to Toast Arena Town. <laughs> I wonder, do they, do they have paella here? I feel like paella. <laughs> paella... Mm. Oh no, uh, since I've been here, I actually, I made turkey tacos for the first time like a couple weeks ago. They actually are super good. Everything's frozen. Rosen, did you frozen everything? <laughs> oh, oh. <laughs> boo. <I know>. <laughs> <laughs> boo, oh. you suck. <laughs> I was frozen. Interesting from Tifa. Uh, Pelea is more of a Spanish dish in Barcelona, but we do love Pelea in Mexico. Give me some fucking churros, goddammit. <laughs> no, Disneyland churros are the best. Are you kidding me? I've tried a churro in Disney World and there's like no contest. Disneyland is better. But do not get specialty churros. I literally went to the Holiday Inn I got it. last week. Yay! And. Did you I... say boo or boo earns? I said boo earns. Rosen, no. Uh, I had uh, the special Haunted Mansion themed churros. I had the bride one, which is apparently supposed to be vanilla churro. It sounds good, but it's not. It's just a bunch of powdered yeah. sugar yeah. on it, and it tastes more like cotton candy, and it was too sweet. Can we have yeah, chimichangas? I think there is like the. There is a Mexi there is like a Mex Me Mexican restaurant in Frontierland that sells a lot of Mexican food. <laughs> so maybe? I don't know. I'm going next week, so, week but I, we're Galaxy's Edge, so I don't I won't be eating there. But I'll be eating Galaxy's Edge, so I'm excited. Eating entire galaxies? Yeah. <laughs> God damn it! <laughs> he literally Frozen just texted me having the cardiac Crane's pronunciation of paella. <laughs> paella. It's like pollo. You, ha you have to pronounce the L's as Y's. God. El pollo Damn loco. Ooh. Oh, this is awesome. <laughs> I just possessed a, a lookout atop the Tice Tower. I can see everything from here. You are one with the machine. The machine is one with you. I am the machine. I am I'm the machine. The I'm the machine. <laughs> uh, you, you don't not, you don't Fuck understand. He is the. This is Russia. <laughs> you don't understand. Fuck that bitch. This is Russia. <laughs> I love that. I, I, so I understand you are the machine. <laughs> we go party. Fuck that bitch. This is Russia. <laughs> I love that comedy sketch so much. My friend, my my best friend Ray and I uh, put it on all the time. I'm a bullet bill. <laughs> yes. <laughs> this is awesome. 
Ooh, I can get this moon. You can possess it! On the leaning pillar. And now I can go... Oop. Okay. So there's a limited amount of time for the bullet bills. We, we got moons. We got lots of moons. They're not full, but they're moons. Disney California Adventure Turkey Legs. Mm. I believe you mean emu. I don't know. <laughs> Fuck I know you. Joke. I know you're joking. I have not been to Disneyland since I was like seven years old, and I really want to go. I back. have never. I've already been to Universal. I mean, most of the time, I've only, I only end up at, at Warner Brothers Movie World, Hollywood on the Gold Coast, <laughs> because Disney won't come down here. <laughs> now, and now, um, you know, you know, I went to I went to Disneyland when I was like seven. So that was like before they bought Marvel and Star Wars and all this other stuff. So if I ever go back there now, then it's going to be like, what is all this superhero shit? Uh, I mean, I love superhero shit, but like, what is all this non-Disney superhero stuff? What's this? What's this? The magic this. in the air. Oh my god, that's literally good. No, the... Save the frozen skeletons or the there'll be no tacos? Okay, I will save the spooky scary skeletons. No, there's save like... the tacos! <laughs> we we must save Taco Tuesday, which is also on a Friday. <laughs> Wait, Taco Tuesday. Everyone's frozen. This is the Lego Movie. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Can't can, can, can we just let it go? <laughs> I got another moon. Oh. There's so many moons. Yep. It's true, you do get, like, a moon every five minutes. Yeah. Until it gets harder and harder. Phrasing. <laughs> Damn. Ha <laughs> ha, dangly <butt. laughs> And this is why I asked Ethan to be on this, because he has the most awesome-sounding vocals. <laughs> yeah. I love, I love your radio voice. Oh, thank you. Well, that's a first sand lava. Sand lava. And we have spike cactuses, or cacti, cacturns. Tacos. I know. <laughs> I, I think you can possess the ones that are alive. Oh my god. <laughs> look at the... Look at this. <laughs> you get to keep the outfit in here. <laughs> Yeah, the, yeah, yeah, in eight, yeah, in eight bit, yeah, you get to keep the outfit. Oh in eight my bit. god, you can't! Oh my god! I, I just now got yes, the footage. Oh all my the, god! Yes, all the alpha, yeah, all the outfits are in the eight bit. They've all they got all eight bit versions of everything, which is awesome. <laughs> I didn't, That's I didn't, neat. I didn't realize they made a Willy Wonka NES game. <laughs> <laughs> the, okay, the fact is, why did yeah. they make a Willy Wonka NES game? <laughs> Gets the peach. Uh... Gets the peach wedding dress. God, I can't believe there was an NES game that like supported trans rights. <laughs> I think uh Ooh, something went wrong. I gotta reload the page. I don't know. This is weird. The restream chat is acting up. Okay, it's working now. It just it just said, oh, something's not working, you gotta reload the page. I'm like, what? <laughs> Uh, it's looking fine. The child is looking fine for me. Yeah, it was looking fine. Willy Wonka. Oh, no, no, don't, don't, do, no! don't you start that. Don't you start that. God damn it. No! God. I have, I have that song in my head, too. Willy Wonka and the NES Adventure. You know what? Instead, how about we we, we talk about the hip-hop-opotamus? The, the, what? Have, you've ever heard of Flight of the Concords? Oh, yes. And the the hip hop eponymous and the rhinoceros. Uh, I've I've admitted in the past on Twitter that like I like the the Tim Burton's Charlie and the Chocolate Factory more than the original Willy Wonka. But what I find funny <laughs> is that like that glowing crate, Zen. That glowing crate. I did. I was about to say. I got it. Yeah, I uh, but say. now I have to possess this guy. Um, 
the, the funny thing about Willy Wonka and the Chocolate Factory is that Roald Dahl apparently actually really didn't he like the movie. He hated it. But no. then again, he also hated kids. Willy Wonka. He he he, Sorry? he killed a lot of kids in his books. <laughs> uh, <laughs> um, oh but yeah, he yeah he hated Willy Wonka. But like he would have hated um, he would have hated Charlie and the Chocolate Factory even more. I think because like it focuses on Willy Wonka even more. So I would I would he would he, like, he, he would have really... hated it because you're supposed to have mystery about Willy Wonka, you know. No, I don't know. I, I I really liked Tim Burton's adaptation. I thought it was uh, I thought it was really good. And it was you know, creepy. I, creepy, but like it's also like a chocolate factory where like four kids don't die but get like horribly mutated. And also like you know, it's it, well you know it is creepy, but like I, I feel like it helps set the to like tonally apart from Willy Wonka and the Chocolate Factory. I don't know. I don't like the songs. I don't like the atmosphere. I don't like Willy Wonka in that. I, he's, uh, he's, he skews me out. <laughs> you know, I, 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 I do like, I do like a lot of weird stuff, like Maleficent. I, I, I know I'm the weird one who actually. Shun, likes that. <laughs> Shun. What, 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 what Maleficent? Ooh. Yeah, Maleficent. Secret. I for me, I like that the, that Maleficent. It was a different perspective. I liked how it was. I don't think there needed to be a sequel. The sequel that undoes get... everything they did in the first movie. Like, here's the thing. I, I didn't. I didn't like I the like first live-action Maleficent, but I would have been fine if they stuck with their guns and didn't like I, backpedal yeah. on everything. A big problem because, like, I love. Uh, I love Maleficent. I think like it's a really under underrated gem uh, for for Disney, especially considering the fact that you know their live action remakes haven't exactly been the best. Uh, Aladdin was pretty good, but like I really did like a Maleficent because unlike a lot of the live action remakes, which just make the original film worse, I felt like it made the original Sleeping Beauty better. Because yeah, spoiler alert, I didn't really like the original Sleeping Beauty, but. Um, about Maleficent is that it actually, you know, it was a different interpretation and it fixed a lot of what I didn't like about the original. Now this sequel's coming out and it's going to undo a bunch of the stuff. And I'm like, why are you doing this? Please it's just leave the original alone. Because she's the mistress of evil. She has to be a villain. Fans, compl fans complained that I wasn't like the original and that they ruined Maleficent. Okay, made her better. Like <laughs> um... Like, Maleft is, like, the only reason people really like the original Sleeping Beauty. Like, the only real things people remember is the big battle with Dr Maleficent Dragon and make it pink, make it blue. And that's pretty much it. Yeah. They, 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 they were, they the like original movie was a little bit humdrum, but the, the scene that I liked was Maleficent Dragon. The, the, the three parts of the original movie that, that everyone keeps listing as, like, the only good things are the visual style, which I agree with, the fairies, which I also agree with, and Maleficent herself, which, again, I, I'm not the, like, I, I don't hate her like I, like I used to, but they like, you know, watching the, watching Sleeping Beauty again, it was actually on TV the other day because, um, one of my, one of our networks here in Australia just got, like, the license to, like, do Disney stuff, so they've been playing, like, old Disney movies, and I watched Sleeping Beauty again, and she's just, people call her, like, one of the hammiest Disney villains, and she's just, oh, oops. Her, her vocal performance, I, I do think, presents it, but, She's given nothing cool to say um, in comparison to a lot of the Renaissance villains. And yeah. Um, yeah. Uh, thank so, you, yeah, Twitch Hitch. People, people... Oh, he died. Oh, the very last bit. Yeah, yeah so actually... people complain because, like, in the Lipicent, she was, oh, it turned her into a good guy. And I'm like, it's a different interpretation. It, it would have been a different interpretation if they didn't make the sequel. <laughs> yeah, like. I kind of like it being told from a different perspective of how she was, and it was interesting. I liked it. The sequel, I feel like it kind of destroys a lot that happened in it and how she just give is. Me, just give me Angelina Jolie being scary and scary and cool, and I guess it's going to be enjoyable. But you know, as a as just the fact as a sequel to the original Maleficent goes, I, I don't know. I'm not looking forward to it. I mean. Hey, if it could be enjoyable, it'll, it'll be enjoyable. But it doesn't. I, I don't think it will. You know, of course, I'll judge it when it comes out. But mm -hmm. I don't think it'll stand on its. I don't think it has enough merit to really stand on its own. No, I feel like this is like the first ever live action sequel that they've done in a while, counting 102 Dalmatians. 
Hello, Moon. Also did Al oh, they also did Alice through the looking glass. Oh, it's a piece okay, of a power so. moon. Okay. I haven't I seen Alice through the looking glass because I didn't like Tim Burton's Alice in Wonderland. <laughs> I, I actually liked it. If you, I ha actually bought a script, like adaptation book, that was like had like an alternate stuff to the story, and you kind of learned that. Uh, Alice has been to Wonderland when as a kid, and then as she gets back to it as an adult, but she doesn't remember being in Wonderland. She just remembers. That's in the movie. That, that's in the movie as well. They they yeah. explained that like at one point. So, it's yeah, I get, get it. That kind of doesn't really make it a remake. It's more of like a semi sequel, semi soft okay. reboot or, or remake of the original movie. Yeah. Um, my but that's oh, not shades. really my main problem. Like that, that's a big yeah. Put on the shades. I did. Um, I did. My my favorite, um, yeah, my favorite, no, not my favorite. Like my least favorite thing about the movie isn't the fact that like you know it's not actually a remake. Because like, honestly, I, I don't actually mind that too much. My biggest problem with with Oof. the oh. twenty with Tim Burton's Alice in Wonderland is the fact that it's it's itself so seriously when the original was such a big colorful trip, and yet now it's like this big oh war story. Like even the even the freaking properties that like take. Alice in like a darker approach, like a like I believe it was like Alice through the madness or like or something like that. It was, it was the one Alice the game madness it was like, at madness returns or something like that. Yeah, yeah, Alice madness returns. Even that like has like its own unique like it was. I, I'd argue it was more Tim Burton -y than the actual Tim Burton Alice, Alice in Wonderland. Like it was, it was, <laughs> it had a Wonderland itself as actually being like you know a, as being freaky but like yeah and unique but like tim burns alice in wonderland wonderland in that or i'm so, sorry underland uh it's so dead it's so lifeless and i get that's the point but it's also alice in goddamn wonderland it's a wonderland for christ clearly sake. i need the sunglass dude <laughs> yeah actually i'm about to head out i'm gonna take a get some more shot eye before i have to go to school and stuff so i'll i'll probably be back uh, uh... catch you later in about 12 hours actually <laughs> I'll yeah, see same, you later. Same like, we'll we'll, we'll still be here same bat time same bat channel don't you mean odyssey channel forever <laughs> yeah. see you later guys have a good stream have fun later. later oh i see what they did crafty hmm. i'll be sticking around um i'll be sticking around a, uh, a little bit more but yeah it's the same with me once i leave i won't be back for like another like 12 or so hours yeah same everyone gonna... betray me i fed up with this world uh, i'm well, still okay. here <laughs> i need to work i need to get sleep and then work the night shift later and then record yeah. stuff for for crafty because he asked for it <laughs> Well, I recorded stuff for Crafty earlier on. Uh, I'm actually doing a new project for... Uh, it's actually something Transformers related I'm actually excited for. Ooh. Oh, what, for, for Crafty or for just something uh, else? General. Um, uh, hang on, I forgot her name. She does like these really excellent videos on YouTube. I, I follow, found her originally because she had synced up uh, audio from Brooklyn Nine Nine with Transformers bits, and there is nothing more hilarious than Raymond Holt as Ultra Magnus. So I ended up auditioning for her stuff, which is basically sort of an abridged version of More Than Meets the Eye, and I get to voice skids. Nice. <laughs> good skids. Yeah. Good Scottish I'm a theoretician skids, not ghetto Tom Kenny skids. Uh, I myself, because uh, for a school project I have, uh, for my school big school assignment I have coming up, I have to, uh, right now in the next week, week, and, week or two, I have to play uh, the role of a freaking... Uh, or well, basically, I have to look at auditions and cast people for my short film. Uh, you know, I've been online. I've been looking for actors, and uh, I freaking I, I actually have it uh, up right now. I had I had eighty one people apply for my short film, which I, which I was like, what the heck? And uh, but apparently that is like you know commonplace if you know you put your short film out there on like on this website I'm on. But yeah, I had like 81 people apply. So now next week, I you know I contacted the ones who I yeah, fit go. my characters perfectly, and yeah, now now I have to look at their auditions. It's the ones which I think fit, which is gonna be hard as hell. You got this. You got it. You. you got this. Moonshards in the sand. 
I got the moon. So, at this point, actors aren't the main thing I'm worried about. It's um, actual locations. Uh, because, okay, here's, here's the funny thing about the, loca my, the locations in my short film. Because my short film's like a romance slash horror. So, the locations, I have like about four or five. It's a bus stop, a, a supermarket, or not a supermarket, a shopping plaza. Um, the front of a house, not even like the inside of a house itself, just a, just the front of a house. And then, yeah, massive jump there. <laughs> Um, but yeah, so it's, uh, and at this point it's just like, you know, contacting people for like a location agreements and yeah. So busy month, busy, busy month. Well, I wish you lots of luck. Good luck. Thank you. Okay. There's, there's a multi moon there, but it's frozen. Hmm. Let us just go into this giant inverted pyramid. All right, Mario, let's save Princess Peach. I just love the design of this. Like the the two bit the 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 uh, two D versus three D motif is really interesting. Yeah. Yeah. Um, okay. I've I got a big haul on Steam recent on Steam recently. Like I bought a whole shit ton of games on Steam. Um, the uh, Dream, uh, Dreamcast collection games like Crazy Taxi and Space Channel Five Part Two and Sonic Adventure because I had to have Sonic Adventure on Steam. <laughs> um, Shantae and the Pirates Curse and Shantae Half Genie Hero. Um, and I bought the Danganronpa trilogy. I've already played one and two, obviously, but I needed to get V three eventually. So, yeah. Dang it! Let's try that again, Mario. Don't fall down the pits. What, what, what happened? What happened? You fell down a pit. This is Mario Souls. <laughs> <laughs> Mario Odyssey is the Dark Souls of Mario. <laughs> Just like Cup Souls and Breath of the Souls. And uh, Crash Souls. Sonic uh, Souls. Spyro the Souls. Spyro Souls. <laughs> Don't tell me people are actually complaining that the Spyro Reignited trilogy was hard as hell. Well, yep. Yeah. Also about the uh, Zero Escape people. trilogy. That's a good purchase. Telling you I, was right born now. At the, I was born at the very start of the 2000s and seriously like so, so I'm I, I'm still like a pretty young you know person playing video games and even still it's like guys Crash is Crash Insane and Spyro and Cuphead they're not actually uh, okay Cuphead is really really hard but stuff like Crash Insane is not actually that all that hard it, it's tricky like the first game has some cover some controls but it's not Dark Souls Exactly, yeah. It, it's it can be tricky to get used to, especially like with levels like, you know, um like the sky levels and the climbing up the castle levels. Yeah, um, like Stormy Ascent is like is freaking well, it's hard. Yeah. Now the original game I'll put into this one because it's like, hey, we have better control and like updated graphics. Why don't we put this into the game actually? I, I no joke, I found like a trick to get like 99 lives in that in Crash 1 and I literally just stocked up on 99 lives before I even attempted Stormy Ascent. And when I did, I still chewed through like half of them. See, the thing I find is that most of like games from that time period did have unreasonable difficulty. We just dealt with it. Yeah, like, think about, like, the difficulty between, like, the NES games, like, the PS1 games. Like, look at games like Silver Surfer or, like, Castlevania, how difficult those games are. They kind of had, like, 
the forced difficulty of it to maintain a long game. They wanted you to keep playing, but now you can keep playing by more content. Exactly. Nintendo hard. I'm just gonna take all your bullet bills. Yeah, maybe it's because I play Castlevania. Maybe that's why I'm, why I'm like, you damn kids, I'm 19, you damn kids, is, get good at video games. <laughs> is um, them kids today with their vidge games and their hopscotch oh and their hula hoops? Oh you my kids God. in your Fortnite, making oh. my thing and Mario's and all that whatnot. I was waiting for one of you guys to break out an old man voice and Zenna does it. <laughs> I'm at, I'm at, we walked I'm all there. both ways uphill. In the oh, kids oh, get out my property. And we liked it. Oh, I'm I'm gonna get a soda from the fridge because I'm <laughs> a little tired. So hold on one second. A joke as a kid it took me me four months to actually beat ninja gaiden yeah freaking yeah games back then were like no goddamn joke castlevania won like I, I believe that the angry video game nerd didn't actually beat that game till his video of it um so yeah it's yeah video games were hard back in the day don't get me wrong it's just that everyone's saying oh th th this game is the new dark souls and i'm like guys dark souls is not like the center point behind difficulty i won't even say it does difficulty right at all what sorry never mind but, <laughs> but just like imagine if someone said like oh yeah uh dark souls is like the silver surfer of difficult games silver surfer is the galactus of difficult games <laughs> or like or like Crash Bandicoot is the ET for the Atari of games. Crash Bandisoles. You know, I tried playing Demon Souls. I need to eventually go back to that. It, would, it beating one of the bosses is is tough in that game. Yeah, but it's satisfying. It is satisfying. I mean, that's why there's games like Monster Hunter and Miho and stuff like that where you're dealing with such massive monsters, but you learn strategy and tactics. And heck, it's like all games. Just figure out the motion of things and slowly learn. In essence, I, get good, I scrubs. What What is I strategy? I, I don't under... My, my strategy is just run at it and, and you know, attack head on. Apply directly, uh, then, apply directly to the forehead. Then, then you joke about that, but that's literally like how like a good chunk of Kingdom Hearts players are, and then yet they'll complain like, Demix is such a hard boss fight. Now he fucking is, and you can beat him easily. Just to good. to be fair, we did fight Demix on stream, and the dance water dance killed me a couple of times. Uh, well, that's because Demix is just an annoying little bastard. Yeah, he Demix is. is an Even bastard. when you know what you're doing, he is a little bit, a bit challenging. It's it's kind of like with with um the wind guy, um, Zaldin. Like, I know what to do, and I've gotten better at doing it, but the thing is, the timing is so very precise. In the dot in the data in the data battle, yes, but like once you yeah, the, the the whole the whole reason why the data battle can kick your ass a lot is because of the whole like ninety nine uh water clones. That's literally the only hard part about the Demix boss fight, and it's in the data version. That's um, why you have otherwise... final form Sora and you keep using Reflego. Um, that's yeah, an easy way to other than, other than that, like and but, but and also Demix is valid. You guys are all freaking mean. <laughs> Quiet, Rose. Why do you have to say that? <laughs> you put down that I haven't been. It's it's gotten colder. Demix. All right, I'm gonna. As a kid, no, 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 no. Like, let me put it like this: as a kid, Demix is what kept me and my brother away from actually beating Kingdom Hearts Two. We died so much to Demix. He was our cock block boss because he kept us from beating. Kingdom Hearts 2. Like, we were stuck on Demix for a good six months to a year. It was that bad. Mm. Um, and the funny... Okay, you want to know the, actually the funny part about that? It wasn't me who beat Demix. It wasn't my brother who beat Demix. You want to know who beat Demix? My mom. 
my mom is the one who beat Demi. Oh god. Oh my god. Mummy skeletons. <laughs> okay, I'm not met your mother. I'm sure she's a wonderful woman. I'm just imagining Demi getting like smacked in the head with like a rolling pin. Oh my god. <laughs> No, I'm thinking of that anime. My mother has two hit points, and just like yeah, the we, mother with my two mom, swords. My mom, who doesn't who doesn't play video games, like I think like all she plays is freaking like King games on 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 her Android, and also like Game and Watch games in the past. I, she actually really likes Kingdom Hearts. Like we, because we got her to play it with us, like when we were like re really little. A fun story about that was like, because. <laughs> Me and my brother were just at the shop, and we got two games each. Um, I got, like, a Yu-Gi-Oh game, because I, I was really into Yu-Gi-Oh. And I wanted my brother to get one of the Jack and Dexter, one of the Jack and Dexter sequels. But he was like, no, I want to get this game, because it has Mickey Mouse on the cover. Oh, fast Hearts travel. 2. Fast travel. Yay. <laughs> um, and so we bought Kingdom Hearts 2. And, like, you know, for the first week, like, my mother was just like, hmm, you know, this isn't actually, like, you know, not much Disney stuff has actually happened so far. Huh, maybe I made a mistake. Maybe I should Mama think back. Hobbs. Like, my... Mama Hobbs is is awesome. I love Mama Wait, Hobbs. Me and my brother were apparently like me. And, me and my brother were apparently like, no, no, don't take it back. No, wait, did I know there's a moon behind the counter? Oh, there's a moon behind the counter. Well, I can fast travel. Yeah. <laughs> um, but yeah, but yeah, so we we really loved it, and we actually got my mom into it, and like she was, and she, you know, we would always play with her, and we actually got her playing the game, and so yeah, she was the, actually the one who beat Demix for us, and then from there, you know, we went out to beat the game, and uh, and then now, like what what is it, twelve years hmm. later? Yeah, I'm a crazily obsessed Kingdom Hearts fan. It's good. Yeah, the moon's to the right. Hmm, but how do I? Hmm. You love your, do you love your mother and her multi-hit target attack? Uh, yeah, it's I, I've been meaning to watch that anime. That anime looks funny. I, I see the moon, I just don't know how to get to it. I don't know. There's a dog, though. Hmm. I'll come back. I'll, dog and have I'll him jump through the hole? Maybe? No, I can't cappy on him. I'll just... Put a, let's put a pin in this for now. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but for now, the moon is there. Puppy! Are you trying to hit the puppy with the hat? I was trying to possess the puppy. No! You can't! Oh, apparently you have to go around the shop? Okay. Alright, later, Rodolphus. Hmm. Poor Mario, and he's just standing, he's just cold. Well, he's not wearing much. Well, he's wearing a suit, but yeah, he should probably wear something because he's also I'm cold. Damn it. A sec. I, gotta get I found it. it. It's cold. And I turned the AC off. I got it. it. Yay. Employees only. Now I'm going to hit you. <laughs> Don't hit the skeletons. They're already dead, though. No. They still <laughs> have feelings. Have the you seen Coco? Don't They're still hey, remembered. Don't tail, please. Is that a star? <laughs> <laughs> mm. No, Sans and Papyrus. <laughs> if you keep, if you keep, if you keep beating them up, Jorge Gutierrez will appear and hit you. <laughs> well, now see, I'm just trying to get some power moons out. You see, I just need five more power moons, but first I'm gonna fast travel over to the to the place I need to go, see? Don't hit the spoopy spoopy skeletons. But they they have moons and they're not giving it to me. They don't 
It reminds me of Super Mario Sunshine, where it's like, oh, you know, the, the shine sprites are like, you know, really impo important. Uh, <laughs> I love that. <laughs> it's how they sell you the shine sprites. <laughs> You know they say the shine sprites are essential to Isle Delphine. Like these people. <laughs> they say that shine sprites are essential for life on Isle Delfino. You see why I don't like these people? And then there's the blue coins. <laughs> I love blue coins. Uh, what? There's a person and a taxi. I. Eh? I... what? I... what? <laughs> oh my god. Oh wow. I just know how the footage. How did you get your taxi all the way out here in like this big sprawling desert? <laughs> I... very carefully. I need a minute. <laughs> And, and oh second, God. secondly, secondly, this hu this human, like, just look at Mario next to this human, like, th these two fit perfectly within the same universe. You don't even know. This is the most realistic game of all time, people. Well, at least he's Holy not. Shit. At least he's not moving his arms at random, going, "Welcome, welcome, 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 welcome." Yes, the taxi frozen in the desert. <sighs> I, it reminds me of a. Uh, it reminds me of Kingdom Hearts. Okay, I, like, I I think I can continue on, but. Uh. It reminds me of King, reminds me of Kingdom Hearts three. I took like because when I was playing it for the first time, I was in the Caribbean and I was at Port Royal and I took Ooh, a, I took a photo I took a photo of like Sora next lost to in the luggage. One, like, <laughs> Sora next to like one of the um the humans in Port Royal, and I was like, yep, these these guys take place in the same universe. <laughs> I wasn't oh, about too much to drink. Universe. What the hell is wrong with your shoes? They're too massive. Why is the rum gone? <laughs> hey, my name's my name's not Mario. I'm I'm Johnny Depp. <laughs> uh, uh, it's a jolly good show. Yeah, where where's where are the crabs that are supposed to help with my ship? And why sh why should I, why should I trust you? Three of you have tried to kill me. <laughs> oh, apparently this transports me somewhere. Oh. Oh, this Jack. this is Which really way cool. You going, Jack? Ooh, giant portal in the sky. Oh, I oh like. Oh, oh god, it's icy. The roads are slippery. Welcome to the Sarlacc uh, pit. Fuck ice physics. Ice physics are worse than water. Water controls. Well, I would rather have this than Finny Fun. Really? No, 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 no. I, I, I can't, I can't agree. Finny Fun is life. <laughs> I mean, I we've had our Finny Fun. Ooh, hi, hi. I'm a Goomba. Why Ooh. you know like Finny Fun? Goombas don't slip on ice. It's cool. But first I love of all, Atlantic and I, I love Atlantic and Kingdom Hearts too. I swear to God, like Atlantica, people give so much shit because it's like, oh my God, like why, you know, why'd you make it a musical world? And I'm like, screw you guys. Finny Fun is just all kinds of great. I think, no, I think that the creator got inspired by rhythm games to literally make that level. Well, yeah, because I mean, there's Disney sing-alongs. I know, I reviewed a lot of the live action ones and I have a couple more left. Okay. Uh, At least they don't have the country bears. I am a stack of Goombas. I am a stack of Goombas. Yeah! <laughs> yeah, they showed that in the trailer and I'm like, oh my god, this game's so hype. You're just a tower of Goombas. Though you did toss, like, at the. Uh, you did toss your hat, like, at the bottom of it and, like, it. it you know, rubber banded all the way to the top. Okay. No, I, I didn't want to do that. I wanted to possess the Goombas and get the moon. Give me the moon. Bye, Crew World. Mario is such a mass murderer. <laughs> it's, it's, it's all because it's all because of this like it's, it's all because of this um 
thing that the Mario 1 manual had, where it's like, oh, Bowser has, like, you know, enslaved the, the, the residents of the Mushroom Kingdom inside, like, the box, in, inside, like, the bricks. So it's like, wait, so wait, every time Mario breaks a brick, he's killing someone from the Mushroom Kingdom. <laughs> to be fair, it was a toad and nobody cared about him. Yeah. Oh, that is true. Hello. Unless, unless it's a toadette. Hashtag Toad Lives Matter! <laughs> <laughs> I love Toad, but like, god, is he such a butt monkey. Oh, so close. God damn it. No, I, I didn't. I love Toad, oh. but god, he's like. <laughs> oh god. Uh, so I, wanna, I love you, Toad, but I want to beat you up. Oh god, that sounds abusive. <laughs> Never mind. Uh, I think we're going to have to talk about uh, your employment status in your oh, review. Oh, Jesus Christ, did you jump off? Oh my god, you just freaking- you just died! You just died! You just died, Toad! Why'd you do that? Oh, I can make the stack bigger! Yeah, I was gonna say, you, you could probably take that one Goomba that you possess and take it over to it. There! I'm silly. <laughs> it's- this is Breath of the Wild- Breath of the Souls all over again. Also, I apologize if my voice slips a little bit, because, uh, not used to using my voice lately. <laughs> it, it's all good. good. I'm also getting a little bit better because I have caffeine in my system now, so yay! Hooray! Okay, get it? No, I didn't want to... <clears throat> okay, come on. I got it! Woo! Will that be enough, though? Oh, and now I jumped down. I killed the entire tower of Goombas. I said mass, mass murderer. <laughs> yeah, that's how Mario you in. And you fulfilled your health. Yay. Casein caffeine, not a good combo. It's a good combo. Me without caffeine isn't a good combo. You want to know a bad combo? <laughs> Me no, and Ari okay. alone. <laughs> <laughs> Don't. The lewd must flow. The lewd must flow. I'm All sorry, but the lewd is strong with us. And Aaron has to be strong. And Aaron it... has to be surrogate internet dad. Away. All right. Lewd is strong with Zen and Ari. Oh, trust me, guys. I know the lewd is strong. I have to lure it over here, I see. Come over here, buddy. I won't hurt you. I'll just possess you. Ow. I didn't want to do that. Oh. Oh, it already had a hat. That's why. So I have to hit it twice. Oh, you lost a lot of health hitting it. No, because it hit me. There we go. I hate ice physics. I'm just, I'm just in that, in that mood right now where it's like I pick up a game and I'm like, yeah, I, I really Dang. want to finish this, but at the same, at the same time, I have to focus on this short film, so I can't finish it right now. I've been in a very completionist mood lately because I've been. Uh, you know, getting all the games that I haven't, like, haven't gotten far in and just completing them. And, and I, I finished up a lot of DLC and stuff. Like, I did all that Prince of Persia. I did Persona 5. I'm going to be doing uh, Grim Fandango next. Um, there, there's there's some good stuff. Ow. Dang ice physics. Every, every time I find downtime... I've been reading Fate Hollow Orthodoxia, which, you know, it's 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 a Fate Stay Night, but the thing is, Fate Stay Night has, like, three routes. So it's this kind of confusing thing where it's like, okay, like, half these people are supposed to be dead, but, like, they're here for some reason? Like, even characters who died in all three routes of Fate Stay Night, it's like, yeah, they're here, and I've apparently there is a reason, but I've yet to get to the reason, so... Because of yeah, the reason. Very, very weird. Because of the reason. Because of the reason. Because yeah. of the reasons. <laughs> because of re the reason. <laughs> he 
and even if uh, if Nas is writing style, occasionally can get pretty um, pretty bloated. But for the most part, I really do like Nas who's writing style uh, for the Fate series. All right, what do we have here? Oh, two giant fists. We we have to fight the Ring Guardian. Guardian of the Ring. Oh Jesus Christ! You got a bunch of rings on, man. Oh, I punched him in the face. That reminds me of that one Crash Twin Sanity boss fight. I punched him put... in the face. Oh, it's Olmec. Oh, you can possess his hand! Yep. Well, okay, you can do this in Crash Insanity. This is freaking awesome. There's like... Uh, oh, there's and he killed me. Underneath. Yep. Uh, unfortunately, he killed me, but we'll we'll try this again. Oh. Because you didn't have enough hearts. If only I had some stars, clovers, you, you and blue have, moons. You don't have a heart, Zen. You pissed off Olmec. Yeah. It's it's not my fault. It's it's emoji Bowser's fault. Um. Legends of the Hidden Mushroom Kingdom. <laughs> nice. All right, come on, let's brew this. Shampoo it. <laughs> Fun do it. Screw it. <laughs> Do it. <laughs> Do it. Gets turned down by a girl. Do it. <laughs> we we have to reassemble the silver monkey. The shrine of the silver monkey. Stop hitting yourself. How is it that when you watch uh Legends of the Hidden Temple and you see the kids assembling the monkey and you're like I can assemble it better than how they're doing it. You know, they're probably doing it like that on purpose, just so they can make, like, the winner so special. Sometimes the winners don't, don't win anything if they don't complete it, because you get a better prize if you complete the thing. It's the same thing with Double Dare. Like, I've, there have been plenty of people who didn't win Double Dare. Mm, I was on Slime Time, and I didn't win shit. You were on Slime Time? Oh, you did? Oh, no, I never told this story to you. Um, when I was uh, 10, uh, about, oh, oh my god, about 18, 18 years ago, uh, me and my brother, brother went, were, saw that they had auditions for Nickelodeon's Sonic Time Live. And we got our folks signed us up. We came back later that day because uh, we were vacationing for Universal. And we were, they had all of the kids uh, take a number, line it up against the wall. My brother wanted to switch numbers with me. Don't know why. I think because he, he felt like my number was lucky, but I thought it was nothing special. Uh, my, I had the number 11. I was about to turn 11 that year, so I was, so, and I was 10. The last number they called was 11, and I was excited. My mom had to sign up some forms. This was during President, President, President's Day weekend. So as part of the President's Day weekend slime time event, uh, we, I had to sign forms. They to be on the show. Um, my brother got to be part of the audience. I remember. I barely remember most of it, but I remember the outfits. I remember the challenge I had to do with something to do with Abraham Lincoln tossing these very gross ping pong balls into a hat from a distance. <laughs> Yeah, and I didn't win. I didn't get the chance to pedal to get slimed, which was sad, but I had fun. <laughs> uh, I, remember the, the, I remember the guest was the, the band O-Town, and surprisingly, that was the first time I ever heard of them, and I'm <laughs> like, I don't know who you are, so okay. <laughs> yeah, though, my brother was part of the audience, and he got a little bit slimed, so he w was a little bit green for a couple days. <laughs> but mostly on his feet. It's not easy being green. He was no. green with envy. Yeah. It's all, it's all ogre now. Yeah. 
No, and the thing is, like, this is during a time where phones were, were, cell phones were trying to become something, but my mom couldn't call any of our relatives to record the, like, VHS, uh, yes. the video record the things, so I had to, so I figured, oh, maybe someone recorded it. Nope. There's rarely footage of me being on there that exists unless it's in the archives somewhere in Nickelodeon Studios. And I got a multi moon. Multi moon. Oh god, like, oh god. we were, we were talking. You know, you, you finish, you finish. Now I have to say, I think I did come across footage of what happened to Slam on the, on that slime time later in the episode, but that's it. Yeah, oh, uh, we, it's funny because we were talking about Disneyland earlier. Funny thing, when I actually went to Disneyland back in like 2007, so I was like, like seven years old. My brother was like four years old. It happened. Where it's like, I don't know how the, how, cause like with Disneyland, they have like, you know, the parade that comes out. Uh, and this was like Disneyland Hong Kong. Uh, so they have the parade that comes out. And before that actual proper parade, where like the people who you actually care about come out, where you know, like, you know, all the people in costumes and stuff. Uh, I don't know how the people who are running the parade found out, but they were like, oh, so, so your, your family, uh, is, so, um, Miss Kanzarovsky, your family's from Australia, and it was like, okay, yeah, yeah, we're we're from Australia. It's like, how would you like to be like at the start of the parade? And Mom's like, not really knowing what she's getting us into, she's like, okay. And so we got put at the start of this parade, and freaking because we're we're put into this carriage, and it's like, oh, I know what it is. Over, yeah, over the over like the the speaker, they're like, you know, to start off, please welcome from Australia, you know, the Kanzarovsky family, and my mom's just like. Son of a bitch. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay, and, and they gave us the, these, like, they gave us two things. Us Mickey gloves, like, to, to wear, and, like, that's, like, half, like, over half the size of our of our actual hands. So these big-ass Mickey gloves, and also these Mickey Mouse hats with our names sewn at the back of oh, it. Oh, that's so neat! Uh, it, it was really cool. We still have the hats. We still have all four of the hats with our names at the back of it. But we unfortunately couldn't get to keep the big ass Mickey Mouse gloves, so that's that's unfortunate. But Ooh. yeah, it was it was an embarrassing situation. But at the same time, <laughs> at the same time, we got like Mickey Mouse hats, f- like I feel like from the Dis- from the Disneyland Hong Kong staff with our names sewn at the back of it. That's still a lot of fun, though. Yeah, it was a lot of fun, and then after we went past. You know, they they stop for like ten minutes, so like we can get out and sit down ourselves, and we watch the actual parade. Yeah, I, yeah, I always wanted to be part of the the carriage thing. Like they always they have it for some of the daytime parades uh, to do that, and they just take a. I I always wonder how they get the families. It's just always random. But it oh, looks like so much I don't know fun. how I don't know how they found out. I don't know how they found out that the that our family was Australian. It's just they looked at us and it's like, oh, you you look you look foreign and not not even like you don't even look Australian. You look freaking um, um you look European because we maybe are European. What, uh, maybe with your tickets because like they could tell when you with your tickets maybe uh, they should, they know where you're from. Aha. Yes, I don't know. Dis- I think Disneyland Hong Kong does some things different from other parks. I'm not sure. Yeah, that's probably what it is. I, I can't remember. Again, I was like seven years old, and this stuff. There's a lot of stuff I do remember about that trip. About uh, the same time, it, it was very much like I got a moon. It was long enough ago that I really want to go to Disneyland again. <laughs> Fun, but yeah, I really want to. Really want because yeah, how many Disney? Because back then there was only like four Disneylands. There was like two in America. There was uh, one in. Paris, and there yes. was the one in Hong Kong. Okay, um, oh okay, yeah, you're talking to a Disney nerd, so here we go. Uh, there is, of course, the two in the United States, one in Florida, one in California. There is one in Paris called Disneyland Paris. Uh, there is one in, uh, actually, there's like two in Japan. It's Tokyo Disneyland and Tokyo Disney Sea. There's two in China. One is Hong Kong Disneyland, and the newest one is Shanghai Disneyland. It's I think it just turned like two years old this year. And I oh, remember wow. when I went. 
yeah, I remember back when I went in like uh, in 2007, it was split it, it was split up into like three sections, well, technically four. There was like the main plaza section, but then there was like three other sections where it was like one was like you know the the it was the castle of course, and it was like the, I I forget the exact names, but it was like it was like oh this is the 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 the, 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 the fairy tale land place. Then one other and that, that you know that one was of course like you know all the all the classic princess movies like Snow White, Cinderella, Sleeping Beauty, Little Mermaid, yada yada yada. Um, then there was like oh the the tropical jungle forest place, and that that one was like the Lion King, Tarzan, Jungle Book, and all those movies. And then there was the Spaceland, uh, the Spaceland one where it was like lilo and stitch and all these and toy story and all these other space themed ones so oh, that's, yeah, yeah that's tomorrowland oh yeah tomorrowland yeah yeah it's all good like it i've yet to be in another theme uh, disney park that's not Ooh, there's a wedding yeah, gown we can get the wedding gown in the lake kingdom yeah Yay. i'm gonna have to check out now guys i'm gonna get some rest before i have to go to night shift okay Alrighty, then. later <laughs> I may come back tomorrow if that's okay. Of course. Thank you. Have fun, guys. Well, dear. I think the one uh, Disney theme park I want to go to is Tokyo, because, dear God, Tokyo uh, has the most amazing theme parks, and I I feel like they're much superior to the ones you, over in the United States. Like, hi. Yeah, I gotta, there's, there's yeah, like I gotta check it. I... Go ahead. I, I, I gotta check, you know, the the differences between all the, the Disneylands because I, I really do want to, you know, go to Disneyland again at some point. It's been it's been 12 years since I last le went, and you know, of course, I, you know, uh, of course, it, it does cost quite a bit of money, but you know, at the same time, it's like it's also a very nice, very nice trip. So I I, I would very much like to go to Disneyland again sometime. But I gotta check the intricacies of all the Disneylands to choose like mm. what would be the best Disneyland to go to. Well, Tokyo is going to have, like, the big, a big expansion. Get that roll of coins! <laughs> uh, but, uh, to like, Tokyo Disneyland right now is actually going to have a Fantasyland expansion where the I've seen the most impressive animatronics, like, like, crazy, like, they're the beauty, because they're going to have a Beauty and the Beast ride, and I see the animatronics, and I'm like, oh my god, this is beautiful! Why can't we have this over here?! <laughs> and they're getting like a like a they're gonna have a frozen stuff over there and it's just like they they just op I know that in Tokyo just he, he just opened their own equivalent of soaring uh, which is I think a little different but their god their stuff over there is so different they have a, a different an actual horror themed version of the Tower of Terror uh, they have like so there's so much that's different over there. The food is different. Waiting in line is different. Instead of people shoving in, in, in a crowd line, they're in a straight line and the line moves faster. I just possessed a zipper. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, well, yeah, well, because the reason why, 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 you know, there's no pushing or shoving is because Japan, everything's all respectful over there. Yeah. And you can actually dress up in there. Like, even if it's not, like, hey, for Halloween, you, you can dress up as a Disney character without any of the guidelines that are over in, Flo in, in the United States. You can wear a mask. <laughs> Chiaki is adorable. Sorry. Hello, oh, Chiaki. It's, yeah, it, yeah, it's, um, yeah, Disneyland was such fun. Like, uh, funny thing is, like, I, because, you know, seven years old, didn't like roller coasters. Uh, so literally, like, my two favorite on was like there was it was basically the same thing except oh, like, careful it was, kitty it was, it was, it was, it was ah, those right basically i just had surgery there kitty oh <laughs> careful she's oh, needing uh, um, no no she, she's fine uh, now she was just stepping close to the surgical area <laughs> uh, oh yeah but the, the two two rides i like the most were like two rides that like uh basically you you're in a cart and like it was basically like a like a tour thing where like you go you go th throughout like one specific movie like the, and the two I went on was like there was one Toy Story themed one and there was one Winnie the Pooh themed one the Winnie the Pooh themed one it took you throughout all the the many adventures of Winnie the Pooh segments oh yeah and, like, I know that one 
It was really fun. And then the Toy Story one was um, you were, you were given an actual blaster and like you you shoot down like stuff like like in, in like around you. So yeah, that one's also fun. But like I, I love the Winnie the Pooh one just because you know I love many adventures of the Winnie the Pooh and I love Winnie the Pooh in general. Pooh is valid. <laughs> yeah. Oh, like the Winnie the Pooh ride in uh. Lumpy Tokyo is best. Is... Lumpy is best girl. Yeah, look, it's so much different. Lumpy's, like Lumpy's a boy. I know. <laughs> That's why I said Lumpy is best girl because, shut up. <laughs> no, well, I know that the Winnie the Pooh ride in uh, Tokyo is different because it's an actual Omni Mover, where and the your ride vehicle actually bounces along with Tigger. Like that's just crazy. Bounce, bounce, bounce all over the place. Bounce, bounce. There was also this um. There was also this weird, uh, this weird like attraction where it's like in this in Tomorrowland where it's like you go, and it's like a big pro projector with Stitch on it, and like you know the audience talks with Stitch, and it was like. Oh, <laughs> let's talk with it's... Stitch. Oh, hold on, Kitty, your nose is cold. What's it going? Aww. I love you. I don't remember much from it, but I remember there was like one part where it's like. He, he he asked the audience, like, hey, you want chocolate? And the audience is like, yeah, yeah, that'd be cool. And he reaches down his throat and he gets, like, like jobbled up, like, disgusting oh! chocolate from, from his stomach. Oh, no! <laughs> the, the funny part is, like, the the, 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 the audience of kids is basically like, ew, ew. And then so she's like, what, you don't want it? Okay, fine. And he just tosses it back into his mouth. <laughs> Oh, now she's purring. So, I, I got, somebody I loves me. <laughs> There's a checkpoint. Use the checkpoint. Checkpoint. And also get a fish because you were going to die. Because I saw a moon on the Loch Ness. I don't watch a... Uh... Because a while ago I was on a big Winnie the Pooh binge. And I get I got to get back to that. I, I the, the big part's the... um. Adventures of Winnie the Pooh, like it was the TV show. Yeah. yeah. Um, coins oh, that must have so, coins. I, I send it. I think you could talk with the, with her. She might have something. With who? The one in the secret room that you were in. Ah, you found me. Uh, but yeah, it's like I. Oh my God! Look at this kid. Look at her. She's just, she's snuggling. Well, I'll, I'll look at her when she comes on the stream. I want to see how adorable oh, she is. Oh, hello. Yeah. Hello, yeah, kitty yeah. cat. Oh, oh, she's being lazy. Oh, she's a little snuggled up there. Oh, apparently, I, uh, Rose is telling us in the chat that Isaac the Mia Hunter found kitties at work. Aww. Oh, sorry, I, I needed a kitten break. Sorry, guys. No, it's fine. Our it's fine. The kitty's, kitty's so adorable. Chiaki's so cute. We she interrupt the stream to bring you Chiaki Snuggles. Yeah. All right. I love you, Chiaki. This is this is how she normally sits when she's really in love with me. Like when she's Aww. like, oh, you're streaming and you're not moving and oh, I'm going to sleep. <laughs> yeah. Chiaki is so uh, cute. I really want to, I, I have a cat uh, when I was, again, seven years old. Funny thing is, like, we actually found her in our backyard. And, like, we had a... Because our fence is, like, you know, I, I usually, you know, uh, look, look over it to, like, talk with our neighbor. Because, like, we, we were pretty good at... We were really good with our neighbor. And so one night, I'm just outside for no reason. And I see this cat. Kitty. And, um... And we, well, our, my, our parents basically ask our next door neighbor, "Is this one of your cats?" Because like our neighbor had about two or three cats, and she's like, "No, no, this is actually Ooh, not our, our, our cat." And we're, we're like, "Really?" So we're like, "Okay, this cat's not going away. Our kids really love this cat, and they want the cat to stay. Let's uh, let's take this cat in." And so we took this cat in, and then no joke, the next morning we found three kittens. No Aww. joke. We there were three kittens the next morning. It's like we started the night with one cat, and then the next morning was a cat and three kittens. So it was like, yay! Uh, we ended up giving one of the kittens to our cousins. Uh, we 
uh, gave another one to a vet, and I believe the third one we gave to our uh, uncle and aunt. And then, of course, we kept uh, the cat that we found. Uh, unfortunately, and we really loved it. We, re we really loved her. We, we, I really want to get another cat. Unfortunately, um, as a seven-year-old, I didn't know what happened to our cat. Basically, we had to go to Macedonia in June or July, and we stayed in Macedonia for three months. Now, when we got back, I, we couldn't find our cat. And, and I, I asked my parents, Mom, where's... Uh, I, I believe I just named, uh, named our cat Katie or Kitty. So, <laughs> original name there, but you know. Um, so, hey, where's our cat? And uh, they told me, oh, so w when we went to Macedonia, uh, she she ran away, away trying to look for us. And I'm like, oh, no, she ran away. Now, obviously, now that I'm older, I realize, oh, crap, she probably died. And that's sad, but... At the same time, it makes me just want to go, I want another cat. I, I miss the feeling of having a cat with me. I want to have another cat. The, the feeling of having a cat snuggle you is amazing. It's, I mean, like, it, it's... Chiaki's the best. I love you, Chiaki. I, I literally can't say anything because I could be allergic to certain breeds of, of long hair cats, so... And I can't wait. I'm going to be seeing Grady on Labor Day weekend, so I can't wait to see Grady. You're See the giant marshmallow, the yeah. giant toasted marshmallow. Shh, don't tell Chiaki, <laughs> she's gonna get jealous. <laughs> oh, but it's just gonna be a very big marshmallow, hmm. and it's just like I can't believe how big Grady has gotten. Like he, I remember when Nash got him, and he's just gotten bigger, and Nash is like, Grady's gotten bigger, and he learned that his cat right, that he has gets bigger and bigger. It's officially been two years since I got Chiaki, and Aww. she's grown so much. I love you, Kitty. Obviously, um, obviously, we know who, we obviously know what the inspiration for Chiaki's name was, but how did you actually come up with, like, yes, let's, let's name her Chiaki? Because I was playing Danganronpa at the time, and I liked her so much. Uh, so, like, that, that, that was literally just all the reason. It was like, oh, I'm playing Danganronpa right now. I love Chiaki. Let's name her Chiaki. Yeah, be, beca oh, because of the reason. Because of the reason. Now, you named her Chiaki Nanami, and I'm, I bet you just call it Chiaki for sure. Yep, Chiaki Nanami. I only use it when she's being naughty, which she's been very good today. Thank you for helping with my stream. Everyone donate. Um. Chiaki says trans rights. Every <laughs> she, uh, she, oh, and she leaves. <laughs> oh. <laughs> For every donation, I will pick up Chiaki. Oh, Chiaki's gonna get so mad every time you pick her up. She's like, Mom, Mom, please, Mom, I'm resting. Mom. But, Mom, I just wanted to snuggle. <laughs> Mom, I just wanted to just snuggle with you. Why are you picking me up? Oh, that's an optical illusion that hurts. Oh. <laughs> oh, Jesus Christ. That was close. But the bad thing about wanting a cat is that my mom really wants a dog. And I'm like, don't tell me we're going to have, like, cats and dogs living together. Mass hysteria. Come on, mom. <laughs> Unfortunately, <laughs> uh, my girlfriend is very into dogs. So I have to, I'm going to have to have both. But she did agree to let me have three cats. <laughs> oh, you should. If she gets a dog, get a little corgi and name it Hajime. I keep telling her to get a corgi, but she does not. Uh, she keeps saying, no, I want a big dog. I'm like, but they scare me. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, big... St still get a, big a, dogs a scare big me as well. dog. Golden Retrievers are friendly. Big dogs used to scare me. Then then I started interacting with more big dogs, and I'm like, oh, you, 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 you're valid. As a, like, 9, 10-year-old in Macedonia playing in the snow with... Uh, with our dog we had there, it was the best. It, we, we would just run around, play with it, and it, it was the best. Hi. Dogs, though. I'm just more of a cat guy. I'm a cat girl. Oh my, Tiffa, name the corgi Cheddar. I know why she wants to name the corgi Cheddar. It's a Brooklyn Nine Nine reference. <laughs> nine Nine! So I, I'm a Goomba. Well, even if 
you don't want like a corgi, you can always like get it like a, a big dog. Like the friendly ones are always like the retrievers. Pit bulls are also friendly too. Um, I'm trying to think. You can get like any. I'm nice not a fan friendly. of pit bulls. They 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 are nature's mistake because they can't oh. breathe. Well, they try. I'm just trying to get the mode. Give me the mode. <laughs> Stupid Goombas. The Goombas are just trying to help. Also, Jake is in the chat. Hi, Jake. How's it going, Jake? Okay, so that wasn't a moon. I, I saw glowing things, and I thought it was a moon. That was just little golden Goombas that may, probably make coins. Yeah, coins are good oh. too. You're about to run out of health. It's okay. Zipper. <laughs> I love that you can possess zippers. Oh, Rosen said you're thinking of bulldogs. There's a difference. Yeah. Oh yeah, that's right. That's right. Either way, I'm sorry. Dogs scare me. What time were you um? Uh, what time were you planning on the uh, the guests coming in? Oh, they're not free until the evening, so we have some time. Oh. Plus, yeah, uh, some of them are on a different time scale, so. Yeah, yeah. Well, the ones you have in here, they're like, uh, one's closer to your time scale. My one's closer to my time scale. Like, uh, is Swade gonna be a, a guest? Here, uh, a guest on here? I haven't talked to him, but then again, he's on New Zealand time, so I don't know when that's. Uh, it's, yeah, because yeah, I, I was gonna say because I was gonna say if Swade's if Swade's uh, gonna come on here, then that's like a time zone like close to mine. Yeah. Yeah. Like, oh, that's an odd stone. Um. I found some more stuff. Um. For now, I have a set list of guests that I'm going to talk to, but. Like, I didn't want to overdo it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. No, I get ya. What is that? We get it. We have to do something to it. We just gotta figure out what. <laughs> we have to do something. Should we do something? Should we do something? We, we should, should do, do something. Music notes. Yay! I got the music moon. Ooh. You're about to lose air. All right. Oh, you got to regain health. How the hell are you going to do that? By picking up a moon. Oh, yeah. I keep forgetting about that. I already got that moon. All right, I'm going to drop off some moons. Got a lot of moons. Thirty-two out of nine hundred ninety-nine. Oh wow. Alright. You're so close then. You're so close not really close, but you know what I mean. <sighs> Know what I mean? Know what I'm saying? Alright, now I gotta get back over there. Let's, uh, ooh, I see something. Let's go back up. What, what do we have here? Coins, lots and lots of coins. I'm just looking at um, just looking at your, uh, your Disney debate play, um, playlist, and I'm just like, you know, th th there's some movies that like they're not wild because like not only do you go by chronological order, you you also tackle the sequels and other stuff in the franchise of those movies when they come up. Yep. So like, there's certain movies that aren't c coming out for like a while, like Emperor's New Groove, Lilo and Stitch. But there's like, you know, two or three movies where I'm just like, you know, I know I, I'm not on the Disney debate, but it's like, 
hook me up, Zen, like, you know, when those <laughs> movies come up. <laughs> <laughs> we'll see. Right now we're stuck. Uh, we we finished the parent trap, and uh, we saw the parent trap too yesterday. Um, so we're, we're going to work on that. The, th the problem is um, we might have to... to move maneuver a couple of them together because the sequels yeah. kind of blend um just wait until I, I, would do, I, would, I would do all of the parent trap just in one like no yes. joke i would do all the parent trap in one well we yeah, already rec we already recorded the parent trap one as as a thing but yeah he's uh, just wait until you get to the parent trap where there's triplets wait what <laughs> yeah, there's one pair of trap that is literally little triplets. Oh, boy. And they do for two movies. Just when I think I'm out, they pull me back in. Yeah, no, I knew, I randomly knew about that. Because I was like, I was curious. And then I learned apparently when they were opening Disease Hollywood Studios, they had the triplets as a guest, hosting, guesting one segment with Dick Van Dyke of all people. It was an experience. It's like with Parent Trap, it's like, God, it's... I I, I only knew of, like, the original, uh, the original 80... Uh, not 80, 61 film, uh, and of the remake. Uh, I don't like the 60s film. I like I do like the remake, though. I do really, really like... The, the Lindsay remake. Lohan remake is great. Um, I did not know that there was a Parent Trap 2 or 3. There's also a 4. A four, hold on, I'm, I'm looking at this on Wikipedia right now. Jesus, the the, ha, the Hawaiian honeymoon. Are you freaking kidding me? Yeah, yeah, it gets that's, yeah that's one of them. It gets ridiculous. That's why yeah. uh, I suggested it to uh, Kat and Doug that we, you know, let, let's combine them <laughs> together. But we, we haven't seen the third one yet. So we're going to see. If we can combine them, we'll do it. Um, but as for right now, um, that's where we stand. We, we have some of it done um and uh we are also planning stuff for halloween and christmas uh there's a poll oh. in the disney debate facebook group um i think halloween town is in the lead right now but there's also um uh what is it us uh, the santa claus is also in the lead for christmas so oh my god i love halloween town I it's one of my favorite. I love it too. <laughs> it's great. No, the one, the one. Uh, there's only like, like one film I hate from it, and it's Return to Halloween Town when they just decided not to recast um, Kimberly J. Brown because they thought she was too old. Oh God. Yeah, even though she says she wanted to. Rejo like she was happy enough to join the return, but they're like, "No, you're too old. We're gonna get a different it, actress who literally <laughs> doesn't feel like." Yeah, it was it was character. bad. My least favorite one though was oh. Halloween Town High. It was boring. Which one? Halloween Town High. That was the third one. Oh yeah, the thing is, Halloween Town High had some good things they were going for, but it just didn't work out it's but like it was it's the second it least especially because like they they had a cool thing going with the second film and all of a sudden it just kind of stopped i don't know I don't what know. happened subsections of disney films you know disney pixar ghibli marvel star wars disney channel originals the crappy director dvd sequels um out of all those subsequent sections the one i have probably the least amount of experience with are the disney channel original movies mainly because yeah, yeah. after a certain point in my childhood i stopped having cable and disney channel available so i didn't actually get to experience a lot of those movies huh. so now i'm getting extra hard here's the extent here's the extent of my disney channel original movie um experience um the three high school musical movies I was a kid, so that's about it. <laughs> yeah. One aspect, of... I do, one aspect that I did 
uh, one one part about the uh, about Disney that I did watch a lot as a child were the director DVD movies, which is why I have a lot of nostalgia for them. All right, so now I'm a baseball umpire. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I love like I love uh, Emperor's New Groove two, even though as a movie it's like not very good. Yeah, that's just like let's follow Kronk, and it, it was having something good. It just kind of felt like a couple. Kronk's new mini- groove. <laughs> yeah, Kronk's Kr- new groove. Yeah, yeah, it was like in the um in the U.S. I believe it was called Kr- just Kronk's new groove. Whereas yeah, here it was in Australia, called Kronk's it was, new groove. It was oh. the Empress new the Empress new groove two. Kronk's new groove. Wow, that's a long title. <laughs> oh. Yeah, it's, it's not as bad as the 101 Dalmatians sequels because there's tons of them and they have very long names. Wait, there's only two animated 101 Dalmatians films. Then there's a the live action. I like the live action ones. And I like the I like the first animated film. I Hold like the two live action ones. I don't care for Patches Adventure and 102 Dalmatians. I do like 102 Dal- uh, um, I, I do like Patches uh, Adventure because um, that's one of the ones I watched, like one of the directed DVD movies that well, I watched the most as a kid. And I actually came back to it as like, uh, when I was older, I was like, wow, this actually holds up pretty well. I like this. Um, Patches London Adventure was pretty good. I, I love 101 Dalmatians. It's really good. But talking about titles and like how we change stuff, we... Actually, like uh, we in Australia actually fixed the, the Fast and the Furious titles. Not the fourth movies. The fourth movie still sucks. It's just Fast and the Fast and Furious. Fast and Furious um, was the dumbest title ever. I don't, I I, I don't get it. Bad. But Which... then it, then it got like, yeah the, the fourth one. The fourth one's just called Fast and Furious, and that's it. And it's really stupid. But from there, the U.S. okay, the U.S. titles it goes Fast Five, Fast and Furious Six, Furious Seven. Which is stupid. Like, why take out the the Furious and Fast Five and the Fast and Furious Seven? It's weird. But in Australia, we actually fixed it because you see, the fifth, sixth, and seventh movies are just called Fast and Furious Five, Fast and Furious Six. Welcome Fast back, Rom. Seven. Hi, Rom. Welcome back. Uh, and uh, he's Hat Hat Kid is just an inspiration for him, I guess. I don't know. Yeah, so like we don't we it's not Fast Five and Furious Seven for us. It's Fast and Furious Five and Fast and Furious Seven, which is good. That's how it should be. Same as it ever was. <laughs> At that point, it's like just start numbering them, and they did. It's just in the US releases, which are apparently the proper releases. Um, yeah, it's. Ugh. All right. Well, yeah, that that yeah, that's what we do. I, I call it Fast and Furious Four because that's just. That's just what makes more, most sense. I would just call it Fast Four. Fast, fast and the Furious. Call it Fast and Furious Four because you know, fast. If if you want to go the na- the route of numbering them, I feel like you should go with consistent titles. And I feel like Fast and Furious is just more recognizable. So I go Fast and Furious Seven, Fast and Furious Five, Fast and Furious Six, Fast and Furious. You know, just, just, you know, just all that, just the proper titles. Um, Oh, um, it, the series starts with the, the fast and the furious, so that's not confusing at all. <laughs> too fast, too furious. I'm too fast for y'all. And I got uh, another moon. Yeah. No, if I know for myself, I actually want to try and take a look at some of the Disney Channel original movies because there's a lot of decoms. And, um, there's a lot of decoms. There's a, well, the thing is, I stopped right after High School Musical. Uh, and I know people, like, one person in my comments on my YouTube is like, hey, review Disney Descendants. It's like Monster High. I'm like, no thanks. I, I'm like, no, it's just more like, I will only review that if I get a Patreon request, which it's sad. My Patreon requests are, requests are only like $11, it's incredibly cheap. And Ma- Maleficent's I, the, the Maleficent's the worst adaptation of, Mal- of the character, and it ruins Maleficent. Disney Descendants <laughs> comes around and it's like hold my beer. Oh, Smart yeah, the, Smart House is great. The Poof Point is good. Oh, the one I actually I actually have one on my list that I actually ripped the footage off a long I found on YouTube a long while ago. I might, I need haven't had a chance to watch to see how the quality is, but I found a 
a copy of the Phantom of the Megaplex. Oh, that's one of my favorites. Um, I it's love cool. that. Just, I love Under Wraps. Uh, yeah, it's just one of those films that it's just like, it tries to do Phantom of the Opera for kids, but in a movie theater. It's... J uh, J Jake, I wouldn't say that the Fast and Furious titles are pretentious. I would just say that they they try to be cool in one of those franchises that like changes the title which, with each of the entries and they just, they, they fail at it. <laughs> anyway, go, go on, what were you going to say? Um, uh, uh, Don't Look Under the Bed is a great one too. That's a good one. Yeah, I want to take a look at the Phantom of the Megaplex because it's just one of those films, like, as a kid, I liked it. As an adult, I've been looking at the film posters that they have that I don't remember even being on there. Of just the kids look, trying to look shocked as they're tied up in fake movie film reel. And I'm like, this looks so cheap. It doesn't say what the, uh, the Phantom is of. And it's just like, yeah, I, I'm reviewing it. I literally... Uh, mm, yeah, so it's like, I might do that. And we As got a multi moon. For Eli, um, when you said like you'd prefer to have like three people uh, in the call at a time, did you mean three po three people along with you? Uh, three people in addition to me, so four total. Yeah, so four total. Mm. Yeah. Multi moons. This is actually my favorite color moon. It's pretty. Cause like I just wanted to pretty look at that. It also that's like where the late Mickey Rooney was as like one of the is he the Phantom? You know he's an old man. <laughs> the mood hunt like, it goes well, Rodolphus. We have quite a bit. How many we got now? Thirty nine. Yeah. Woo! In that's three hours. Thing. That that's pretty good. You're getting yeah. You're almost to, you're like almost to fifty. Out of nine nine nine. Nine, no, 981. No, 999 is the max. <laughs> oh, right. All right. Make, make that 960 you have left to go. <sighs> We're on an adventure. Where are we going this time? I've seen the Hobbs and Shaw ROM. It's really good. It's dumb, but it's fun. Um, yeah. Oh, Rosen just put in the chat that he, because apparently he te he said that work didn't give said an art thing that work didn't have a lot for him, so he's gonna be leaving in thirty to forty five minutes. He's gonna get gas and he'll be back. Alrighty. Um, in the meantime, I think we're due for a break. Yeah, We've been doing need... two and a half minutes, and uh, I need to update um, the campaign in for Super Mario Odyssey because something's not quite right with the. What the with the hours to go? Yeah. Uh... Yeah, it saved like five hours to go when you you just started like a couple hours ago. That's stupid. <laughs> All right. Well, I'm going to use the restroom. I'll be back. Mm-hmm. Let me just see if I can fix that. Mm. So then do you have like a uh, save of saver images like for when we go on break? I was planning on actually just posting uh putting up one of my videos for that. Do 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 dashboard. Let's see view campaign.
Yeah, I don't know why it did that. That's weird. Because we don't have five hours to go. We have quite a bit. <laughs> um, we have, like, what, 23 hours? Like, less? Like, 22 hours? Um, we have been going for two and a half hours, so we have, like, 21 and a half or something like that. Hey, Riders Block, how's it going? Uh, don't mind me. I'm trying to... to fix something here and maybe if I change this I apologize guys this is just uh, something I want to fix all good all good I'm back. Oh, right. Jeff's in the chat. Hi, Jeff. And I'm back. It's still cold in the apartment. Why is it cold? I don't like it. I got a blanket over me, and it's not helping. All right. And because we're getting closer to the campaign goal, I'm going to change it to 200 since we, since we technically already have 140. So update campaign. Let's see. Maybe I need to get the new URL or if it updates automatically. Ah, uh, uh, yeah, I might have to do that. Streamlabs. Oh, Streamlabs. Okay, now it's now it's updated. Sweet. We are 29 hours to go. All right, so because uh, I need to get something quick to eat, I'm going to post- uh, 29 hours. <laughs> uh, it's okay, it's okay. Like you can't, you can't do it down to the hour, it just says date wise, so it's weird. Mm. I'll leave it That's like weird. this. Leave it like this. If that's if that's the case, then yeah, then yeah, just leave it like that. <laughs> okay, the video looks like the video stopped. All oh. right, I am back. Sorry about that. Oh, hi Zen. Oh, um, apparently when you were playing the video, uh, Tiffa message in your your Discord that she could still hear, uh, her me and Philip chatting in the background. That's because the call's still going on. Yeah. So that's why, like, when that happens, I, I mean, I could just put an image up. That might be fine, but yeah. So I just had some food. I'm good to go. I, that's good. I, have, I haven't eaten yet because, like, I, Rosen, I want to maybe pop, pop a pizza in the oven for Rosa and I when he gets back. When he gets back. Oh. Yeah, flip us the chat. He'll be back in a bit. He's going to have breakfast. Yeah, I think there was a good time to, to eat. And um, so I, I had a I had a Crunchwrap Supreme, and I'm ready to go. A what type Supreme? Crunchwrap. I don't know what that is. It's from Taco Bell. <laughs> oh, that explains why. I don't care for Taco Bell. <laughs> like, like... Ever since I've been here, Rose is like, hey, we're going to go to Del Taco. That's right near our apartment. Takes me there. They're in the middle of remodeling. And he's like, I, it wasn't like this. I'm like, yeah, there, it'll be like a month and a half until you can take me to this one. Hey, Jim, how's oh, yeah. it going? Um, Let us return to the world of Super Mario Souls. Yeah. <laughs> Wait, no, god damn it, not Dark Souls. Not everything is Dark Souls. Um, right now we're, we, we've gotten a lot of moons, so I think we got 39? Yeah, we have 39. So we're, we're doing pretty good, but um, there's a lot more that we can do and that we will do. Um, but once again, <sighs> Charity stream time. If you want to donate just a little bit to the Trevor Project, it helps support trans kids, uh, which is, you know, perfect, I think, because I would like more acceptance and support. 
Uh, yeah. so, so that, you know, that's something you can do. Something you can do yeah. to help out. And, Donate. uh, for every hundred dollars, I will show my cat on the stream again. <laughs> yeah, which will happen once Ari donates. All right, what is this? Okay. Uh, something happened here. There's a bunch of things spinning. Hello, Boombox. Hello. Oh. The, everything's a machine. <laughs> there is a machine. Oh my god. It's the environment. It's a message. What have we done? Um, Jim, you donate through the link right underneath. Uh, you just click on the Super Zen Zenny Odyssey picture. It'll link you directly to uh, the Tiltify link where you can donate as much or as little as you would like. Yeah. Oh, Jeff, Tennis Mario in the Savage Land. Perfect. Spend money. We have acquired many products to sell. Well, let's let's have a moon first. Moons are important. And then once I have that moon, first things first, we gotta get a mechanic cap. Steam gardens. And now I'm a mechanic. <laughs> hey, it kind of fits with the uh, Mario, except he's a plumber, but it still counts. <laughs> Why no is way. there a sphinx in the wooded kingdom? Hey. I haven't gotten that footage yet. Greetings, traveler, and to your hat as well. Can you answer my riddle? What does the Bowser monster want from this kingdom? Um, you are correct. Perhaps I wasn't much of a riddle. Any who proceed. Okay. There we go, we got some hex pieces. Secret but, passageway. But yeah, I, I'm thinking for the next uh, next break, I'll just use a picture instead, but we'll, you know, we'll see. Hmm. So, Cappy yeah. can clear poison. Wait, Cappy can clear poison? Yeah, apparently. Wow! I'm just being reminded of the Mickey by the way the ink just like the poison disappears. Oh, I miss Epic, Epic Mickey so much. So we can't take care of the piranha plants. Dang it. I thought you could possess them. Me too, I was hoping. Like he said he could clear the poison. We still have to kill him. Mario is a mass murderer after all. I'm just gonna get a PS4 camera and just dance. Yeah, for ba his brother. Bowser's doing pretty good for the for the wedding. I mean, he's he's pulling out all the stops. Got to get the best ring. Got to get the best dress. Got to get flowers. Yeah. By just stealing everything from all these kingdoms. <laughs> this is why we can't have nice things. No. Okay, I'm a plant. Now you're a plant? Yeah, now I'm a plant. Huh. Weird.
I love that. Ways are expensive. Makes more sense to steal. Jim, <laughs> uh, Jim says his brother's wedding back in April ran sixty thousand dollars. Dang. Oh. oh. Remind me with weddings. I've yet to really think of a day with Mo Mina Rose's wedding at all. Oh wait! Ah, dang it! What happened? I missed some uh, some co some coins, but either way, we're good. <laughs> oh no! The purple coins. There we go, I got a moon, yay! Woo! Do 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 do. Flower Thieves of Sky Garden. So oh. every, everything's flowery. Oh, Jim says it. He, well, he lives in California. Everything's more expensive there. Yeah, I live in this state now. Yeah, welcome to welcome to the world. Ooh, oh, flower flower, flower road. Ooh. Oh, what about Rainbow Road? Eh. I feel I. That's why I'm really thinking of having a wedding in Florida because I feel like it's gonna be less. It'll be less expensive over there. If not just because Disney World has more options for wedding stuff over there. When me and Ari eventually get married, I'm just gonna live stream the wedding. It's oh yeah, that's what that's what a, our friends Charlie and Haley did for their wedding. It's nice. But the question is, where were you gonna get married? You will see. Yep. Yeah. There we go. I got I got health. No, because the question is, who gets to wear a wedding dress? Oh, we're both wearing dresses. Oh, you're good. You're both gonna be so cute. <laughs> it's like the one time she wants to wear a dress. She's gonna have a Zelda Aww. dress, and I am going to have a magical girl dress. Oh. So basically, a uh, Zelda inspired wedding dress and a magical girl inspired wedding dress. Yep. Aww. It's gonna be it's gonna be very nice. It's gonna be so cool. You just want a big huge circle. Yep. Because there was a moon. Net planet praising what, God what's... damn it, King. It said nut planted. Oh god. Uh, praising How much would your wedding to Ari cost? Eh. I mean, I, I, my friends and I can uh, can work things out together. We can get some favors worked out. Although I'm probably gonna have to pay Nash to live stream. I want Magic Steve to do magic. Um, Dodger's gonna do tarot. Ooh. So. Oh, you're gonna have Magic Steve do magic. What about balloons? And balloons. He loves it. He does the most amazing elaborate balloons. I've he seen. should. He should totally do. Um, and I, Nash is gonna live stream it, so yeah, I, I just have to pay him. He's fine as long yeah. as you pay him. Yeah. Oh, are you gonna try and get Hagen and Omega to go? Go, cause that'd be so cool. I would love for them to go. They're, uh, you know, the, they're a little bit far away, but I would love for them to be there. All right, now I'm yeah. fighting Poison Dude. Poison. What's what, all the stupid poison? It's a poison rabbit. What? what? Behind the rabbit? No, it is the rabbit. It is the rabbit. Oh, that's disgusting. Why? Oh, what? Oh, dear God. I realize now where I've seen the, the, this type of, like, the way the liquid looks. I think they borrowed this from Splatoon. Yeah, th this feels like a Splatoon kingdom. And the 
same way. Oh, I'll just defeat this thing. I don't want it to just keep puking up poison. It just looks so weird. Silly rabbit, tricks are for kids. Silly rabbit, poison is for nobody. All right, we got we got the multi moon. Yay! Yay! <laughs> and we've been streaming for about three and a half hours almost. And I'm doing I'm doing fine. Uh, just gotta stretch every now and again, but I'm good. Cool. I'm good. I'm a little tired because my caffeine ran out on me. Cause I I, I had an unfinished uh, Pepsi in the fridge <laughs> uh, yesterday that I didn't want to drink from when I got home last night because I knew I had to be up early. We got a lot of moons. Like you get moons like so often in this. Hmm. Um. Sorry. We're at 46. Wow. Yeah. So, first things first, we have to go back here. Forty-six out of nine nine nine. So that's about nine hundred and fifty-three left. Not bad. Not bad. Not bad. Not bad at all. At least the poison's gone. Ow. We'll see. I hope so. <laughs> Hello, machine. These creatures are so weird, but I love them. Oh, this one? Oh, this little guy? Yeah, these plant creatures. Oh, oh, you lost some health there, Jesus. Yeah, just by touching it. Yeah. Ooh, I got another moon. The nut in the red maze. <laughs> that was freezing! Freezing, damn you! Freezing! Well, I mean, it is a transgender stream, so... <laughs> yeah. We're bound to have some phrasing here and there. There we are. Damn it. <laughs> oh. Rob put it in the chat. Hearing all this about wedding room about the wedding reminds me of one of the things on my bucket list that the moment the priest says to anyone who is supposed to you need to speak now for a hold your peace, I scream me and run the fuck away. I won't do that. I swear I won't. I'm not that much of an asshole. I really need a new bucket list. <laughs> yeah. It's okay. It, it's weird it's that I'm running into so many nuts after my orchidectomy. <laughs> You're right. Oh. Yeah, heart. Whoops. And it wore. Oh, wait, a pipe. I found a pipe? something. Yeah, you found a pipe. Let's see where this leads. Oh my god, I thank you, Rom. Phrasing. Do we not use phrasing anymore, Archer? Yeah. Oh, I wish I had my Archer DVDs. I know it's on Netflix, but I like watching my physical copies. Is phrasing still a thing? Yes. <laughs> All right, come on, come on, come on. Oh, moon. Got I got the moon. Yay. Yay. Flooding pipeway. Jake, so many nuts. Yes. D's nuts. Uh, I, I was. Is it weird? I was waiting for you to say that. <laughs> uh, uh, here we go. Here we go. All right. Um. There's like so much in each world. It's hard to just focus on one thing. I know 
there's so much to explore in this world. Hello, Philip again. Oh, there's, there's stuff over here. Aha! Heck is not working. Da, 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 da. Maybe he has himself muted. Now I'm back. Uh, Welcome there back. There you go. Yay! <laughs> um, so we just got two very suggestive trophies about nuts. <laughs> what were they? Uh, it, it was we we got moons that had nuts. Like it, it involved nuts in some capacity. <laughs> Basically. And then we just randomly started talking about weddings, because, like, uh... Okay, because, like, Bar Browser's just stealing all this this shit from different worlds just for wedding dresses. For, like, <laughs> wedding. So it's like... Whoa, 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 wait, wait, who? Bowser st stole a rain from one place, he stole a dress <laughs> from another, he stole a bouquet from another world. He turned me into a newt. Goes <laughs> through all this trouble just to ha have a wedding that, like, the other party just doesn't want to have. <laughs> yeah. I we got a moon. I got a Fire moon. In <laughs> Fire in the cave. Fire in the cave. Fire in the cave. That's funny. Yeah, but the one we got was, like, nut in the forest or something like that. Yeah, bust, that was it. bust a nut. You, yeah, you almost forgot Cappy. I, I kept pressing the button, and he wouldn't let me get him back, so I was like, you know, screw you guys, I'm going home. <laughs> it's more... I'll wait. We'll wait. Too many nuts, too many nuts, too many nuts, too many nuts. God damn it. <laughs> was, wait, I was trying to... I was really not hoping for a too many cooks where our friends with nuts were in place, but that happened. Oh, my phone. Ugh. Where's this getting gas? He's wondering if he should pick up lunch. Uh, <laughs> actually, it was safe a pizza, me cooking a pizza. He can totally do that if he wants. If he's paid, yes. Hmm, path to the secret flower field. Where do I go? Hmm. Plant nurturing subroutines. Yeah, I'm probably going to have to go in about 40 to 40 minutes to like an hour or so, because school calls. Understandable. Totally understandable. <laughs> of course, be in the chat whenever I'm on break. <laughs> How dare you? No. <laughs> no, I'm to, no, I'm trying to figure out when school starts out in California, because it's like, oh, we got the school sales. I'm like, great. Uh... When does it start? Because <laughs> it starts like at the end of August when it originally was in South Carolina. I don't know when it starts over here. Even Rosa won't, doesn't know. I'm like, well, <laughs> college, well, college students are already moving into the apartment complexes where they are, so it has to start soon. Yep. Oh, I got another nut one. The nut round the corner. <laughs> 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 The good thing about uh, about this semester I ha that I the semester I have right now is that I only have two days where I actually have to go to school. I, I have Tuesdays and Fridays, Mondays, Wednesdays, and Thursdays I have off. Well, this is a tank. I'm a tank. To tank a tank. <laughs> but all that means is like the two days that I do have weekly, I just. We gotta go to every single class and it's also better because unlike last semester where i had like 11 subjects and i had to like juggle assessments for all of them now i can just juggle assessments for like four sub like four of my courses 
Right, what do we have in here? <clears throat> hmm. Why was this worth going into? Hmm. Pull the lever to receive a seed. Okay. Well, so Rose is watching, is listening to the stream while he's driving. Rosen. Rosen. <laughs> I know you're paying attention. You can drive, but why? He's just listening to the stream. Oh my god. Oh, there we go. <laughs> That's what I need to do. Oh, I made a beanstalk. That's cool. Throw the nut. <laughs> Bust the nut it. and then throw the nut. Yeah, it's too late for me now with the puns. <laughs> oh, wait, what's this? Moon! Thanks for the charge. Ah, <laughs> uh, it's possible I have to use this to get over. Oh. No. Okay, my mom okay, a weird thing happened. Um I I've been I've been doing a lot of cooking lately. I I actually made the the panko fried pork uh chops for dinner last night. The tonk uh tokusatsu tok, tok, tokusatsu. I think that's how you pronounce it. Tokusatsu? I think so. I don't know, I'm keep pronounce pronouncing it wrong. We're, uh, we're we're gonna have to start a nut counter. Right now that's three. Yeah. But, Th three um, nuts. I, uh, I, I was, I was, I'm making it. I sent a picture of my mom. It was like two in the morning over there, 11 at night. Cause I almost forgot. Apparently, you know, her phone was off. She could hear the phone, my ringtone go off. Even though the, her phone was off. Also, Rosen clarifies listening. I am listening only. Yes, you are listening. He's not watching, he's just listening to the stream while he drives. <laughs> I love you, Rosen. Let's see, I have tanks. Ow. You're okay. You're not supposed to hurt me, tanks. <laughs> funny, th funny thing is, I have a, I have a deal with my friend <clears throat> uh, about Persona, because Persona Five Royal is coming up, and funny thing is, he actually hasn't played Persona Five yet because he doesn't have a PlayStation Four. He's getting one in about two or three months. So I told, and the thing is, he really loves Persona Three, but he hasn't beaten Persona Four yet. And I really love Persona Four, but I haven't finished Persona Three yet. So I told him this: before Persona Five Royal comes out. <laughs> If he beats Persona 3, I'll... Sorry, if he beats Persona 4, I'll beat Persona 3. Let's see. Ooh, like, that's a moon. It's like, I know what happens in Persona 3. I just haven't played it all the way through. I got love in the forest ruins. No wonder <laughs> there's all these nuts. <laughs> You know, Zen, while I'm happy that you, like, you know, platinum Persona 5, I also very much pity you because I know you're going to get Persona 5 Royal and you're going to want to complete that as well. Oh, God, don't remind me. I mean, oh, I still have to finish four golden and I still need to do four. I need to, um, basically, uh, continue playing for Persona 4 because I I, just, I started it but I never finished it I love Persona 4 honestly so much like when you look at the Persona fandom nowadays like when you ask for like what's your favorite game in the like in the series nowadays most people will either say Persona 5 or Persona 3 because Persona 3 has a large fan base as well Persona 4 I still stand by as my favorite Persona game I love 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 Persona 4 like I like since I was young, 
Kingdom Hearts 2 has been my favorite game of all time, and the only game since that has even come close to managing to topple it was Persona 4. Persona 4 almost toppled Kingdom Hearts 2 as my favorite game of all time. I love Persona 4 so much. Hmm. Persona 5 was great as well. I just have a problem with um with the main big bad in uh, in Shido. I didn't like Shido as the big bad, if I'm being honest. Um, but yeah, Persona 4 uh, just has, I think, a fantastic villain, a fantastic twist, uh, a big, like, a big moment where, like, my heart just sunk, and then they go back on it, and I was like, oh, you assholes! That was effective as hell, but you assholes! <laughs> like, they, they toy with your emotions. Um, yeah, it's just a great game. Really, really and great I game. And I got Behind the Rock Wall. We have yeah. moons, many, many moons. I love that Flat to... Piece is just Luigi. Yeah, he just showed up too. I didn't even like. I wasn't even trying to get him, and then he came and gave me coins. <laughs> and my waifu in Persona Four, uh, Rise. Yeah, Rise. Oh yes, my girl, my girl, Rise's best girl. Although I do I love that. Chie. I love a girl who likes meat. <laughs> Yeah, Chie is great as well, but like in Persona, whereas in Persona Five, I had a tough time. It like oh, it's only put like whoa. this. I, I always <laughs> these. Oh, what happened? The flower gave me turbo abilities. <laughs> <Woo>! <laughs> like okay, here's the funny thing. Persona Five, it took me so long to come up like with best girl, like with my best girl. Like let, let me put it like this. I praise Haru over and over and over again, but it took me so long to decide that yes, Haru is my best girl. But with Persona 4, it was instant. As soon as, like, Rise came up, I was just like, yep, yeah, Rise's best girl. Takemi is my best girl, but, I mean, a lot of people don't like it for... I mean, I understand the reasons, but she's... Yeah. She's very nice and cute, and... Yeah, I don't care. It's, yeah, it's, yeah, Takemi's really, really good. I really like Tai. Um, but, yeah, so for Persona... Yeah, Persona 4, just Rise all the way. Love Rise. Rise is wonderful in Persona 4. What did both of you get up to in Persona 4? Um, I got to the last dungeon and uh, I was starting to get tired, so I put it down for a little bit. Uh, I... by, by, by last by last dungeon, do you mean like uh, like the dungeon where you take on the mastermind or the, like the last last dungeon? I don't know. I the last thing I remember fighting was a baby demon. A baby demon. Ah, uh, okay. Wait, if you okay, if you fought the the baby demon, you still have like two or three dungeons left. <laughs> okay, what do I do? Mine is um. Hmm. Oh, I can't. What? Oh, I can't remember the. It was the bird in the cage. Oh, that's a Yukiko. <laughs> I yeah. I that was last time I played it, because I couldn't. Even, I. The thing is, I. Forget that RPGs you level up like po I'm used to leveling up in Pokemon. I'm not used to leveling up in RPGs. So, uh, he, yeah. here's I, actually here's here's the funny thing. When I first picked up Persona Four, I played like up to Yukiko's uh, dungeon, which is like the very first dungeon in the game. And um, what, what's funny is that like I I decided because like uh, like yeah, I was playing on normal and I and I figured man this is way. Like, you know, because I hadn't played a Shin Megami Tensei game before, and I was like, damn, this is a little too hard. And so I started over, and I played on easy. Uh, so, and, and basically I was just skipping through, like, fast-forwarding through all the cutscenes just to get to, up to, like, Yukiko's dungeon again. And I was also leveling up just to make sure mm -hmm. I wouldn't, um, like, I wouldn't get wiped out again. Uh, so what I didn't realize was that because like I'm someone who plays Persona games with the canonical main character name because like in the animation in the spin-offs they're known as that character like in the game you could choose what the name is but in the spin-offs he's Yu Narukami and in the anime he's Yu Narukami so I used Yu Narukami as the name as the name for my character in, the, in it but what I didn't realize that when restarting the game on easy uh it, it I accidentally um, typed Yunarukami with an E at the end instead of an I, so it's Yunarukame. I was like, damn, I'm an idiot. <laughs> also, Rom, oh my... um, Futaba used to be my best girl, but I realized Futaba's me, so I mean, <laughs> I, I, would, I would be very vain to say that I'm best girl. Uh, hey guys? Yeah? I just, I just went on Instagram, 
Funko just announced Kingdom Hearts 3. More Funkos. Funko-tastic. Um, there oh, is... Oh, I gotta check. I gotta check. Gotta there's gotta there's check gonna be... Out. Gotta check this yeah, out. There's, there's gonna be an Axel, there an Aqua, Kyrie holding the Starfruit, and Sora in an action mode with the key, with the Keyblade, and then the exclusives are... Axel with his Keyblade for a Hot Topic exclusive. Aqua possessed by darkness as a box lunch exclusive. Oh, anti oh, I'm, I'm looking at them now. anti oh, God, I need that. And anti -Aqua. then a Funko specialty series, probably for their shop only. Mm -hmm. Kyrie holding her Keyblade. Like, oh my God, I want Aqua. I want anti Aqua. I want. I want these! My money! My poor wallet! Just, look, j just looking at the normal ones, because they're, they're probably the only ones I'm ever going to get, um, unfortunately. Uh, looking at the normal ones, I really want Aqua. I really want that Aqua one. That Aqua. I don't get much Funko Pops. The only Funko Pop I've ever bought in my life is a Luffy post time skip Funko Pop. That's the only one I own. Luffy. I own a Luffy Funko Pop and that's it. But God, I really want that Aqua one. And that Sora one with Ultima, with the Ultima Keyblade, looks fucking amazing. I want both of those. Oh, it's, oh, it's, oh that's a new version. Of, i never seen the Ultima Keyblade look like that. Oh, yeah, it's, yeah. Ultima it's Keyblade. spoilers, uh, isn't it? Uh, not really. Ultima Weapon isn't really a spoilery thing. It's like, it's just the design. It doesn't have anything to So, mm. yeah, that's how the Ultima Weapon looks in, uh, in Kingdom Hearts right, 3. later, Jim. Later. Oh, I'm crying grateful I saw that that uh those Kingdom Hearts keyblades those look so good. <laughs> yeah, honestly, Kingdom Hearts 3's ultimate weapon is probably one of my new favorites. If I'm being completely honest, I really, really like the way it looks. I my keyblade always changes for my favorites. I like the Pumpkin King Keyblade, but in the first two games, they're my always my to... favorite. Trying, trying to get a good render of the Kingdom Hearts 3 Ultimate Weapon. Yeah. There then, we go. I think in the... Oh, in the third game, though. Oh, I'm trying to remember my Keyblades I altered between... Like, I love the Starlight Shoot bla Starlight uh, Keyblade, because it turns to the blasters, and they are, like, the most wonderful weapon for me to use. And... I like the hammer, the Toy Story hammer. And I can't remember what else. It's been a, I haven't played the game since like March, February, March. So that's, oh, I need to really play the game again. Yeah, I just sent you in uh, in the Zen Gaming chat. I sent you how the KH three Ultimate Weapon looks. Okay. All right, and a lot more moons. Holy shit! That's detailed. Yep. It's yeah. They. They always just put so much detail in the Ultima Pets, and what I like 57 is... 57 uh, moons. What I love, if you look at the tip of it, it actually has... It's actually like a Roman numeral 3. Like, yeah. it's like how it... Yeah, and if I went back and looked, looked at the Kingdom Hearts 2, 2 Ultima Weapon, it's actually shaped in, like, the shape of, an, of a... Of a Roman numeral two, so it's literally like the ultimate weapons in the... In Kingdom Hearts 1, 2, and 3 are, like, 1, 2, and 3. Which oh, I love. that means there's gonna be what I oh my god, I cannot wait for the DLC when it comes out. It's supposed to be later this year, right? Yeah, DLC comes out uh at the very end of the year and oh like it's, it's yeah, it's in winter winter twenty twenty nineteen, so it's gonna come out <laughs> December. Um Yeah, DLC's looking great. It's like they they're adding another another playable character. They're adding just oh. the mini boss for just as many boss fights as Kingdom Hearts 2 Final Mix, new cutscenes, they're adding um, Oath Keeper and Oblivion into the game. I'm learning new stuff because I, I tried not to watch the DLC because I knew it contained spoilers because I hadn't beaten the game. Oh yeah, don't, yeah, yeah. The, 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 don't watch the DLC trailer because, it, yeah, the, play, the other playable characters that they show off are like spoilers, so don't look at the DLC trailer until after you've beaten the game. I do know... I've seen some, I follow a very nice, cool artist who does some wonderful Kingdom Hearts fan art. I actually got to be part of their design because it was free admission. Um, I've seen like a Joan Roxas 
and Axel in their own outfits, and I'm like, okay, that's the only their new outfits are the only spoiler spoiler I see in the know for the game without finishing it is that they wear these cool these cute outfits, and I'm like, they're all precious children. Oh, you've seen Axel's new um new outfit? Yeah, I've seen that. That's it. I have not really done any, seen anything else. But Mario's here to kick ass. It's time mm -hmm. to take care of Bowser. Hopefully. <laughs> Let, let's take care uh, of Bowser. Yeah, oh wait, um uh you uh you're up to the point in Kingdom Hearts three, like just before King uh Keyblade Graveyard, right? Yes. So that means you've already beaten like uh, anti aqua and what's after that, right? I yeah, I beat anti aqua. I we got uh, sorry if Chad spoilers. Um, got in. <laughs> oh my god, <laughs> Bowser! I'm what? busy planning my wedding. Don't you know how stressful that <laughs> is? Um, um, the uh. He looks so determined with his ca baseball cap. The Castle Oblivion. Yeah. That's all which, which, ha which happens there, and then it's like then hey, they, and, the, and then they save. <laughs> Yeah, and that was interesting to happen. And then they're like, hey, okay, we're gonna go to the Keyblade Graveyard. And I'm like, no, I'm gonna ha like level up like hell because I'm bad at leveling up. So well, I okay, okay. Answer, answer, answer me this. What level are you in the game right now? Oh, shit, I don't So remember. suddenly this turned into Mike Tyson's punch out. <laughs> <laughs> so, okay, because I'll, I'll, I'll tell you right now, I'll tell you right here and right now. Actually, I should, I, should, I, should, I should ask this, like, what level are you playing the game? Um, what, sorry, what difficulty are you playing the game on? Easy. Easy? So, wait, well, no, because there's a beginner, standard, and, and proud. So beginner. are you playing on beginner? All right. In that case, trust me, just go on ahead. Don't bother leveling up anymore, because this game, I played <laughs> it on proud. Kingdom Hearts 3 is probably one of the easiest games in the series, if not the easiest games. It's like insane critical mode's yeah. hard critical mode is like really freaking impossible but like that came later so for a while proud was the hardest mode and yeah kingdom hearts 3 is easy uh do you t tell that to me where i i had a hard i i do terrible in boss fights <laughs> i'm gonna uh, knock you out uh damn then knock it out go zen if you got it you can do it <laughs> welcome to mario's out punch out well, at least, Mar at least Bowser's not in the cat suit. We're, we're just granting him more power. Mm. Like, Kingdom Hearts, like, my first playthrough of Kingdom Hearts 3, the only parts I died at, or I think I died, like, once or twice in Toy Box uh, to the Gigas fights, I I died, um... Uh, I died a, a couple of times to the ship battles in the, the mandatory ship battles in Pirates of the Carib in the Caribbean. Yeah, the ship um, battles were the first time I actually no, it, I first time I actually died was chasing the ship, and I'm like, is this really my first death? And I lost trying to freight, run to a ship. <laughs> that yeah, was um, not fun. <laughs> yeah, it was like I died once or twice in Toy Box, about five to seven times in the Caribbean and apart from that the only other boss fights I died to I died once in the Aqua vs. Bonita fight. Uh, yes, Rom. Uh, Mario was the, the referee for the original punch out so this makes a lot of yeah. sense. <laughs> yeah. And then, I, and then I died about five times to Xehanort. Oh, spoiler alert, you, you fight Xehanort. Gee, I didn't see that coming. <laughs> yeah. uh, who, who is this Xehanort? Uh, you know, there's like what? five of him. There's like five or six or seven of him. He's pretty easy to, pretty easy to spot. <laughs> oh my god, no, I gotta tell- Okay, Zen, I have to tell you this. Um, in one of my crossovers, I'm- I'm actually working on, um, with- I'm doing- It's a crossover with Hagen. I'm not saying what we're reviewing, but, um, uh, we make our heads of what awesome instrumental can go over a battle scene, and I'm like, hey, what about uh, one of the instrumentals for Kingdom Hearts? And she's like, okay, but she didn't prompt. What's a Kingdom Hearts? <laughs> <laughs> I, thought it, I thought it was funny, and I actually improvised my voiceover, so I'm like, oh, I can know. <laughs> oh, <laughs> I, I thought it was funny. <laughs> I, I find it funny that Haganistan doesn't get Kingdom Hearts. <laughs> oh no, they stole Cappy. No, 
Cappy. You got him back. But yeah, so like compared to other games where I die, 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 like I die at the drop of a hat sometimes. Um, I, maybe that's exaggerating. Maybe I don't die like all the time, but like I do, like you, know, I could die like at, just at the drop of the hat at like the randomest of moments. Like, and, and I'm proud, not a critical. So when I played Kingdom Hearts 3 and I barely died on proud, I was like, okay, what the heck's going on here? And like, gr granted, Critical mode is a big boost. Critical mode is hard as hell. And I do, I, I'm, I'm stalling getting back to critical mode. Like I, I played like the first two worlds on critical and stopped because I want to wait till the DLC comes out. But yeah, critical's t is, critical is tough as nails, but proud and standard and especially, I, I haven't even tried beginner, but holy hell, the game must be like super piss easy on beginner. <laughs> I no, the thing is like I didn't actually first die until trying to chase after the boat and then I died twice trying to race um luck uh Luke Sword. Um, am I pronoun if I remembering his name right? Gambling uh, okay, guy. Okay. Luke Sword. Oh, Alright. He's, he, yeah, he's the, actually actually no, here's the thing. We didn't actually hear how his name was pronounced in game until Kingdom Hearts three. So the Kingdom Hearts fan base until Kingdom Hearts three were, were all pronouncing it Luxord. But apparently, according to the Kingdom Hearts 3 translation team, it's pronounced Luke Sword. Um, but people just still call him Luke Sword because fuck you, it's Luke Sword to us, damn it. Luke Sword, okay. Yeah, I um, I lost. Actually, that was actually it was until Pirates I started to die. Like I died like three times in Pirates. I died once in a. Uh, Big Hero 6 with the giant day ball trying to, because I thought I had time to rescue all of the Big Hero 6 and realized, no, they're all on timers. And I was literally in a, I was pan really panicking. It was really stressing my time. I'm like, crap, 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 crap. They're going to die. They're going to get, they're going to die. Oh shit, shit, shit. Oh no. I was, I didn't <laughs> like that. So, so okay, 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 okay. So you died a couple of times to the uh, to the race against Luxord in the, in the Caribbean, and yeah. once against like the timer thing in Big Hero Six. Was there any, or, or in San Francisco? Was there any other instance where you died? No. So literally, the only deaths that you've gotten um, have been to situations where like you're on a timer. Yeah. Yeah, but otherwise, like. Have you really noticed any like big difficulty with Kingdom Hearts 3? Uh, not really. Like I thought I was having trouble with when I was facing Anti Aqua, but I was actually fine. Afterwards. Yeah, that's yeah, that's the thing. It's like, uh, I I know you don't remember what level you're on, but I can guarantee you right now, if you didn't have trouble on Anti Aqua, like you're not gonna have trouble on the other boss fights later on in the game because, like. I died once to Anti Aqua, and then I got back on my feet, and I was oh. all good. Okay, now uh, I remember what I was I was doing. I was not only leveling up; I was actually trying to do all, go on the quest to find all of the hidden Mickey's and try uh, and okay. gather all of the treasure. Um, take my to... take take my advice on that. Just look up a, just look up a guide because some of them oh. are dickish, like really really dickish. Oh, oh yeah, no. Apparently, <laughs> when I did pirates, I just explored for a while, and apparently, when I went to go get the map guide for it at the time when they were still making it i'm like holy shit i already did a bunch of these by accident but <laughs> i can't figure out which ones i did because it goes in a certain order and oh, I, oh. I i got but the good thing i collected all the hidden mickeys in the game so i got one unlockable scene done hidden mickey <laughs> hidden mickey <laughs> this like it's sort of lucky emblem What's good is that, like, you know, because the, they, they really simplified the way to get, like, the, the secret movie. Um, because in the other games, it's like, you gotta complete the journal, you gotta do this, you gotta get, like, this amount in the Hades Cup, you gotta do this and that. It's like all these different conditions. In Kingdom Hearts 3, it was very freaking simplified. Uh, it was, hey, just get this amount of uh, lucky emblems. Like, um, depending on the difficulty if, it, if you're playing on beginner just get you have to get all the lucky emblems if you're playing on standard you have to get 60. if you're playing on proud you have to get 30. so it's just get the lucky emblems that's all it is and i, I really love them for that i think the only one i'm having and i think one of the things i'm having is the mini games with the the cute little pudding heartless 
Cause the one in Monsters Inc. The world, flan. It's the flan. I couldn't remember if putting flan. It's still the same thing. <laughs> but same it's thing. The, it's the one in Monsters Inc. where you're trying to get as many little flan, uh, flan as you can without, before the big one eats you. I can never do it. My friend's like, hey, do this trick. I'm like, I did. It didn't work for me. Yeah, that's the thing about post game. Like, you know, I, I, all the stuff I've seen about post game is like from other people because I have not gone for the ultimate weapon. I have not uh, gone for any of the flan, the mini games, the battle gates. Um, I haven't fully explored the pirates world, even though I really want to, because the pirates world was one of uh, the Caribbean was one of my favorite worlds in Kingdom Hearts three. Uh, and I haven't even gone for Dark Inferno, which is the only secret boss we have now. I haven't done any of this because i'm waiting for um I'm, I'm waiting for Ki i'm waiting for kingdom hearts 3 remind to come out at the end of the year the dlc and then once that comes out i'm going to replay the game again and i'm going to get every single little piece i'm going to do every single little piece of you know post game content because i thought look if i play the post game now i'm not i'm getting kind of a half assed post game and that's fine because it's the vanilla version but I want to go, but if I'm going to do the post game, I want to do all of it. So I might as well wait till Remind comes out at the end of the year and then I'll do all of the post game. Yeah. Oh, uh, Rom in the chat. I'm reminded of that Unravel video about trying to figure out the plot of Kingdom Hearts. Yeah, it's, Unraveled is a, it's a good series. Like I love the, I love the Kingdom Hearts one where this is like before Kingdom Hearts 3 came out and they're trying to figure out the plot of it all. And then uh, I think my favorite it was un has been they did was unraveled trying to cook some most of the dishes in Breath of the Wild. Oh, 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 oh I was thinking to myself I was like unraveled what's that and, that, and I searched it up I was like ah okay okay, okay. I got yeah. it I got it I love their um I love the Zelda timeline one they did where like they they just um they added all the stuff that like clearly is not meant to be in the timeline and they just put that in the timeline like Zelda yeah. Monopoly. <laughs> Yeah, I did. Uh, I, my other favorite is uh, trying to put make the perfect Pokemon rap, and he, uh, Brian kept on bringing up the Tangela that he lost to Kevin. <laughs> it's, like, it's fun. Hmm. Hmm. Curious. There is a moon. I see the. Oh, uh, and I died. <laughs> oh God, damn it! The How poison is a one-hit kill. <laughs> You know the you, you know the Kingdom Hearts fan base exploded because of freaking Kingdom Hearts three because of course it did and I was like oh god. at first I was like oh god the Kingdom Hearts fan base was so good why did it go so bad but then I kind of look around and I'm like wait a minute has it just always been like this and I haven't been paying attention because uh, uh, I'm aware of because the Kingdom Hearts fan base has always been divisive on Ostar team who are the one who are who are the ones who have been who have been developing Kingdom Hearts ever since uh, Birth by Sleep. So, and, and people have just been like, bring the Tokyo team back. And of course, people take the opportunity to praise uh, FF7 Remake, which, which does look amazing, yes. by the way. But, but, but they use it, but they use like their praising of FF7 Remake as an opportunity to shun Kingdom Hearts 3 because it's like, oh, now we know where all the attention to the detail went and, and where all the all the great development when it went to ff7 remake because it's the tokyo team or a stupid osaka team well you know were the ones that were like developing kingdom Hearts 3 and i'm like guys shut the fuck up <laughs> um like because people are trying to say that like namora didn't care about kh3 and that like his main attention has been the ff7 remake and i'm like you guys are stupid <laughs> he possessed the little pillars worm yay stretch it's time to stretch oh. out. Oh my god, it looks so cute with the Mario mustache. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I got I got some moons. Mario, why are you mooning everyone? All right, and... yes. Got right. your health back. Let's see. I just figured out that you, there's a list of the moons. Oh! So we, you found a list? It shows the moons that you've gotten. Okay. Hmm. Uh, there's a lot. <laughs> yep. Yeah, I don't know how many you're at now. <laughs> I 
think it's a good a number. I think it's higher than ten. It's higher than ten. <laughs> yeah, it's higher. Than, of course, it's higher than ten. We're like in the fifties. Yeah. Oh, look at that! It shows more Can souvenir list. Yeah, that's. I'm not sure about that. Hmm. But I can use this. Uh, not that way. Oh, Ari is typing in the chat. In mm. our chat. Tell Ari she's. Yeah. Tell Ari she's pretty. I, I'll see what whatever she. He tried so hard to get there. Uh, uh. Uh, oh, she, she's wondering how it is. She says she's starting to worry. Aww, she doesn't she's... know why. Oh, it's okay. Oh, oh, she's worrying. It's okay. I'm fine. I don't know <laughs> why. She worries about everything. Oh, no! Baby, it's only been four hours. This is not the longest stream I've done so far. Technically, the longest stream I've done is six hours. Oh, nah. What was the six hour stream? That was uh, when I was doing it for like 21,000 subscribers or something like that. Ah. Uh. Do, do, do. I, I did not want to do that. God, this kingdom is not very fun. No. You keep, the poison just destroys you. Yeah, I'm trying to find... I'm glad you fell on the side of the building. <laughs> oh my goodness, man. Oh. It was not my fault that time, I swear. You say that also, but I hope uh, mm. comes and help the food, dude, because I want food. Missed it by <laughs> that much. Oh. I One hit with the poison kills you, it's stupid. <laughs> but it's okay, I can do this. First things yes, first, well, I'm heading back to the Odyssey. I want to put in my moons. <laughs> someone asked on Twitter, it was like, moving on from Persona 6 and onwards, what would you want to keep in? Would you want to keep in negotiations or shuffle time? Uh, negotiations. mix? I didn't like maybe shuffle time mixing. all that much. How do I get hmm. out there? <laughs> I feel like shuffle time could work for... Hmm. Because, yeah, I, I'm, I'm with you. Like, negotiations is just a very fun way of, you know, gaining the trust of personas or, you know, um, or, or you know, you know, gaining money and, and such. You know, it, it was really, you know, really good. But at the same time, I, I did like shuffle time because, you know, it was always a gamble on, like, what you were going to get. And, like, you know, the higher, the, the, the further in you were in the game, like, you know, the, the more great good stuff you, you, you were going to get. Um, I feel like that what they should do is they should keep negotiations as it is right now and probably allocate shuffle time to something else. Not to personas or to, like, uh, to money, but maybe just to something. Or maybe you could keep money for shuffle time, but I would keep shuffle time in for something else. All right, inside the stone cage. Oh, this is where I go for for some you, moons. You made it. They're just the areas are so big. It's it's easy to get lost. Yeah, that's why they the, they put a nine hundred ninety nine moons in there. Oh. <laughs> you fell on the poison again. I don't have to predict that. <laughs> 
That was noise. I'm doing it for charity. I'm doing this for charity. You're, yeah, you're doing, you're doing it for charity. You're doing it. Oh, she, oh, now I know how you died now. That was so... That wasn't your fault. It was a stupid caterpillar. So you're all good. I like the skin doesn't like make you lose any moons you get. Yeah, that, that's really good. Also, once again, just make sure you put out the call. I'm going to be streaming for the next... Well, we've been streaming four hours, so probably like 20... 20 hours? 25. <laughs> 25, 20... About... 25. Uh, we're, we're streaming till 1 tomorrow, so... Or, or until we reach the goal, in which case I'll change the goal to a new one. But, uh... Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, buddy. Better not fall in the lava. <laughs> Caterpillar. Ooh, what's in here? Moon bit. <laughs> Look at his face. <laughs> I have a mustache. Can I be Mario? Hold on. Of uh, what, the caterpillar? <laughs> yeah. I know, it's so cute! Hi! Hi, Mario! Alright, I just did a retweet of my own, so that way... No, we're still going. I hope Rosen gets back soon, I want my food! <laughs> I'm great and cold. I'm Zenith, nice to meet you. All right, I got another moon. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Rums is in the chat. Uh, like uh, the reason you like it is the reason I hate Eras this shuffle time. Uh, I don't. Uh, I don't want my persona to be an RNG thing by way of a card game. Yeah, I could see that. I, I could totally see that point. Like, uh, and I do agree that like you know using it for like personas and such like that that can be a little you know dickish. And I do like that negotiations exist because you you can bring you know personas onto your side or shadows onto your side um, what i think they should probably do with shuffle time is they should um what i think they should do with shuffle time is relegate it to something that's like you know less important than personas because with personas you of course have the, the compendium and all this other stuff that like relates to 100 percent completion what i think would probably be better is if they re relegate shuffle time to something that isn't as important like that you can gain easily elsewhere but like you know shuffle time just provides it to you for free as like a bonus after after you you know you come out on top on it you come out on top in battles so yeah i think it could work really well okay. uh zen yep this is from ari bitch i am your wife i know i know That's that what she, she says she put also I'm pretty sure she said to stop worrying so i need someone to scream this at her that's why <laughs> Tell Ari she's silly. Also, uh, it's time to get another moon. Yay! Avoiding fuzzles inside the wall. Fuzzles. Now to get a... <laughs> and now to... Wait, go back on the other side and get another moon. All the moons here. Uh, I get the feeling that Joker's kind of name is just going to be Joker no matter what Atlas gives him. Yeah, yeah. I mean, if that's why he's called in Smash Bros, that's what most people are going to call him. Um, in terms of, like, his proper canon names, uh, I'm just going to stick to uh, Ren Amamiya because it sounds like Ren Mamma Mia. So <laughs> I just find that funny. I know a lot of people, more than the other times, in fact, are really adamant, adamant about calling him uh, Akira Karusu. I don't call him that anymore. I, I did call him Akira during my first playthrough of Persona 5 because his canon name didn't come out yet. Um, but yeah, like never before have I seen such a split between people using the canon name and using the manga name. Uh, like the only other time, like, you know, there are still people who call the Persona 3 protagonist Minato Arizato, but th th I still see a, a good chunk of people still calling him Makoto Yuki. And practically like no one calls you narukami soji 
I've I forget his last name in the manga, but like in the manga, his name is Soji. But no, everyone just calls it. Everyone just knows him as you fucking Narukami. <laughs> you fucking Narukami son. See, for me, I named I named Joker Ari's butt damn fine. <laughs> it led to some <laughs> hilarious scenarios. It's fixed. It's fixed. Yay! Did it! Now to get out of the jungle! We have 67 moons in four hours. I just, I just, I just want a Persona spin-off that actually has Joker interacting on his own. Because if you look at all the Persona 4 spin-offs, like, not just the anime, but also Persona 4 Arena, Arena Ultimax, uh, Persona Q, Persona Q1, if you go the P3 route, um, Persona 4 Dancing All Night, and all of those, Yu Narukami speaking as an actual character, who's actually called Yu Narukami, and he's speaking as an actual character. Um, we've yet to have that with, uh, with Ren, as of right now, the only the only exception is Persona Five: The Animation, which isn't even which isn't even in dub, so we, we haven't been able to hear Xander. Because um, in Persona Five: Dancing Dancing in Starlight, it's um, much like Persona Three: Dancing in Moonlight. What it is is um, the story, the quote unquote story mode in quotes it, that it has is very much a social link thing. So like you're actually in the perspective of Ren, so he doesn't have a chance to speak. Oh my um, god, you're in, she, she's in Dark City. This seems very weird. <laughs> yeah, very weird. Um, and then Persona Q2, you can only play as Joker. You can't play a P3 side or a P4 side, which I get. Like, they, you know, you already played as P3 and P4 in, in Persona Q1. So for Persona Q2, you're playing as Joker. So I get it. But at the same time, you know, Joker's not allowed to have an actual character. So hopefully come Persona 5 Scramble is the next spin-off. Um, not counting P5 Royal, because that's a re-release. So come P5 Scramble, I do hope that they in the story <laughs> mode. Oh my god. Oh, what happened? <laughs> what happened? The, the citizen was like, me head into the city? Forget about it. Uh, <laughs> I see it. Welcome to New York. Well, the thing is funny is that Pauline it was from the original first game, so it's fun that she is now the mayor of uh, Donk City. It's only fitting. <laughs> oh, oh, Donk City, yeah, ha 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 ha. Oh, is that? Yay, Rosen's home! Yay, hello, Rosen. Can you close the door? I will. I'm your food first. Yay! Oh, thank you. Oh, um, Ari says yeah. to tell her, I know this is know what you're... kind of for. Go ahead, Phil. Um, oh, no, no, I was just gonna, you know, I was just gonna read. You, you go ahead. <laughs> uh, yeah, she says, tell her I know this, this is what you signed up for, now shut up and marry me, dumbass. Now she's <laughs> asking me before, she was like, but baby, it's too soon. And I'm like, we're marrying either way. <laughs> Damn Sundarees. Hmm. Oh my god, I'm Rump. happy for food. I'm so happy for food. Yeah. Uh, Rum says, uh, now that I think about it, it's funny they actually brought back the negotiations for P5, uh, for P1 and 2 in P5. Actually, they brought back some, they brought several things back, uh, since everyone carries a gun and a melee weapon, like in Persona 1, and the enemies are SMT demons like P1 right. and P2. Um, yeah, that is cool. I'll say this, I have very little interest in Shin Megami Tensei, the main games. Like, I tried with Nocturne, and I got about three, four hours in. I'm gonna be honest, I wasn't feeling Nocturne. I'm I, I wanna give it another shot. I'm gonna give Nocturne another shot, but from what I played of Nocturne, I wasn't a fan. I'm gonna be honest. Uh, Shin Megami Tensei 4 didn't exactly catch my eye. Uh, 1 and 2 are archaic as hell, so there's no way I'm going back to them. IF, uh, I've heard good things about, but uh, I haven't seen anything of it, so I have to give that a sh I have to give that a look um, before I call make the call on whether I want to play that or not. Yeah. But yeah, mainline Shimagami Tensei, I don't know something about it. Just like yeah, I'll stick with Persona because 
Persona is more character based. Shin Megami Tensei is more like, like philosophical, you know, deep law, like the phil philosophy and law based. Which that's like the that's the thing about Persona that I play I play it for the least. Like I don't really care about the phil a lot of the philosophical stuff in Persona. I just play it because I love the characters and I love the character dynamics of Persona, not because of like the actual philosophy itself. So that's why I can never really get into mainline Shimigami Tensei. I haven't played any of the mainline ones yet, but I love Persona. Uh, I've loved it ever since 3, especially because uh, Persona 3 Fez's intro is amazing. Mm -hmm. Oh, um, <laughs> Ari said, well, shut up and do say it again. Uh, yeah. Okay, Rose is going to join the call since I have my food, so thank you for having me on, Senna. No problem. Huh? We're going to keep on yeah, grabbing thanks. the moons. Thanks, yeah. for coming. thanks for coming in. If you want to come in again, feel free to come in later. Well, we'll see because I, well, I shared the same apartment with Rosen, so you might hear me in the background still. I'm sorry, who's yeah. who, Rosen? Who, who's that? <laughs> 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 All right, later. Later. Bye. And now for a brief moment, it's just the two of us. Just the two of us. We can make it if we try. Just the two of us. <laughs> All right. Uh, so many coins. I, I'm gonna. A hundred percent. Hey, Rosen. Hey, Rosen. A hundred percenting this game is going to be a task. Yes. Good luck with that. Especially when they add outfits every few months. Not as much of a task as Breath of the Wild, which my brother's currently trying to do. Yeah. Uh. So what did I miss? Um. You missed uh, uh, no, no. the nut yeah, count. New Donk City now. <laughs> yeah, we, we made it to New Donk City. I have, last I checked, 67 power moons. All right, so what I would recommend is after New Donk, we go back to the, the older places and try and get some moons there. Yeah. And costumes, because we can get costumes now. I, also, have a, quickly... I have a couple of costumes, but not many. Oh, no. Oh, no. What? So I was going to use my uh, Lucogen subscription, like, on Twitch, to say that I'm at the stream. Oh, what happened? <laughs> I come on, I come into a, look at my loins and be at peace. <laughs> She's doing Danganronpa 2 post-game. Ah. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> and they were at peace, the zombie ghosts. But yeah, they were having, like, uh. the discussion of Persona 5, which... I mean, I was paying attention to this game. I was listening to them. It was very interesting. But I was also like, you know, I, I'm trying to find these moons. Um, yeah. <laughs> some of the Actually, some of these kingdoms uh, are a little bit harder. Yeah, Rom just posted in the uh, Rom just posted in the chat. Actually, P5 uh, takes most cues from Shimagami Tensei and the, um, from the modern Persona games. Uh, give, uh, given a few things, uh, the epilogue to the Okamura uh, Space Station Palace taking place on the same Dis uh, Disney reference park. That was where the OG Shimogami Tensei you picked your alignment and killing a uh, representation of God as the as the finale. Well, the thing is, all Persona games have elements from Shimogami Tensei in them. Um, uh, real, because, real quick, like, Luka, uh, Luka just says that she hopes the stream goes well. Oh, that's nice. Yes. Yeah. Aw. Spread the word. We we gonna be we gonna be streaming and. We we reached a hundred and forty wait, wait, wait. pledged uh, wait, who dollars. Said, wait, who said it? Lukajin, because she is streaming Dying Armor to post game right now. Oh, okay. Yeah, I, I used my uh my resub message to say that I couldn't stay long because I was at the stream, but yeah. <laughs> um. So uh, the thing, yeah. So every Persona game has elements from Shimagami Tensei in it. Uh, the fact that like we, you know, all the games end with uh you know a giant 
Like, because the, the games never end with, like, the proper villains. Like, you know, Persona 3 didn't end with Strega. Persona 4 didn't end with... I'm not, I'm not going to say his name for spoilers. Uh, but it didn't end with uh, with the, 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 the Mastermind. It didn't... Uh, Persona 5 didn't end with Shido. Uh, like, no, none of the Persona games end with, like, you know, the proper big bad guy they end with you know the a god that represents like you know the thematical elements yeah of it's, it's, th that persona let game. us the kill god <laughs> uh real quick um i before before we did the stream uh, i i forgot to do something that i should have done because it's, it's obviously too late now i should have suggested you get the bowser on wedding amiibo but uh, then, then i remember that's as money I'm <laughs> that yeah it's it's actually out of print so it's a lot of money but uh, the reason I say that is because if you if you use it, you not only lock Bowser's wedding costume, but Casey's opening a can. But you uh, you can use it on a on a map to reveal where the purple coins are. I know that's actually very helpful, especially yeah. for stuff like this. <laughs> that oh is my. the best one. <laughs> but that's why I'm here. It's okay. We I can do this. Yeah, and it's like, oh. yeah. So um, quickly, quickly going back to like, yeah, because I do want to, um, uh, with Persona Five and just Persona in general, with because I, I feel like I like the philosophical elements in Persona more than in mainline Shimagami Tensei because whereas in Shimagami Tensei it's at the forefront and like it's the main focus. Um, in Persona Five, it's more of the it more relates to the thematic. It more relates to, like the the themes of the, of that particular Persona game, and Real like quick, you know, it's more in the background. So I did not yeah, know this I, was a mechanical wiggler. So like that's what it's supposed to be. This is supposed to be a mechanical wiggler. Oh Jesus! Ah, <laughs> uh, okay. Um, yeah, but so whereas when it's in the foreground in regular mainline Shimagami Tensei, uh, I feel like you know. When you're not really focusing on characters all too much and just mainly focusing on philosoph philosophical parts, um, yeah, I feel like it just kind of bores me. I know that's mainly a me thing, but yeah. Where are you? Ah, oh, the tank. The tank, a tank. By the way, I will say. New Donk has my favorite uh, section in any portion of this game. It's a 2D section. I don't know if you've seen it or not, but it's it's uh, the part where it plays the song from this game. Unfortunately, I can't hear it because uh, headphones. I can only hear it if it's uh, like a PC game. Ah, damn! The music in this game is great. I know. I I mean, I've heard it enough so that like I'm just like I like it. I know I like it. Yeah. But you know the song. Jump da, 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 yep, Jump da. Up Superstar. Yeah, but you should still do the section because it's really cool. Well, I'm going to do it all. Yeah, but you know what I mean. Like, we should do that section and then leave because it's after you beat this boss, obviously. All right, I'm going to get the moon in a second. Sorry, I'm just... uh messaging guests finding out times and whatnot um the guests won't appear to all that um i'm doing it via twitter dms so. okay uh that's the biggest problem because i i don't have a discord no i know because i was gonna say um if you want i could just message them and mm -hmm. you, you can focus on the game it's up to you so far message you? I, get, I, I don't want to reveal just yet <laughs> uh, okay yeah. okay <laughs> Secret guests. While, while you're typing, though, I had a suggestion on on who might make a good guest if you want. And uh, who would you like to ask? I just put it. I just sent it to you. I don't want to say it, but in case you don't want, want me to say it. Okay. Let's say... Yes, please send a request. Sure. Also, um, I might try and ask. Uh, Suede, but Suede is New Zealand time, so I don't know if he's free. <laughs> Alright, so I took care of the Wiggler. Let's see. Yeah. 
And I apologize for being on my phone more often than usual. Hey, you, we, we got stuff to do. That's why I'm here. Yep. Like, uh, <clears throat> H-Bomber guy had Casey Explosion do all the stuff for him, so I figured I could do that. <sighs> like, it's good to have a, uh, basically a, a stream helper. Now we have the entirety of New Donk City, and it is rather large. <laughs> yep. I suggest we do Pauline's request and then head back to the Cap Kingdom. Okay, I just saw we need sixteen more. Uh, real quick before you leave, don't get on don't get on the electrical wire just yet. I went There's... to uh, a fresh start for the city. Is that the next objective, or? Yes, but at the Odyssey there is a. a at the Odyssey, there is a nearby moon. All right, let's grab that. All right. So there's a block that we can't do anything with yet. Oh, I see. Pauline's over. You can press... Down to take a snapshot, okay. Is the mayor back in City Hall? Oh, <laughs> that was bad. You said it was right near the Odyssey? Uh, yeah, it's... <clears throat> let's see. It's, it's in the area that the Odyssey is at. Like, it's in that platform. It's under the it's under the, uh, the beams right by the electrical thing. Under the beams by the electrical thing. Like, hold, hold on. Yeah, oh, I see I'm, it. Wait, I see it now. Yeah, you see it? Okay. Uh, question is how to get there. Around, yep. This game uses perspective a lot. <laughs> yeah. All right, secret girder tunnel. All right, let's get that, and then you want to head back to the Cap Kingdom. Uh, if, if we can, yeah. Yeah, I, I think the 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 amount of moons is only for. Oh, if we're progressing. Okay. Yeah, I think so. But we have seventy-two let's moons see. now. Uh, well, I just found out. Some, well, it seems like I maybe won't actually have to wait like half a day just to get back into the stream because uh, I'm looking now. I think one of my classes is either, is either running short or just plain canceled. So that's neat. Yeah, unfortunately, Zenith, the the uh, person that I had suggested is is currently busy. They have they have work. Okay. No. Uh, hold on one second, because the the guest that I'm talking to wants to come in now. Um, okay. They just need to use Skype, I think. Um, oh, that might be a problem. That might be a problem. Ooh. Do they have Discord? Cuz otherwise we won't we won't be able to hear them. Yeah, I mean, I'd be able to hear them, but that's about it. <laughs> yeah. Apologies for the delay, folks. <laughs> <laughs> it's all fine. Yeah, we can head back to the Cap Kingdom. Yeah. I'm taking care of business first. Let's take care of business. To defeat the heart. God damn it. <laughs> I know. <laughs> Wall jump. I know how to jump on walls. Thank you. Let's 
That's not what I want. I want. Alright, one second. I think I can get them in, but I'm gonna cool. need to take somebody out of the group. Um, I'm on it. Uh, you can take Ari, and I think that's. No, I cannot. Apparently, it has to be you. Okay. Alright. Poor Ari. <laughs> uh, uh, let's see, how do I. That's not what I want. You can tell that I. Uh, that's not what I want to do. God damn it. Hmm. How do I invite people to group? Who? How do I invite someone to the group? Oh, um, go to the top. Oh, go to where it says Super Zenny Odyssey. That bar, you should see the, um, the person with the plus? Yep. Okay. That should be it. <laughs> you should see them come in in just a minute. Okay. I don't know. It's a mystery. It's a mystery. Who could it be? I have a good idea, but I might be wrong. Because Zen already went by a couple of people who she plans to bring on, but I'm not yeah. telling any of you. I mean, there's there's definitely a couple of people who won't be on till the evening. Uh, the yeah. person that yeah. I'm talking to said they want to go now because they're a little bit under the weather, so they want to go now. Oh, then mm -hmm. I think I know who it is. Yeah, I think we know who that is. <laughs> well, it could be a couple different people. It could, yeah. There's a new stranger on top of the tap tower. Uh, if 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 you're trying to add them to the group, it still not, has not happened. I gave them the invite link. Okay. Uh, okay. Do 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 Sorry, Mario. <laughs> I'm assuming y'all can hear that. That's Casey putting away dishes. I can barely hear what it was. <laughs> okay, yeah, I can barely hear it. Cool. Like, I heard something, but like, uh, and I heard a sorry, but I couldn't hear what it was. While, uh, while the setup is happening, I'm gonna check how much the Royal Rumblethon is at. Sorry? Holy shit, over $6,000! Wait, what's this? The, uh, new- the other charity stream going on right now. Oh, neat. Yep. And that's an under- like, because they started, like, an- like at uh, two Eastern, so they're they've only been going for like two and a half hours, and they've already raised like and uh, they've already raised uh, fucking six three hundred dollars. <laughs> Damn, yeah, I've been following yeah. uh, I've been following uh, Fund the Charity Rooms License to Chill uh, this past week. Yeah, they've been I think they've raised at this point like eight thousand dollars in like uh, in about five or six days. I and mean, if you damn. count if you count uh. Like if you count up all their their uh, charity streams over the past like five years, they've raised over a hundred thousand dollars. Hmm. 
Oh, hello, Chiaki. Come on. I'll pause for you. Come on. Come on. Uh, I, Zenith, I think I know the problem. You might need to, you might need to be friends with them on Discord. Yeah, that's. The, I'm trying to find their. Um, oh, okay. Uh, they're, I'm asking them. The person doesn't tech very well. <laughs> okay, I don't know your life. <laughs> um. Anyway, let us get some more hats. Cool. He hello, cutie. Hello. Chiaki is having a field day today. Okay, I got the name. Let me just uh, send it. Try that. Oh, okay. That was just copying it into the chat. Yeah, I know. Did, can you try adding that because it's not working for me? Oh, let me send a mega thing. Hang on. Unless maybe this will work. Yeah, it's not working for me. Chiaki, occupy their time. Chiaki's here to entertain you. Everyone comment on how awesome Chiaki is. Alright, I sent the request. I'm just, yeah. It, it wasn't that... Hmm. Yeah. Hey, Chiaki. Chiaki Ken. You really like distracting me, huh? I gotta play the game, baby. Say hi. So while while we're still doing tech stuff, do you mind if I explain what what the premise is with the other thing? Sure. Okay, so every two years, uh, they do something different on the on the odds and ending years. Uh, New Legacy Inc., with who are a uh, a wrestling gaming stream, like they do wrestling games, uh, they do a a charity event with the uh, with the charity wrestling show Fighting Back to raise money for the Canadian Cancer Society. And what they do is the Royal Rumblethon, which basically uh, the, the simplest way to explain it is they take 30 different wrestling games and run a, a battle royal or royal rumble types type match for each of them the winner of each of those matches goes on to the final match the royaliest of rumbles and whoever wins that is the winner for the next two years winners the past winners have been jimmy uso and christian look at this floof 
Look at this fool. <laughs> Pretending like Christian actually ever had a shot at being a mainstay main eventer. <laughs> and the uh, the oh, current uh, the current Rumble winners so far, like for this year's Rumble, are Meng, Doug Basham, and Big John Stud. <laughs> Big John Stud. <laughs> Funny thing is, I had no idea who Big John Stud was until he was playable in 2K14. Yeah, because nobody knows who Big John Stud is because he he never did anything except win a Royal Rumble. All right, hold on one second. I need to send a request to them. Yeah, boy. Yeah. Uh... Here, I'm gonna pin my uh, my in. Oh, cool. I I just gotta make. I just got the person's request. So. Okay. Done. Finally. So everyone, I present to you Diamond Hagen. I think you need to wait for them to. Yes. Enter. <laughs> Hi. Hello. <laughs> Hello. Hi. Hello. Hi. So yes, hi, Demon and Omega. Hello. We're uh. We're we're being distracted by cats at the moment. Um, yes, that is a thing. Um. Okay, I'm not hearing anything. Um, hmm, that's weird. Uh, hmm, that is very weird. Oh. No, still nothing. I'm sure something. Hello? Hello? Yeah. Hi. Hello? The headphones not working? Hello, I heard you. Oh, cool. Apparently, uh, I don't know if the stream is just delayed that much, but uh, I can't hear, hear them yet. But we will uh, figure that out. Well, we will. That's what I'm doing. Okay. Hmm. I th I think they just need to turn up the volume a little bit. Hey, Hagen, how's it going? Well, thanks for going fine. Um, I just got the. I think I got you off the speaker now. Okay. Hi. No. <laughs> so how how is how is your flight back to uh, Ireland? Oh, it was a hellscape of terribleness. But um, the actual flight was the best part because there were so few people in the plane that we were given given the two effects for leg room just because they needed someone to sit there. So we got that for free. But wow. everything else was terrible. Ooh, but leg room is nice. A hellscape of terribleness. It was Ryanair, wasn't it? Uh, no, it wasn't Ryanair. It was Air Contact. <laughs> so, okay. you know, Zenith will be really upset about you destroying her people like that. <laughs> she secretly kept a claw. So, uh, we are playing Super Mario Odyssey. Um, the purpose of this stream is to raise money for a trans charity called The Trevor Project. And what they okay, do... The Trevor Project. Uh, they, they're quite nice. Um, so we've already raised about $140, and I'm gonna be streaming for like 24 hours, um, or until Chiaki stops running away. <laughs> uh, um, send me a link to the stream, uh, the exact same so I can tweet it out. Alright, uh, go right ahead. Rosen is my manager today. Okay. Yeah. That's why I got confused because I saw a thick request from Rosen and I was like, that might have been old. Oh uh, uh, no, so I'm yeah. Zenith is focusing on the game and the stream, so I'm the one handling like the like, guests and stuff. Yeah, I was oh, handling just... it earlier yeah. when Rosen was at work, and then Rosen got home from work, mm -hmm. and I'm just trying to do my own things before I go to work tonight. Yep. Yeah, so far, so good though. Uh, it's been a pretty good stream so far. We've been going about four and a half hours, and. Uh, 
we we we've got we've done some good things so far. <laughs> Kip just had some just had had some good bands. Oh, uh, I should mention Hagen, you're a little quiet. Oh, um, that's unusual for me. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Minion. This thing, has, this thing has a mic attached to it. I think it, that might just that might just be the mic itself. Uh, I can actually hear you fine from Rose's computer. So. Yeah, oh, I can, I can yeah, hear you better you know, now. I, I think it's just like uh, Hagen mentioned, she was a little bit under the weather, so she's probably not speaking as loud as she normally would. Yeah. Ah. What's that? Sounds good to me. Yeah. Oh, you found those coins. Um, cool. I'm trying to mess with the. the basically, um, I, I mean, there doesn't seem to be a mic thing in this thing in front of me. Ah. Uh, <laughs> Apologies, but yeah, I am a bit under weather. Omega is much worse, though. Omega is like, oh, really sick and it's soldiering through. Yeah, I and wish I wish you both the best. The I, I know there's something going around because Nash and Griff both got something too. Poor Nash, he he got destroyed. The, <clears throat> yeah, I got I got something uh, a few days after arriving back, which was really annoying because I was on a roll with doing voiceovers and stuff. And then suddenly it got messed up, and well, it might be stuff again, I'm not sure. But uh, Creature SH is over visiting us right now. Well, that's, that's good. Cool. Uh, so <laughs> he's visiting the minions. Uh, uh, so he's not literally here. <laughs> but he did take part in filming today. That's <laughs> cool. Visiting the minions sounds like a Haganistani code for someone died. <laughs> <laughs> well, isn't that just a normal occurrence? Where's Sally? Oh, you didn't hear? She's visiting the minions. Oh. Uh, well, that one, the, today's episode featured someone who was instructed to mince themselves, and oh. another minion who uh, had to be branded and get themselves beaten up. Ah. Oh, fun. So, close enough to being killed. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, oh I'm fine. Yeah. Um. When you gave me your voiceovers and <laughs> you told me, how many times do you say substitutionary locomotion? I'm like, well, let me check. I only say it once and I am so sorry I didn't make it attention. <laughs> I made sure to say it more in voiceover for me. I had to say it like 25 times. I know, I feel, I'm sorry. I wasn't making it intentional. I was just writing out once in the script. Hey. <laughs> At least it's not monstered. We we had a we had a fun time doing that. Yeah, but you didn't have to say substitution and locomotion twenty five times during monster. Yeah, but th then then again, I'm not Vangelis. I can't make that funny. Vangelis can make most things funny. Now let, let's get let's get real here. Vangelis can. Yeah. Internet <laughs> hero sensation Vangelis is uh, the hero of the people. Damn right. Yes. Oh, is there uh, chats? Thing. I haven't looked at that. Oh, yeah, uh, there's there's a few people. Uh, your Retro is saying a uh, nice job on the Killer Condom review. Oh, thank you very much, Retro. Um, it was a fun review. I'm really sad that I only recently... Okay, uh, I recently was starting to premiere my videos uh, because I thought it was fun watching the comments come in as they went out. Yeah. Um, then, for some reason, YouTube stopped letting me do it. That's last weird. Time I, yeah. But last night I managed to get it working again for my latest clubs on this other video I put up. But seemingly the only way I can make it work is by turning it on in my ancient Mac, which I edit from, which is the internet thing is so out of date there, it literally is too old to update. Ooh. Twitter no longer works on that. I can't watch YouTube videos, but apparently I can make Premiere work. Hmm. Yeah, that's weird. That's Very odd. weird. Uh, real quick, then I have to ask: Have you tried the uh, the dive jump yet? Um, I have not. I've done most other things so far. I'm okay, just kind it's of exploring be for some sections. <laughs> Do you know what it is though? Like, just, yeah, I a... I've okay. done it. I think uh, once before, but it's been yeah. a while. I have never ever played this game, but I imagine it's got something to do with mushrooms because of drugs. Yeah, I, <laughs> I mean, no. Right now, Zeus is possessing a Goomba with wings. Yep, a Paragoomba. Paragoomba. <laughs> you let it fall to its death, and I get yelled at for killing innocent people in Mafia 2 Omega. You just killed an innocent winged creature. 
<laughs> and it's no, just that... the happy world where death doesn't exist. <laughs> In Zeta's defense, the thing had wings. Why couldn't they just fly? <laughs> um, by the way, thank you for the host, that trans muffin. Uh, we are going That's strong. Uh, th that is one of my Twitter followers. Oh, cool. Aww. That is an oh, excellent I name. I should stick this on the, the Hagen one. How? Okay, I'm such a, a Luddite, I have no idea how to do this, but I know it's possible. Uh, I believe in your own in your in your Twitch chat you put uh, backslash host and then the name of the of the stream you want to host or the your username. That is if you have a, a Twitch account. Oh, I do. Okay, yeah. so you put the name of your Twitch account and uh, slash host. Oh, I need to put my my, my channel there too. The name of I forget the name of it. Man, I can plays or something. Hmm. <laughs> It'd be easier <laughs> if uh, Jernis was here because she could just be like, boop, boop, done it. I tell you what, I'm going to phone her. <laughs> <laughs> tell her I say hi. It was really nice meeting her. Um, so my phone is. Oh my god, you're really doing it? <laughs> it has to be done. <laughs> That's funny. Oh yeah, it's probably in the ball. The um, what do you want to the new endurance. She's probably uh, she's probably streaming right now herself. Hmm. Because I was gonna do pizza for lunch until you talk. I wanted to move the grass to lunch. Alright. Okay, there is a entrance down here. That's what I was looking for. Oh, yeah. Spider killing? Oh. Yeah. Michael was killed by spider. <gasps> Did Erica? No, that no, that was a dad. You know about his dad, right? Yeah. Come on, journals. <laughs> God damn. It. Well, I tried. <laughs> it's okay. We tried. We did our best, and that's all we can ask for. She's, uh, she's probably she is probably playing. Uh, she I noticed earlier that she was playing Overwatch with um, with Patty, so they're probably streaming actually. Uh, I gotta send her a text so she can see it afterwards. Though. Yeah, Mario does look like he's in a gangster movie here. Hey, you wanna sleep with the fishes? <laughs> the the name's no, Mario. How, Mario. No, that's how Iggy and Spike happened. <laughs> Ma Super Mario Odyssey starring Ma Super Mario as Al Pacino. <laughs> the the cab <laughs> father. <laughs> hmm. There was one thing that I thought I saw earlier, but I th need to get to it. Mushroom Kingdom Noir. There we go. <laughs> I basically hit the point in the playthrough where I'm like, I'm just looking through random places, and I'm like, I thought I saw something earlier, but it was probably nothing. That's a smart idea. I I had an idea though uh, of how to like help without giving away the stuff. Wait. I could just give you the names of the moons or and the coins, and you can just try and guess where they are from there. Yeah, every co every collectathon just has that point where where you're like, all right, I, I I'm I'm just gonna dick around and explore all over the place and look for every single thing imaginable. I'm sorry, yeah, Bowser. Bro. I'm gonna have to break your legs, capiche? You, you you're gonna <laughs> be sleeping with the fishes, and I'm not talking about them cheap cheeps down there neither. <laughs> because you're speaking, and the game's being played at perfect timing. Your uh, your voice is played at perfect timing, but you um are completely out of sync with the video. It looks yeah. like you're a fucking brilliant, um, uh, the, the puppet person who can speak. Oh, ventriloquism. Yes. I'm tired. It's fine. <laughs> Funny thing, like, I was talking about, like, collectibles, <laughs> just, like, co sorry, collectathons, just going around, like, looking for stuff. I was playing Spyro oh, Reignited, like, a couple of months ago, and... I, I went throughout all of Spyro One, and like I, I like whenever I was stuck on like one or two gems, I was like, "Crap, where, where's that last gem?" And then I realized after I've already already finished Spyro One that once you can actually click the uh, the control the control stick, and sparks will point you into the yeah. into the direction of the of the gems. And I was like, that would have been really useful to know when I was playing Spyro One. 
Let, let me take a look at my lists. There's apparently 17 moons here, and I've only got two of them. Um, How can we develop characters? Spyro just gives you the answer for them. <laughs> Actually, yeah, if you talk to um, talk or two and pay him some money, he will up to up to three that you haven't gotten, and obviously when you get one, you can buy another. Uh, he will not only tell you the names of the moons, he will put them on the map, I believe. Mm -hmm. How many moons are there here? There are uh, 999. In the entire game, but in this area, at the moment, 17. 17. The Mushroom Kingdom gravitationally must be incredible. Someone get this to Neil deGrasse Tyson. He, I'm sure he'd have a very long and boring thing to say about it. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, coins. I got I got coins. This is what I was looking for. Found it. Oh, you're going to kill another Goomba. Gaijin Goomba, maybe, but I, I wouldn't want to do that to him. He's such a nice guy. <laughs> I, I I really hope I'm wrong about this. I heard a rumor that he died several months ago. No, I, 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 I'm <laughs> hoping that I'm wrong about that, because that would be as dark as a joke I'd make. I'm pretty sure he's alive as of today That's because he he did have uh he did something recently but That's I can good. I can neither confirm nor deny but I'm just, I, I'm just a frog you punch wildlife and then you take over them and then they wear your hat the, the thing is cat in mustache the ca the cap is named yes, Cappy it's a ghost hat <laughs> <laughs> and it, so the mustache and the hat are his horror cruxes. Pretty much. Essentially. Welcome to <laughs> Harry Potter. <laughs> Mario Potter. Mario Potter. You're a wizard. <laughs> You're a wizard, Mario. Yeah, you see, if you way. want to, yeah, you see, if you want to kill, if you want to kill, um, if you want to kill Mario for good, you got to shave off his mustache. Uh, the caveat to that is that uh, Mario without his mustache looks freaking hideous, so you're not, you're not going to want to do that. <laughs> and you don't want to waste too much time, because once you once you shave off his mustache, two more grow in its place. It, it, so he's Hydra? <laughs> yes! And uh, fun fact, that's how Lou Albano ended up dying. Uh... God, these frogs are a little bit unwieldy. <laughs> hey, hey, Zen, how you going? Uh, hey, Nick! How many, moons, how many moons have you gone so far? I have, I think, hit 70. Only 70. Oh, yeah. Funny. Funny. <laughs> in in Pyro 64, you would already, already be almost over with that. <laughs> See, here's the thing. We spent, I think, uh, 20 minutes trying to uh, bring uh, Lord Hagen into the call because... Uh, <laughs> Empress, whatever. <laughs> her, her, uh, uh, what's, what's beyond Lord, her... President for life, no, uh, oh, no Diabolical Empress. Uh, usually God Empress works fine. <laughs> God, God Empress <laughs> Hagen. We, we were just having having a little bit of an issue getting it together. Um, is this both, oh, so this is both Zarya and Amanda. Uh, uh, no, Mega is playing a video game right now because she is playing, she's sick as hell. Yeah. I, I might be able to coax her on, but, you know, the sexiness of, the, of your audio will go down because of her uh, phlegm voice. Although, it makes your voice really nice and deep and very, very throaty, so the sexes might go up. Yes, I got it. <laughs> it's I... actually, yeah, it's actually been years since we've spoken Zarya, actually. Yeah. How, how has, After 10,000 years. I'm sorry, I was trying to think of a witty way of putting it, but how have things been? Uh, bleh, basically that, bleh. Well, I can say right now, at least I'm not living in America right now. God, get out, get out, get out. <laughs> uh, I mean, that was a good movie, but... That's true. <laughs> that's not a moon, yeah, every... that's a banana. <laughs> well, we're playing, yeah, every... we're, we're playing New, Donk, New Donkey Kong. <laughs> yeah, on that, like, every, every, every time I look at our government, I think, man, Australia, Australia's government really sucks. All I have to do is just look to my left I look at America and be like, actually, no, I, I, th I think I'm good in Australia. And then, and, then, and then you can look at, look at America, okay, and like, I'm good, I'm good, I'm just, you know, my idiots are at least harmless. Yeah, <laughs> and, that, and that's, that's not normal. Boring. 
No more politics. <laughs> the only politics is uh, our Lord and Savior, DM and Hagen. <laughs> So, so have you have you just been in the uh, the hacking for the last how many hours? Sorry, what? So, uh, uh, I'm talking to Zen. No, uh, I, I, su I suggest we come back here. Yeah, um, I have. We, oh. we made it to New Donk City. We beat the boss, and then I came back here because I decided uh, that I wanted to at least get a few more move moons. Um, but it's been. <laughs> The, finding them is a lot harder than I expected, and it's like because I remember a lot of people were just like were saying, "Oh, it's so easy to get moons." Yeah, but you have to know where they are. <laughs> well, I'll just say there are a lot of moons coming out of your ass. Like <laughs> moons, moons, moons coming out of everywhere from from behind walls, even scratching your own butt. Da, 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 out of da. my ass? <laughs> I mean. <laughs> Well, what do you expect? I... It's, what do you expect when you show your bum? It's a full moon. <laughs> uh, moon? Honestly, my ass? It's more likely than you think. I want to see a realistic version of this. It's like a video just featuring a, an Italian guy, you know, eating a lot of mushrooms, uh, you know, inserting himself in various sorts of wildlife, and then attempting to grab the fucking moon. Hey, <laughs> hey my, my name is Mario. I'm gonna. I'm going into this obstacle course over here. And we we going we gonna find this moon and sell it and make bank. I need to, first. I need to steal a rocket. Now, I don't know about you guys, but New Dong City would be a great reproduction for the uh, Mar the Nintendo theme parks. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, that would be mm. so that would actually good. work really well if you wanted to like make a theme park and you know ha have it be like somewhat lived in but not like out of place yeah and, and if you can if you get a, a mayor pauline to sing oh. i don't sing think well, she's it, real sing well because you because you because you don't want to get some, some random schmo and say uh hey sing this song and it's like okay and then they <laughs> super <laughs> mario and the maltese moon because because wait are they, wait i forget are they actually saying this is his ex-girlfriend or what 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 fool should they try to justify with the lady being back i don't know uh and i died <laughs> <laughs> the death uh, doesn't mean too too much in this game but still it's like it's one of those things where the platforming challenges are like pumped to the extreme not that i'm complaining it's it's yeah, very, it's well, very it, it, good they definitely, well, they're, they're definitely like well if you think these are hard you should play the ones in sunshine god damn <laughs> see that's the thing though i haven't actually played much of sunshine i the most oh. i played was galaxy through the main story stuff mm. so now, like that, now <laughs> that's a game i would love to see get remastered not paper mario thousand year door for god's sakes super <laughs> mario sunshine <laughs> Now, I don't know why, but I start watching... Does Nintendo just name video games after random words that picks up a fucking list? They, yeah, they just choose, hey, Mario. today we're gonna go space, today we're gonna go, you know, to Hawaii, we're gonna have a vacation. We have a good fighting game for the Switch coming out. Okay, let's grab the hat. Um, let's see. Arms. Well, okay, let's go with that. Okay, <laughs> Paper Mario... Yan Yoshi, <laughs> Bacon Rap, <laughs> Bacon Year Door, apparently. <laughs> what the fuck? The, the Paper yeah. Mario Sticker Star. We're gonna make you get addicted to the stickers. See, this is why I'm sensible and just spend all my time playing MMO uh, StarCraft Online. <laughs> well, you know, I, I, I put my money and time towards being serious, like. You know, getting like crap and Star Trek shit. I don't have a problem. <laughs> Shut up. My 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 time has been spent um on Persona Five and Final Fantasy Fourteen and other games that have taken away too much of my life. <laughs> but I so, wanted to so, play this because it's a collectathon and I like collectathons. So we have so we have Zen here, who's a who is a big completionist playing uh, Final Fantasy Fourteen. Oh dear! Oh dear! I'm halfway completed. Like Really? <laughs> I have I have it halfway completed. It's it's not it, it's Wait, it's taking really? a while. Yeah. I'm at 50%. <laughs> I 
Well, I, well, I, I um, yeah, yeah, because I, I, because, all right. Well, in terms of completionist, like, like going the completionist route with an MMO, like that. Like, I'm just how, talking how trophies. Ah, <laughs> uh, okay, trophies. All right, because yeah, because yeah. doing absolutely everything in an MMO would take freaking a thousand hours. <laughs> After so ten thousand years. <laughs> Sorry. Who the fuck built all these hat houses? Well, this is the Hat Kingdom. <laughs> yeah, that there are hat ghosts. It's a, it's a, it's a giant. Why does? Also, the the this whole place is a giant hat. Clearly, they were built by the construction helmets. You're not helping. <laughs> I never do. Hello, Captain Toad. I was rewatching some of um, some jokes of Cameron's uh, theme park episodes, and I've come to the realization: Nintendo's better than Disney. There, I said it. <laughs> That's blasphemy. Uh, uh, really? I, 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 Let me. Okay, okay. Let's see. Michael Eisner, Satoru Iwata. Hmm. Who would I rather have? I, can, I mean, I mean, happen. fair point. See, here's the thing. Go ahead. <laughs> I had an amazing joke, but it was terrible. Well, that's the best jokes are terrible. Because here's the thing. Nintendo is isn't it? Nintendo, is, 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 Nintendo doesn't just want to buy everything. I mean, when you think, when you look at it, Nintendo technically doesn't even own Pokemon. It doesn't even own Kirby or Fire Emblem. They are, they are looking just to uh, buy everything and absorb it. They, and Nintendo, no. Nintendo doesn't own Pokemon. Well, uh, that's kind of unfortunate. Maybe they would have uh, gotten it delayed. Fuck. Oh, I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna get into that because that, that that's a that's a big thing. I'm not gonna get into that. We're just, we're busy just, doing the Odyssey. Not gonna even touch that. Uh, not even gonna touch that. Let's, yeah. let's get let's get some stuff there because. Uh, also, yeah, okay. the other collectible is the but you can get like stickers to put on the Odyssey and. Hey, uh, Duke CT, how's it going? And hey, so. Oh, yeah. been a long time. Yeah, you need know, like props so, for the Odyssey too. Yeah. Um, so not, what? Um, um, what? Which which kingdom has been your favorite so far? Um, T Rex. <laughs> T Rex. <laughs> <laughs> I I mean I like New Donk City. I haven't done enough in there, but I like that you can be on a T Rex. <laughs> you can be a dinosaur. You're playing as a dinosaur in a Mario game. Now, it's like that doesn't match oh, itself. I automatically now see imagine. a moon. How did I miss that? How did no, I miss I that? Because some of them don't appear until after you've unlocked them. I'm, that's I'm true. Done, yeah. Yeah, that's now, true. Imagine if you imagine if you could take that T Rex into New Dark City. <laughs> Basically, be Godzilla. <laughs> you kind of can. Oh god. Our first Mar power moon. Mario is my so, favorite Gaijin. Yeah. So yeah. if this is uh, if this is like the Odyssey. Have, at what point will you get attracted by sea, which have a lot of sticks, which have all your friends get turned to pigs? That's in the Lake Kingdom. That actually could say, yeah. happen. <laughs> um, and my, so far, my least favorite one is the poison one because I kept uh, dying. Oh, was that, that the desert? Rough. No, not the, the desert, desert one. Uh, I, I, the, the, the flower the kingdom. Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. It's been a while since I've played this game, so I but need to... like overall though, I I love it. I'm I'm like okay. Um, if you've, ooh, if you've, coins. Well, if, you've, if you've played uh, if you've played Mario as long as I have, you're thinking, wow, this thing is so fucking beautiful. I'm sorry. There's a gaijin. I'm in kaiju. Yes. <laughs> Those are two We're, very okay. different things. He is a guy. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> All right, let's let's go spend those purple coins. Uh, I I need to get more more of those purple coins. Well, wait, how do you get that small little island I just saw floating in the sky? <laughs> There's a way. There's like warp points. Sure All right, I have thirty out of fifty purple coins, and I know that there is also like there's uh, stuff over there that I need to get. Uh, yeah, you. you there's don't... stuff all over. Um. All right, Zan. It's uh, it's seven. It's seven a.m. for me over here. I think it's about time. I uh, gotta go to school now. All right. Well, uh, I will see well, you. Uh, good thing is one one of my classes got. Yeah. I'll see you. All right. Uh, about six hours. 
Thanks for joining in. Have a good one. Watch out for snakes. <laughs> All right, I'll... See you. Bye. I got a moon. Oh, did you ever figure out what to do with that uh, that chain shop shaped hole? No, I did not. But I will figure okay. it out. Okay. My my goal is to get all of this stuff. Yeah. Oh god, you're so doomed. I am a completionist. It is what I need to do. You don't even. You don't even how you how can you be completionist? You don't even have the beard. <sighs> I I am the the female completionist. The completionette. There we go. The completionette. Oh god. So. I managed to make the minions watch not one, but not two, but three films yesterday. Ooh. Do you want descriptions? I yes. do. How deplorable were they? Uh, varying levels. They're all ones I hadn't seen before. So, um, the first one, it was me, Omega, and Preacher SH. We watched their choice of films. I brought a bunch of films that was like, choose one, and they yeah. chose Werewolf in a Girl's Dormitory. Oh, I've actually heard of that one. Uh, it's it's basically uh, a um, an MSC3K type film. It's very yeah. boring. Uh, um, oh, you expect a lot of humping in that kind of, in that kind of movie. Really uh, it was based, in the 60s. And based on the description on the DVD, I expect it's something that would resemble like Ted Bundy. Yeah. But, um, then uh, we, we, the other minions got involved and then ended up having to watch Zombies. Now, what do you think that's about? Zombie cars. Some kind of collectible. Collectible. Uh, Furbies? Okay. Yeah, basically. Zombie Cars is the closest thing to what I would have gone for, but no. It's about a zoo, that, a zoo where all the animals get become zombies. <laughs> oh, okay. It's zoo-bees. It's by the asylum. It's... Ah. Oh, God. <laughs> I think it might be their, uh, their, <laughs> their Jurassic World 2 or something. That makes um, sense. And it was hilariously bad. At one okay. point, a five-year-old girl kills a zombie koala with a baseball bat. Fuck! <laughs> uh, awesome. Okay, how the hell could a zombie koala be dangerous? They'd just be like... I think that's... A I think they actually invented the drop bear. <laughs> and the uh, the last film is called Rendell. It's a Finnish superhero film that was pretty boring with some hilarious moments. Such as the hero Randall, he, his family gets killed, so he, becomes, he decides to go turn Punisher. But he also covers his, his head in like motorbike helmets, or resin armor, which he hmm. can't take off. So you, you're wondering for the entire film, how does he breathe slash eat slash drink through that? And um, he just kills a bunch of people. And I'm totally gonna make Lewis watch it at some point in the <laughs> con convention crossover. Because it's a fucking superhero film he's never heard of. And I'll probably have some random cameo because that's that's a thing. That is a that's thing. How we, <laughs> that's how we do shit. Yeah, I, a, I've essentially appeared in every one of the weird uh, superhero films she finds. <laughs> we can come in with all the puns being all like, you know, oh, oh he's going to tear them apart? I mean, he's a uh, rend -ol? Or, uh, you know, I prefer the other, like, Scandinavian character, you know, G Grendel. Uh, <laughs> it's a Beowulf joke. <laughs> or being like, oh, oh, it's a superhero film about former uh, governor of Pennsylvania, Ed Randell. Dinosaur nest cleanup. Okay, so we got that. It, was, it wasn't really a nest of dinosaurs. It was a nest with a dinosaur. Mm -hmm. No, di dinosaur nests running wild. <laughs> Some of these are weird. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, I found I find moons. I I found coins. Speaking of moons, uh, I should mention, uh, when when you see like a like a silhouette of a moon that you previously got. If you just get that silhouette, you'll get, you get coins. coins. Yeah. Yeah. Easy way to get to grind coins. It's pretty easy to get coins in this, which I like. Which I love. You need a lot of them. I love. <laughs> like there's one there's one costume that is a full body costume, but it it's requires the maximum amount of coins. Um I have uh, Zenith, I have a request. 
Is yes. it possible for you to play a YouTube video because uh, it is pertinent to the game? I can f see if I can figure it out. I don't see why uh, not. It is a song from the early days of the internet uh, from rothergood.com uh, called We Like the Moon. Mm, <laughs> that might get me okay. flagged, though, because with, with, oh, well, with is, songs... This is, this, is, yeah. this is sort of... Uh, well, if you're worried, that's fine. But yeah. It's... I, th I think I'd be surprised if it was a problem. It's basically pre-something awful type videos. Ah, uh, like, don't get me wrong, I don't think I'll get flagged for it, but then again, I know Nick has been, uh, like, flagged for something stupid in the past, like, that wasn't even, it, like, his doing. So, yeah. like... Understandable. Wait, what? Are you talking about me? Yeah, I remember the uh, big stream that you did. Oh, that was just Ubisoft being assholes. Yeah. But then again, and like, that was to do. and that was, and considering that was on YouTube, all right. All right. <laughs> okay, so I know that there's this giant hole here. What? That's this... shaped, that, that shaped like a chain chomp. A chain shaped like a chain chomp, you, with a bullseye. You aim a chain chomp into it. I did. Yes, I didn't want. No, that, that he's saying that's what you're supposed to do. Yeah, I tried that before. It does. I don't think. It, I don't think it gives you a moon, though. Doesn't it? I don't think it does, no. I think it just gives you coins. Yeah, I don't remember that working. And, uh, yes, welcome to Jurassic Mario Party. I'd rather have this than Jurassic World. <laughs> yep. Alright, we already got that moon. How many moons are left in this world? Um... Uh, let me check. Most of them. Uh, 15. Uh, yeah, 15 and... moons... Keep in mind, I think there's there's like double the amount of moons in every world at post game, so yep, probably like. Also, I mean, we've only been going five hours, um, only. Comparatively, like this, this is a long yes, game. Yes. <laughs> By the way, Casey, you said you were off Tuesday. Oh wait, I think I know what to do with this dinosaur though. Come back here, T Rex. I think I know what to do with you. I need to kill more things. <laughs> and... My name is Mario. I was born into this mafia world. And now I'm a dinosaur. <laughs> <laughs> don't ask me how I got here. I don't even know. It's probably all those mushrooms, man. <laughs> I just love the imagery of just like... <laughs> The juxtaposition is so weird. So how was your time spent since, you know, the, the hellscape that is, uh, you know, Hamilton? Um, I, I had a pretty good time. Granted, um, since then I've been, uh, I was preparing for surgery. <laughs> so I get nervous all the time beforehand. But I managed to get uh, quite a few um, videos out. And, you know, get started working on Saw, which it will happen. I will make it happen. <laughs> um, the big thing that I need to do with Saw is I need to take a day and just sit down and record my lines. And I will, it will get done because I, I need to. Um, and then I'll, I'll probably call you and be like, hey, I need something from Teddy. And you'll be like, but Teddy was with us. You should have gotten it there. <laughs> I can get something from Teddy. It'll just be it has to be the next time I'm at their place. Or if you need it immediately, Teddy does have recording set up. Mm -hmm. Because the audio will be, you know, ridiculously different from everything else. Yeah. But, um... Other than that, I mean, it's just... Uh, just finding the time. Um, what are you trying to zo do, Zen? You're getting yourself hurt over and over again for this bridge. I'm trying to kill the pufferfish hedgehogs. I'm I'm trying to do something. You do uh, know they just keep on respawning, respawning, right? Yeah, but the last moon that I got was from destroying them. No, no, no. You're not gonna get. It. You're not gonna get. It. I can tell you right now, that's not gonna work. All right, all right. You're not my real dad. <laughs> I could be. Yeah, a... uh, yeah, Philip. Uh, me and <laughs> D Amanda are doing a crossover on Saul One. We already have. Um, yeah. we have the live action. Oh, and I died. 
We recorded Oh, the first... look at the depth of, look at the depth of 8 bit. <laughs> we recorded the two camera for the last Con Bravo. Um, so around the same time that I filmed the Mercury Man review and all. And then Zen sat on it for absolutely ages before setting me a script randomly. And I was like, I'll get this done almost immediately. And then <laughs> it's still not done anything else. And I'm like, I sent you fucking voices months ago. I sent you the notes from the second film. Oh! <gasps> <laughs> Unfortunately, my health kind of got in the way of things, but um, Zarya is a very good sport, and so we're. Uh, she's probably gonna punish me later, but we're we're going to get saw done, um, and I just need to record my stuff and then send it to Shannon to do the rough editing, and then I can get get to that. Yeah, I'm terribly nice as long as I can mock you about it. And which you have. I mean, granted, every single crossover we've done together has been you uh, torturing me for for a, a movie that you had to see. Yeah, Max Magician. Ooh, uh, we have a raid. Moonicorny is raiding with Party of 14. Thanks for the raid, guys. Oh, cool. What the fuck is a raid? What? I don't... I, uh, what? Uh, Basically, when someone someone wants to end their stream, they send uh, they send their what viewers to another person's stream with like a message. Mm -hmm. uh -oh. So it's a way to get people to watch your stream and theirs. I'll be right back. Raid, raid. <laughs> I need a can of raid. <laughs> I um I have not done anything on uh, on monster yet. Yeah. Um, I think that Omega's got most of the footage down, uh, and uh, the tets are there, but I haven't done anything because I've been working ever since I got back. I finished Killer Condom, I had to do my voiceovers and edit my voiceovers for uh, my episode by episode of well, Series 11 of Doctor Who, New Who. Um, working on the item, which is probably going to be at max extra which is about 45 minutes. I've also uh, been working on the to the Terror. I've also been working on Star Paws, my 10 year anniversary, which is. 36 pages. And Star Paws is something, all right. Yeah, I, I, I'm, I'm absolutely shocked that I didn't bring a copy with me to come over to see people watch it. Because your brain melts. Your brain fucking melts. Do I see a moon? Hmm. Yeah. Over there. Yeah, I, I got that moon. I just know that there's a bunch of moons out there that I'm, like, just close to and I can't find them. Uh, ooh, I see a moon there. In that floating island. Um, by the way, thanks again for the raid, Moonicorny. Uh, this is a charity stream, so if any donations, uh, click on the donation link down below. All proceeds go to the Trevor Project. We are here. And uh, also, D. Amanda Hagen is here with us, and she uh, is regaling us of tales of the mighty monster in Star Paws. And other hilarious I don't think you're going to be able to get that floating island thing yet. You have to unlock something else in another one. Isn't there, wasn't there something on the Triceratops? I remember someone saying something about it, but I can't remember. Nah, look. Yeah, there, it's those, um... It's those uh, picture frames. Oh, okay. You're gonna have to um, unlock it later. You unlock the other side. Oh, I see Captain Toad over there, though. Yeah, that's basically it. All right. Well, uh, we'll go into the next kingdom after I get this latest one. So, I'm just. I tried to get my one to host. This this one I uh, I discovered when I looked at my one. Feel you know, like is it working? I said that Jernus is already hosting stuff on my channel, and I don't know how she did that without her consent, considering she's across town. <laughs> but she did it. Thank you for the power moon, treasure Captain Toad. Morning, Captain Toad. That's okay. Um, we're just glad to have you on the stream. I, uh... <laughs> I'm glad to have yeah. guests. It's nice to hear from you again. Um... Once a year is, is way too little. I'm very far away. You know, the best way to get me is on Twitter. Mm. 
it's it's but you know I'm very far away and I'm constantly working and stuff. You know, a lot of days Omega barely sees me. But you know, to be fair, that's not a good thing for her. Mm -hmm. When it comes to me, I'm like I'm always on Twitter, but then again, <laughs> this year has been surgery year, so. Yeah. I'm like the bionic woman now. I am the bionic woman. That is very true. Mario would be jealous. All right, and I'll purchase this moon. Um, but just so you guys know, we have more guests coming up later who uh, I've, I've talked to. Uh, not sure about one pair of guests because they are also a little bit under the weather because of con crud. Um, but we'll see how that goes. But the other pair uh, should be here in the evening. And uh, yeah, we're, we're, we're going to have some fun. Um, see how far we can get with these moons. We're, we're... Everyone's sick. <laughs> Everyone is sick. Me, I just don't have balls anymore. So, you know, that, that's the only thing I have. <laughs> 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 so I think we should really yeah, put into any random conversation you can. <laughs> All right, we are now at 84 moons. We are nearly a ninth of the way through the game. Uh, I'm worried you have like 24 hours to fill with uh, you know, random gibberish from guests. So, uh, do you want to hear the amazing tale of how I ended up with a film um, that I probably shouldn't have? Sure, go right ahead. Um, a few last week I went to Belfast with Omega for Belfast Pride. And we were just hanging out. We actually ran into a fan of the YouTube show. Uh, and, and so, like, do you hang out with us for the afternoon? We're going to, you know, we're just hanging out. And so they're like, sure. And so we hung out all day. That was fun. Then afterwards, we went into a charity shop. Uh, and I picked up a film called Borley Rectory. It's just a random film. Uh, I, I was interested in the title because Borley Rectory is a quote unquote real life haunting, which I, had, I, I knew a little bit about since I was like, Lab and I was vaguely interested. I seen several films and I was like, I want to see a decent film based on this because it's interesting enough. Uh, so I bought it. It was cost me about a pound, two pounds. Then we went to a coffee shop with my sister and we just hung out because we were waiting because we had a reservation for dinner. And I was looking through the DVD, I opened it up and I was like, this is interesting. There's a postcard in here for the film with like, you know, it looks like 1920s but ghostly. And like, that's, you know, very on point for the film. And then I noticed that. This said, uh, you know, limited edition. And I was like, well, that is very interesting. And then I noticed the, um, one of the stars, Lee Shearsmith, uh, Doctor Who actor, who also was okay. a musical gentleman, he'd signed the DVD. Hey. And then finally I worked out, after doing some Googling, this film's not out until October. <laughs> what I have is a reward copy from, uh, like, GoFundMe or Kickstarter, because it was a low budget film. And it somehow ended up in the charity shop. <laughs> so I did a vlog review of it, uh, you know, several months early, and I'm hoping that I'm not on the wrong side of some kind of embargo, but, you know, if I am, I didn't sign anything. I just bought a film secondhand. And thus, D. Amanda Hoggins slowly takes over the world one step at a time. Just when you think you're safe, you're not. This is probably the best find I've had in a, in a film shop for a while. <laughs> it's most unlikely. I'm a rocket. <laughs> I just turned into a rocket. Is this Mexico land? I... This is something, alright. I don't... <laughs> Sometimes I don't even know. I don't know if this is the way it is for everyone else, but you, um, your narration is about a minute behind the actual action of what you're seeing on screen. Yeah, that's just because of the delay. We, we have a bit of a delay. I, I usually put it in simply because it helps, um, make, you know, helps the stream from, like, st sometimes, like, when it stutters, you get massive delay, and that's not good. And Chiaki, your nose is very cold. I, I know that you love me, but my Chiaki has been part of the stream off and on all day. She's just been like, 
This is my seat. This is my palace, human. You need a dedicated camp cam, that's what Jonas has. I, the thing is, she does not like to stay still. Uh, thank you, Philip. Tell your friends they're awesome. Um, but today is, today is, ooh, I found a moon. Ha <laughs> ha. I found a moon within a moon. But yeah, today is not about me. Today is about celebrating, uh, you know, helping trans people. And uh, I, I just hope I can out a kitty. <laughs> I, just, <laughs> I just hope I can raise a little bit more money. Uh, the purpose of the stream is, you know, uh, suicide prevention for trans and LGBT youth. Uh, and I died. <laughs> um, as I try to complete this game, um, any donations goes directly to them via Tiltify. Again, the link is directly under my Twitch channel. So, so uh... Like bomber guy. Apparently he's really good at streams like this for advertising. Yeah, I, he's the reason I wanted to even start one, because I saw like what he did, and I'm like, well, there's nothing. We don't have anything like that in the U.S., so why don't we try to do something? Um, and uh, I'm just like, I can last 24 hours. I mean, <laughs> look, sorry, I I am on medical leave right now. I I'm doing fine. Yeah. <laughs> okay, okay. Stan. To be fair, when you're with Ari, you can barely last five minutes. Shh. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, I couldn't resist. I wouldn't mind trying to do like a 24 hour stream or something. My main problem would be I'd, I'd probably do it on the console, so kind of work out having someone being in charge of the actual computer parts that would be a bit difficult. Because at least someone, you'd have to get someone who's like, I know what they're doing. Um, so, what, I, what I would like to do is eventually, like, I'm not sure how long my batteries on my headphones will last out. I, hey, Zan, I, what? here's a hint. You can. You can you can capture that three pile of Goomba. I know, but ca no, I can't actually because Cappy is in another place. Oh. And I, but I got the moon. I'm gonna get another moon. Um, Ari isn't here because she's at work. <laughs> she actually, she she uh, got work. She has a a really nice job. Um, and she is stubborn and wants to provide everything for me, and I'm like, I don't, I mean... Oh, so you don't have the hat right now. Oh, shit. Yeah, I don't, I don't have Cappy in this. Um, yeah. Ari, Ari wants me to be the housewife. Have you, uh, did you have a good time with her after the, after Tom Barber? We did, um, I gave her her, uh, I gave her an engagement ring. And she was ecstatic, um, and uh, so now, now, now things are, are are going really well. Um, it warmed her bitter, cruel heart. She's a tsundere. It, it you know, it happens. <laughs> but uh, more more importantly, did it warm the bitter, cruel heart of her dad? Her dad um, was not the person I met this time. I met her mom. Oh, okay. Sorry, I misunderstood. Then. And th this this whole thing is like her dad. Her dad's a nice guy, but he's also a retired cop, and therefore he is very overprotective. And uh, so, <laughs> it's been it's been interesting trying to uh, try uh, trying to work with him. Welcome back. Um, you're, you're winning him over. I'm slowly winning him over. Um, Zed, why'd you do that? <laughs> because I wanted to get the purple coins, and that was the only way I could do it. Is just die. <laughs> You died for money. <sighs> Zen died saving the purple triangles because, you know, clearly a bunch of Nazis put them there. And <laughs> I thought it was the Illuminati. <laughs> well, clearly Mario was Antifa. <laughs> I mean, funny, yeah. Um, Cap lives he, matter, you know. He, 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 he's a New York plumber, of course. He's union, he's pro-union, he's pro-choice. <laughs> And, um, well, I mean, I mean in this time. suit. I mean, his yeah, main. Oh, hmm? <laughs> well, you're seeing it's because you mentioned Antifa. A Belfast Pride uh, Antifa actually marched. With uh. an LGBT, like an Antifa flag. And I nice. uh, then I noticed uh, today there was a festival going on in the Bogside and Derry where. Uh, so close to. 
and they had uh, Irish dancing going on, but it looked like it was like had oh. Irish dancing because they were wearing the, bat, the masks and everything. And in the nice. covers. it was all Irish dancing on the stage. I don't know <laughs> what they're doing. They're going to burn something at later on. Sweet. Because in Northern Ireland, you can't have a celebration without burning something. They're like big bonfires. It's hard to <laughs> See, us in America aren't so different after all. I, I on the other hand, I'm not very big fond of fire at the moment. But then again, I lived through two. Oh yeah. <laughs> well, it's, technically it's three. <laughs> mm. Yeah, it has not been a good year for me when it comes to fire. I did it. I made it. I got a moon. <sighs> it's, Sorry. it's it's not the sort of one that has like you use like marshmallows or something. These things are usually three or four stories tall, and they're usually done, done in the waste ground, so if they fall over, a few houses burn down. That's just August in California. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so we got those moons, at least. This is hey, don't leave him happy! <laughs> we can't Rocket. summon him. <laughs> Rocket Mario. Ah! What was that? <laughs> that was Mario uh, rocketing to his doom. That, that was Mario I after he that. learned what the scuzzies are. I, I guess the rockets were made by North Korea. <laughs> yeah, so, um, I did the dumbest thing possible today. I filmed a, I filmed a big review, like uh, 18 pages worth. But I spent the entire time wearing these mad goggles I picked up from Tom Bravo, which um, refract light, so it makes you look like you're seeing like an 80s cartoon version of insect vision. Mm. So I couldn't actually see where the camera was. <laughs> Luckily, I had people uh, yelling at me to look, look, you know, like, look, he's watching the right! He's wearing... It was severely... It was dumb. Yeah. Hopefully it'll look good. I mean, everything looks better in post. Especially when you fuck around with that work I did. <laughs> oh, okay, I haven't been here the before. Actual moon. Can you steal the actual moon? I don't think we can actually steal the moon, but it's possible. It's potentially. I mean, we're. Hmm. Yeah, can you put your hat to a cactus and just sit there being a cactus? No, you can put your hat in certain things, but not everything. Like, I can take hold of this bullet bill here. Which is awesome. Mm -hmm. can, can, you, uh, can you use your hat to take over, say, James Roth to publicize this and therefore get a lot of people watching it? <laughs> I wish. It's worth a shot. Yeah. Well, that's what Link Cars for. will get you a lot of attention for. Wrong yeah. hat. Uh, Lewis is a good guy, though. Yeah. yeah. I gotta spend more time with him next year at Con Bravo. We yeah. didn't have a lot of time to spend with each other at Con Bravo with like between with 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 all the filming we did. <laughs> yeah. We're gonna try and go to Con Bravo next year. If it's a thing, I hope it's a thing. Yeah. If, if it's not a thing, if that rumor is correct, which I hope it isn't, uh, then depending on how fast everyone works out what the replacement's going to be, me and Maple may as well sit out next year for cons, American cons, because yeah. we don't want to, because we, if we're going to go to one, we have to book early to make sure yeah. we can get a flight we can afford. And I mean, every year we, we end up rooming together, so like our plan is just, okay, I'll book the room and see where we go from there. Yeah. yeah. So, so. If, it's, if, it's, if it's something else, I don't want to book a flight and then be all like, remember this con? Oh god, no one's going to that con, I completely fucked this up. Now that I'm actually doing stuff again, I have a reason to go to VidCon. <laughs> oh my god, there's 69 moons in this area. <laughs> nice. <laughs> <laughs> of course, I only have 16. So, what exactly happens at VidCon? Like, I'm guessing it's, the, it's like panels on how to be a whiny bitch on YouTube. Yeah, uh, from what I understand, okay. Matt, uh, Matt Iannone, uh, who is my former roommate, was not a big fan of it. It's mostly teeny boppers and people who are 
Yeah, they think. Well, there's, yeah. There's, there's some good. There's some good stuff. Like Charlie and Haley had a panel had a meet up this year. Well, yeah, they they usually go every year. That's I mean, cool. they had like a, a sanctioned event this year. Oh. Yeah, it was the uh, Park Tuber uh, meet up. Ooh, another moon. That's two. Like, I, I wouldn't mind going simply to try and floss and shoot like bomber guys and ones like that. Hmm. Yeah. But... Like, a, a lot of it just seems like a like a meetup opportunity for me. I'm already flying seven hours over the calm browser, adding another seven does not really appeal unless there's something very concrete in yeah. the benefit section. Okay. This is gonna be a tricky moon. Although it's weird, I met uh I met as many people uh with the VidCon meetup I tried to do as I did just standing outside the show I was going to, which is why I was planning the meetup in the first place. Because like I, I hung out oh, with Leon. You can for the roll, okay. Oh yeah. I hung out with Leon for the meetup, and then I randomly saw Rebecca Parnum as I was in line for the uh, the event. Well, that's cool. Yep. Hmm. I, I like I seeing Leon. I, I see him every Con Bravo, and uh, it's uh, like she does. Uh, she's a story time YouTuber. She does a uh, Let Me Explain Studios. Casey's a big fan. Cool. Yeah, then the rolling is uh, a good fast travel method. Mm hmm. Just keep rolling, rolling, rolling. What? You? Wait. So, did, did you guys boot Ari out of the chat to a? Uh... They can only be ten people in the chat at once. Yes. Yeah, I figured as much. So I figured if she wasn't available here, then I didn't have any other choice. Well, uh, well she she just talked to me on on Discord. She might be joining in a few if she, she wants. So I will. Mm. I, I recommend booting Philip then because Philip is at school. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and only Zenith can do it. So when when she gets a chance. Okay, what is this thing in the pyramid? What is what? Uh, it, waiting for it. To it's load. moving under the ground. Maybe you have, I to, you have to stop it, I guess. But I can't I'm catch up to it in time. I wonder. Oh, yeah, you have to, you have to ground pound it. You've gone to Arrakis. <laughs> Alright, I'm going to pause for a sec, and I'm just going to uh, add Ari to the chat. Uh, yeah. Fear is the mind killer. Fear is the little death of the Kyle MacParkland's acting. Where is... Okay, there he is. Remove from the group. Add people. Call me Ari. Add. Okay. All right, now let's get back. So I have to get to it and stomp on it, but the thing is, it runs away. I actually don't remember how you do this one, so. I, I'm going to put a pin in that for now. Yeah. That's the nice thing. You can always come back. There's a lot. There's a lot here. I have 18 out of the 69 moons. Let's see. Hmm. I'm going to see if there's anything in the pyramid. I already came this way. There's nothing there. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. Ari says, guys, can you you can kick me again. I'm not going to be here for another few hours. I just asked because I wanted my brother... Uh, I wanted to bother my wife again while I'm at the bank. Well, she says she said brother my wife, but I think we know what she meant. <laughs> oh, brother. Oh, bother. No, no, you gotta stay here. You gotta stay, Ari. Just stay. She can't. I don't think she can hear you unless she's watching the stream. Mm, I don't think she's watching. Anyway. Any of you guys drink whiskey? I do on Not occasion. A, a little no, bit. I'm actually uh, slightly jealous. Um, 
tomorrow it looks like we're going on a me, uh, Jonas, and Creature SH, and perhaps Meg if you show up to it, but you know, we don't know. Um, are going to uh, Bush Mills, old Bush Mills, this town it's, it does the oldest. Well, Bush Mills whiskey is the oldest uh, Irish Irish whiskey distillery in the world. Well, obviously in Ireland, but that would be shut up. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? It's the oldest whiskey distillery in Ireland. And we're going to go we're going on a tour tomorrow. <laughs> it's about 15, 20 minutes from where we live. So, uh, 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 whiskey tour with I with. Oh. Wait, would you say it's whiskey business? Oh, yes. <laughs> By the way, we are at 89 moons. Cool. I'm going to move on to the next kingdom because... Oh, did you uh, did you go to the purple coin store yet? No, I did not. You should do that. See what you can get. Maybe get that sombrero or a poncho. Well, well, you the New Dong City with a sombrero, you're probably going to get kicked out. You mean a Zambrero? Zambrero. <laughs> Zambrero. Still don't have enough for the boxer shorts. You don't have enough to wear nothing. Also, there's a slot machine in this area. I don't know if you've gone to it yet. I haven't been there yet, no. Um, no yeah, that's the easy move. So, cowboy outfit. Uh, poncho. <clears throat> Zambrero, yep, yeah, bye change now and put on I'm going to put on this thing thank you for your purchase <laughs> and now I'm a Mexican Mario Mexario <laughs> Mexican and Italian that just doesn't grow well <laughs> and if I remember correctly there's a door that was guarded by people who said only with the correct costume yes i believe that's where the slot machine is mexican italian sounds like it would be perfect for our, what we, uh you probably shouldn't cook this oh yeah <laughs> el mario everybody dance <laughs> oh my god it's a, some bolognese or something but add a bunch of mexican spices to it and some mexican ingredients to it Ooh, oh, good. Yes. Wait, 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 hang on. Are you making a bolognese and adding spices to it? Doesn't that just make it a chili then? No. <laughs> and? I got a moon for dancing. Oh, yeah. Okay, this is not the slot machine area, but the, the slot machine area is in the town. It's it's a house or something. That was, that was, that was great. <laughs> that game is so great. There's just so much to do. I get overwhelmed, but it yeah. it's like yes. every little bit is progress. It's just... Like you take any two worlds in this game, it can be a, its own game. Shut Let's... up and take yeah, my money. Yeah, pretty much. Oh, uh, man from Barter Town, thank you for the four dollar donation. Thank you so Yay. so much. This is going Yay. to help out many LGBT people. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. Hey, there I'm it gonna is. bow out very shortly. Yeah. I think. All right. All right. Well, thank you for coming in, and we'll talk more about um, the sequel to Monster afterwards. <laughs> yes. That's perfectly fine. Um, you're on for 19 hours. Yep. Yep. We're we're on until 1 p.m. my time. So I mean, we've been going almost six hours now. So it's 24 minus six. <laughs> um, I don't think i'll be back on before then but maybe if i am uh I'll, I'll pop back in again all right we'll keep you in the chat just in case then okay see you guys later on bye bye all right so you know what the fuck to do here like yep. I, I don't need to explain this one yeah slots casey had a bit of a rough it's fine. Right. I'd recommend f uh, throwing your hat from the side so you just line up all three at once. Okay. Got it. Go. Cool. I got the moon.
I just want to thank Hagen for coming out to us today and yeah. chatting, and it was very nice of her. Um, I hope that she and Omega feel better soon. Um, and we're going to have more guests as the day goes on, as the day winds down. Oh, I love that so much. Sorry, uh, this was just posted in, uh, in the JoJo section of my Discord. Jojo section. <laughs> of course I do. Uh, I'm awesome. writing a Jojo bridge. I kind of need a Jojo section. Uh, All right, that was pointless, but okay. What was? The Jaxi. Oh yeah, you needed to get certain moons. Okay. <laughs> And Chiaki's busy sleeping on the floor. Silly kitty. Have you got? Have you uh, done the lizard thing yet? Not that I know of. You know, uh, there's a, like the flying lizard. No, I haven't done that. Oh yeah, there's a there's a bit in this area and the treasure area where you can dive from the top point of the of the and just glide around. I think I'm going to head back to the next area. Okay. Uh, Donk, then? What's next? Uh, Lake Donk Kingdom? Oh, you meant next in the... Okay. Mm -hmm. I mean, I could go back to Donk. Up to you. Uh, actually, I'm going to head to Cloud Kingdom. There's only two moons here, so... Okay. I'm going to briefly update my Discord, so I'll be right back. Alrighty. I thought you were going to do this blind, but he's leading you blindly. Leading the, is it, or is it blind leading the blind? <laughs> I'm mostly doing this by myself. Like, I, he hasn't been helping me that much. Uh -huh. And I'm back. Welcome back. Alright, Cloud Kingdom, Nimbus Arena. Oh, boss fight time. I already fought the boss. Oh, you did? Oh, right. I forgot there are a few there are a few uh things there. Yeah, I'm I'm here to look for the moons cuz there's apparently two. I don't know if you can get them yet. All oh, right, no, if they're listed, you can get them. There's Captain Toad. Oh, by the way, you're going to have a nightmare in New Donk. Oh god. Cuz New Donk has, in my opinion, the hardest moon in the game. Well, there's two. There's two extremely hard moons, and they are both mini games. And one's in New Donk, and one's in an area we haven't gone to yet. Uh, what do we have here? Picture match. Put your best face forward. Oh, this one's hard. All right, let's see. I'm going to have to put it back together. All right. Match that picture. Okay. I am probably not going to get this right. It's really hard. Dun, 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 dun. Hmm. 
Huh, a new, from Team YouTube, a new policy preventing copyright owners making from making money on manual claims for short song clips, like a five seconds of a song, or unintentional audio. Yeah, I saw that. They yeah. took a step in the right direction. A tiny... Yes, a, st a step. <laughs> oh god, I did a horrible. <laughs> this one's really fucking hard. Like, this, this one, it's not the one that everyone has trouble with, but if you are bad with memorization, it's so hard. <laughs> Alright, we're gonna do it. Oh wow, that's terrible. What the hell? <laughs> I got it now. I memorized it. Okay. <laughs> oh, wait, these were hard? No, god no. I will sick Ari on you. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's not what I... I didn't want to place it there. I pressed the wrong button. Your ideas are intriguing to me, and I wish to subscribe to your newsletter. Thanks for the follow, Sephiroth Wolf. Alright, we're gonna just put this here. Alright, I think that's it. See how we did. Sixty-four points. I did it. Is it eighty? You need sixty to pass. Okay, the the second one is eighty. Okay. And I got a moon, basically a coop. I didn't want to play anymore. Sorry, I didn't mean to leave you hanging, Toad. Well, actually, I did, but whatever. Okay. Oh, I can't get that yet. I think that's all I can get here. Oh, yeah, those those weird blocks, those are post-game stuff. Yep, can't get those yet. I yeah, can't find any more hints for this kingdom, so yeah, that's that's everything... I can do for this. So let's move on to Metro. To New Donk City. To the Donk! Alright, so we are at 92 <laughs> moons right now. 92 moons. So that's about a ninth of the way there in uh, six hours. Hey, we'll say you are smoking this. Mm -hmm. Especially since I don't have too, too much hits going on. Oh, kitty, your cat hair is everywhere. Chiaki, have you tried not shedding so much? <laughs> Chiaki just looks at me like, really? I'm a cat. <laughs> really? 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 So we gotta go see Pauline. Yep. She wants us to find her band members. So it's time to jump up, Superstar. Yes, that is literally the sequence. <laughs> Mayor Pauline is the bee's knees. Be do people still say bee's knees? 
No. And yes, it is her. She, she is Mario's ex. That is canon. <laughs> really? Really? <laughs> hey, look, it's a Scooty Puff Jr. <laughs> <sighs> I hijacked a person. Oh yeah, that that yeah. one's always weird. That one's always oh, weird. Hey Chiaki, come on. By the way, there's a slot machine in this area too, and you're right near it. Hey. Everyone say hi to Chiaki. Hi Chiaki. With more enthusiasm. <laughs> hi Chiaki! <laughs> like that. <laughs> Left Mario for that peach. Oh god. Okay, this controls, like, ass. Yeah, it's an RC car. It's not meant to control well. <laughs> it's worse when you're trying to race it. Oh, yeah, there's a race. Uh, it's <laughs> dual stick, Zenith. I know. I prefer, I prefer a stick. Or no stick. Yeah. What well, a few moments you're going to be without no stick. Oh, come on. I did it. <laughs> it was bad. That was so bad. I apologize. That was... <laughs> Those controls are go, horrible. Go go away, Zen. You have to leave now. <laughs> <laughs> go to the slot machine, goddammit. I'm going to give Chiaki the personal nickname of Chi Chi. Okay. Works for me. Actually, Crazy Cap Store. I have the Persona Q theme stuck in my head. Your last surprise, you done it. That's Persona 5, but yeah. I know. <laughs> I did it on purpose. Spins you round and round. Da, 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 da. Living, 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 living. <laughs> oh, you. I'm gonna have to move yeah, this. Mario Maker Mario. Oh, the Mario construction. <laughs> hey. Oh. Hey. I think yeah, you actually do need the the, the Mario Maker Mario outfit to uh, get to a certain By area. Force. Oh, thank you, Jernis, for hosting the stream. Yay. I think I'm already hosting. So. Hi, kitty. Well, oh God, Sephiroth. Well. <laughs> You guys have fun. I probably need to duck out for uh, classes myself. I'll be back in about six, seven hours. All hopefully, right. you won't be crash. Hopefully, we will be crashing by then, Zen. Oh, it's fine. Oh, hey, Jernis, how's it going? I was, I was not. I was talking to Zen. <laughs> I know. <laughs> All right, Zen, you have fun, okay? So yeah, I have a Chiaki on my lap, and she is content. So, see you then. Bye. Yeah. Watch out for snakes. <laughs> okay, that's it. That guy has way too many hats. Are you Dobby? Yeah. <laughs> I just want to die. It's weird. For some reason, it sounds like they're saying, I just want to die. <laughs> I'm just, I'm going to keep the cam on my cat, because she's cute. Not a bad idea. Oh, let, all right, let's go find that uh, slot machine. I think it's right by this building. But what's this? I found purple coins. What do we have up here? Kitty's just looking at me like, you're so happy, human. I'm happy you're happy. <laughs> Alright, back to me. <laughs> Sorry, Kitty. I wanted to give you attention, but you've been here for a while.
Anyway, where is Etsy? With Cap Sword. Uh, Mom, I'm doing a stream. <laughs> Let's see here. Okay, I'm moving a. I possessed a sewer grate. Yep, move that shit. Okay, so we have itty bitty moons. Ah, I see. Do 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 do. do. See, I normally would uh, not allow interruptions in, in streams, uh, but I also have to keep in touch with guests that may or may not come on later, so I have to have my device on, unfortunately. Yep. Although they can just message me. They can. Yes. That is very true. I'm just, I'm just gonna rotate all these walkways. Okay, moon piece check. Bam. Just one remains. I'm going to take that heart. <laughs> Are you comfortable there, kitty? So how do I get out of there? Hmm. Maybe I have to go over and around. That's, that sounds right. Let me donk it up over here. There we go. Outside the rotating maze. Yay. Alright, I think that's everything in this area. Are you comfortable there, kitty? Ah, <laughs> uh, this cat. So the, there's a post, uh, it's with uh, Deku and Bakugo, and the caption is, Name a better rivalry, or anime rivalry. And someone responded, Jojo versus American copyright laws. Oh, God. I found a moon. Yay. Inside an iron girder. Yep. Let's see. Alright, I'll, I'll head towards Pauline, I guess. Did you find the slot machine that was near here? No, I've been just I running around. I think you're around. literally right next to it. Like, where that girder was. Yeah, I'll go back. Nah. <laughs> the things I do for cats. There's the slots. Oh, and there's purple coins right behind it. Yep. Aww. Chiaki fell asleep in my arms. Mm. 
There we go, and I get the moon. Woohoo! Cool. All right, now to Pauline. Sorry, Pauline, I keep getting detoured. Everyone needs my help. I'm the only one who could do it. Find four backup musicians. Okay. Well, there's a drummer. I'm trying to nap. Oh, I meant like on take your phone. Or oh. Oh, and you get a moon for one of those drummers. Yeah, you get a moon for each of them. <laughs> uh, Phil, we took you out of the group chat because Ari's gonna come in. Yep. I'm sorry, Jockey, I need my hand back. <laughs> no! She's still so peaceful. She's like, what? I'm just trying to lie here. I'm comfortable. All right, before I do anything, I'm gonna return to the Odyssey, drop off my moons, because I have a lot of moons. We are at 99 moons. Alright. I'm going to get one more moon, and I think it'll be good time for a little bit of a break. Just stretch. Oh, how long? Yeah. Probably yeah. be like 15 minute break. I don't want to do okay, anything so long. I, I just need to call back my mom because she called me while yeah, I was doing fine. this. Oh, All right, I will, bye, I will Chiaki. I will take a break when you take a break, then. Alright. Ooh, what is this? The ranking board is allowed to see records from other players. If you participate in the rank, blah, blah, blah. I don't want to... I don't really care about that. Wait, is it the jump rope? Yeah. That's the hard one. Yeah, I'm not going to do that. Um, Hey, what's up, you friend? Do, you're not going to do it. No, I'm not going to do it. Not right now. What do you mean you're not going to... Oh, not right now. Okay. It's going to be like, you have to do it. All right. Uh, I found a guitar guy. That's the, it's, it's one of the two I still haven't done. Guitarist on board, so I got a moon. We have a hundred. Hang on, I'll be right back. Just about a tenth of the way through this game. Okay. Just fix that. Alrighty. Just gonna take a look at my list. Still have a lot more to find. In any yep. case, I'm gonna uh, stop for a second, just do a little bit of stretch, and yep. we're gonna take a very short break. We will be back, don't go anywhere. <laughs> I'll be back in 15. All right, and with that, we are back. Apologize for the slight delay. I just needed a quick break. And we're good. Oh, and Chiaki's back, too. Hey, Chiaki. We have a game to play, though. Come on. Come on. Can you sit? Can you hear me? Yes, I can. Yeah. Hi. Chiaki says hi. Hey. Uh. Chiaki's a real star here. Mm. 
Have you ever seen a cat that's just so wonderful like this? Not that I'm aware of. <laughs> Alright, I need you to if... sit. I need you to sit. Come on. Yeah, sorry if I pulled Rosen away a couple times. i uh, trying to deal with adult trouble. It's okay, I understand. Oh, no, it's more work needs needs me for one thing, and I, but I don't have a car, trying to get a car, and everything. Alrighty. Anyway, shall we return to the game? Yes. We're we're what going. What have I missed? Um, we are at a hundred moons now. We have just reached a oh. hundred of these 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 big moons. Uh, so we're we're about a tenth of the way through the game in uh. That's good. In six hours. <laughs> Let us keep this momentum going. Chiaki, give me luck. So, I need a few more moons just to continue where I was. Um, so, let's go back to New York City Hall Rooftop. I like that you can fast travel in this. Yeah. I didn't want to go to the top of the roof. That's a bad idea. And Chiaki's purring up a storm over here. Oh. Onward for great justice. Donk City Hall Plaza it should be close by. <laughs> okay, I'm I'm being chased by a T Rex. I'm being chased oh. by a T Rex. Wow, that's something. Okay. I didn't expect that when I went to New Dong City. <laughs> oh, I think that's why they wanted you to be in the the site where I cycle. Okay. Got it. I'm gonna outrun a T Rex. Or the little scooter. Jump on the scooter. Okay, come on. Go for it. I'm probably going to have to do this again, because I'm missing coins and everything. Dang it. <laughs> yeah, why, if, 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 was Mario, like, squashed as a kid or something like that? Like, I don't, uh, I don't understand the anatomy in this game. There you go. I missed the purple coins again. <laughs> oh, there's the moon. <laughs> I missed the moon. Oh, no. Thwarted. I like that the T-Rex has goggles. Okay. I'm gonna try that again. Shot oh, you got another moon, though! Yeah. Like, you you missed a moon, but you gained a moon. Do you have to chase me every time, dinosaur? Yes, that's how it goes. Because I'm a T-Rex. That's how I wear. That's how I operate. T-Rex with adorable goggles. 
Can I just, like, possess him or something? No. Uh, and Herman, I miss, you can jump in I this. miss the moon again. Well, I was about to say, you can jump. Yeah, I can jump, it's just... Uh, part of me is just like, okay, I'm gonna need the purple coins, but I'm also going to need the moon. Let's do this again. Get the purple coin. Serpentine! Serpentine! Uh, and he killed me. <laughs> he, he serpentined and he killed you. Serpentine will never help you. Well, at least I got the last of those purple coins. I met, how did I miss the moon? It was right there. Uh, I don't know. Welcome to welcome to Mario Souls. It's not Mario Souls. Yeah, it's Wario Souls. <laughs> wow. Ride like the wind, bullseye. No, no. <laughs> You'll miss the moon again, didn't you? <sighs> I will get this right for great justice. You haven't completed the story yet, have you? Nope. Okay. <laughs> Hi, my name is Mario. Welcome to Jackass. I'll be messing with oh. T-Rex all day. <laughs> oh my god, why? <laughs> Welcome to messing with Sasquatch. Oh, messing with Sasquatch. I did it! Yay! Oh. Big jump escape. Alright, we're not doing that again. Well, you don't have to because you already got the moon. So we got that. <laughs> Les Miserables. Les Miserables. <laughs> oh, Sephiroth. Ta da! <laughs> First try. <laughs> Spider-Man. Well, there's something, like, apparently on the building. Hmm. On the building? Yeah. Because it's, it's pointing here, where I need to go. Anyway, I'm going to turn these moons in, and then we'll figure it out. <laughs> Wait a second. Where did I put my phone? I think I left it in the other room. Dang it. Did you want to go get your phone? Yeah, yeah I'm going to be right back. Okay. 
All right. Welcome back. I'm back. I I, I have, I have the thing. Yep. Cappy eyeing those moons like, bitch, that's not enough. <laughs> Where my money, man? Where my moon money? Hmm. <laughs> Wow, you've re 102. And I only need five more. Oh, really? For, to move on to the next area. Oh, jeez. So that's why you, I saw you, gl I glanced and saw you were back in the other world, so that's why you went back, is to gather more stars? Uh, just to get more moons here and there. I meant moons, sorry, I'm not used to saying moons. <laughs> And there's a lot that I'm just not seeing here. Um, let's take a look around. Hello, Chiaki. Are you coming back for more love? Aww. Come on. I'm sure everyone loves seeing you. I can't get sick of you. You're just cute. You're the cutest. I'm waiting to, for your the, your life just to show Jackie. There she mm -hmm. is. Mm -hmm. I'm sorry, I love my cat too much. That's all good. You're a cat <laughs> mom. My cat daughter. All right, now sit down. Sit down. There you go. <laughs> adorable girls and adorable cats. Yeah. Fire! Let's see. See if I can't find something. I'm sure you'll find this, a moon somewhere. Yeah, there's moons everywhere. There's, yeah, there's moons everywhere. Sometimes talking with people you get moons. Ah, Like ah. in the water world. Oh, did you find something? Yes, I did. Yeah. Yeah. I'm back. Welcome back, but you're echoey. <laughs> it's because of me. That means I have to leave. Aw. Because we're both in the same room. Yeah. I just wanted to stop by for a bit because I got to make dinner. So... Have fun, Zenith. Collect all, right. all the moons for me. I will collect every moon. Probably yeah. not not at once, but I will collect them all. Yeah. Gotta catch Bye. them all. Bye. Okay. Did I miss anything? Uh, we got a couple more moons. Um, we got chased by a T Rex. Yeah, for, for one minute. Cool. We do the Pauline thing? Uh, I'm still looking for some of the other members, but... Oh, who are you looking for? I'll look it up. Uh... Let's see, I I already got the drummer and the guitarist. Alright, hold on. Uh, like, I know where they're located, it's just getting there is so that's a problem. I, okay. Out, Chiaki. I love you, but can you not? Oh, I have an idea. I don't need that guide any. After all. Okay. Uh, we need to plant something there, okay. Find the seed. Let's see. Hmm. I, I didn't want to do that, but okay. All right, let's go see what's here. I'm just gonna climb up all the buildings. Spider Mario. Yeah.
Okay. Oh, I found the musician. Cool. The other is on the other island, which there's a way to get there. How do you get to the top of the building, person? <laughs> what brings you all the way up here, Groovy Hat Man? <laughs> Trumpeter on board, okay. And now we gotta get to the other island. There is a way there? Okay. Put first. What is underneath these sheets, people? What are you trying to hide? Ooh, Captain Toad. Cool. Yeah, this, this place is stuck in the 40s. <laughs> yeah. I was too busy being a 90s businessman. I forgot to cure my bonitis. there. And I found a guitarist. Cool. Hey, we got a wise guy over here. It says we not. It says we trapped in the forties. You don't understand. This is the way we operate. It's all hush hush. You see, hush hush. This underground power plant seems to be out of commission. Still. Yeah. So let's go find that. Here we go. Follow follow the road of giant things. Nobody can get the manhole cover off? It's simple. How do you do that? Magic. Yep. <laughs> Power plant. What's that uh, noise in the background? Oh, sorry, I thought that was... Uh, well, it's in a video. Okay. Is that better? Yeah, I can't hear it anymore. Okay. Uh, we got piranha plants down here. What are they doing in the sewers? What's where they are. That's a, I thought that's where gators were. Watch out for the poison here. Get those purple coins. Oh, I see more purple coins. Forty-seven. 
We're gonna need a lot more coins before we're through. Yep. Oh, crap, 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 crap. Uh, and I died. <laughs> we're doing with biscuits and salad. By the way, I, I, once again, I just want to thank everyone for coming out and watching the stream today. Um, I was not expecting such a big turnout, and uh, I really appreciate it. Uh, and as as I die repeatedly, <laughs> uh, no, but like this this has been something I've been wanting to do for a while. This is the longest stream I've ever done, and uh, th thank you all for coming out. It means a lot. Yeah. And hopefully our guests will be here this evening. We'll see. Yeah, that's better. Fighting evil bugs. See, this is what happens when you don't empty out the trash the correct way. Yep. Oh, there's a moon up there. I knew it. Fun, do it. Gotcha. Sewer treasure. <laughs> that sounds so bad. <laughs> this is treasure of the sewer. Just need one more moon, and we'll be good to move on. Uh, yeah, Rosa, why don't you add, uh, Rodolphus to the call? Hmm? Add Rodolphus to the call. I do not have Rodolphus. He's in our Discord. My, okay. or my Discord, rather. Yep. Damn it, Moon. <laughs> We're full. Uh, who should I remove? Who, you need to remove someone. Um, someone who's Ar not here. Ari, you said, she said, she said to remove her. Okay. And then you can add in Rodolphus, because I, I don't have Rodolphus on my friends list. Alright. <whistles> Alrighty. It needs to be taught a, taught a new donk lesson. Is is that a thing people say? <laughs> a new donk lesson? You okay? And we got a moon. Cool. Hello. 
Hello. Oh, we need to hit the switch. Okay. Oh. Pff. And powers back to the city. It's powered by moons. Why am I not surprised? So, if Mario had a business card, how big do you think it'd be by now? I mean, it's never ending at this point. And apparently we get to we get to participate in the festival and jump up. Yep. There's some weird platforming challenges around. Like jump, jump for my amusement now. <laughs> How many moves do we got now? That sort of new Dauntless. Uh, One hundred and seven moons. Slowly but surely. I'm gonna go to the Snow Kingdom next, but before I move on, I want to participate in the festival because I can actually do stuff now. Yeah. <laughs> jump man, jump. Well, I am known as the Jump Man. <laughs> This is a recreation of Donkey Kong. <laughs> yes, this is my favorite part of the game. The only thing it's missing is that giant gorilla. Oh, wait for it. Walking on the ceiling. <laughs> okay. Is this festival just for Mario, I wonder? Yes. By the way, you can do this over and over again to grind coins. Oh, nice. Mario, we, we just made this festival just to celebrate the time I got kidnapped by a giant gorilla. <laughs> Mighty Mayor Joe Young. Mayor Pauline, you spent 500,000 coins on this? Yes, but I, re I revamped the electricity system. Fair enough. It's, it's electricity powered by moons. Oh my god. Yes! This is amazing! What about the orphans? Who cares? You're looking at Mario Chum! Now shush! <laughs> Oops. And come on, I died. I was never very good at Donkey Kong. Oh, I gotta start from the beginning again. All right, come on, Jump Man. You have to prove that you're better than Wreck-It Ralph. Right. 
Hello? Can you hear me better now? A little bit. It needs to be a little bit louder. Hang on. I'm adjusting. Okay, that should be good, because I'm right in front Ooh, of it and it's Your maxed. ideas are intriguing to me, and I wish to subscribe to your newsletter. Uh, Link9635, thank you for the follow. Alrighty, I'm going I'm going to be jumping. Come on, coin, 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 coin. Video's not being picked up on the mic, is it? Uh no, not that I know of. Cool. Yeah, you sound much clearer now. Yeah, because I plugged in my mic. Mic check, mic, mic. <laughs> Go on, jump man. Hey Ari, how's it going? I miss you. So, since they have a Mario 3D game, and a Link 3D game. Do you think there'll be another Donkey Kong 3D game? Maybe. Like Donkey Kong 64? Isn't it? Uh, isn't Ari it? You can uh, join the call now. Yeah, I'd have to ask. I have to um, bring her in. Hold on one second. Yeah. Uh, I can go since you have three people again. All right. Thank you. Okay. Yep. Curse. Don't forget Bye. to from the, the group. Nice uh, talking to you all. You too. Alright, and add in R. Alright. <clears throat> We've been going for seven hours. Doing good. Oh, there's Donkey Kong. <laughs> I mean, it is New Donk City after all. Yep. Ow. I defeated the Donkey Kong. Yay. I'm dedicating this festival to you. We can have done it without your help. Okay. You probably could have, but... And we got a multi-moons. You, you're allowed to swear, just, you know, try to keep it away from the more colorful swears. It is a charity stream, after all. Yeah, basically the rule is just be cool. Be cool, Scooby-Doo. I would like to get another Donkey Kong game in there, like, uh, perhaps something, maybe a hybrid of, like, Donkey Kong 64 and Country. Hey, Chiaki, yeah. do you want to bask in the sunlight, or are you going to join me on my lap? And we have 110 moons. <laughs> All piss and cakes. All right, let's set sail to the next kingdom. Cool, we got choices. Uh, we're, I chose the Snow Kingdom. Okay, that one has the be has uh, the best music in the uh, in the Snow Village area. I wish I could hear it. <laughs> it's pretty good. You should, you should look up the soundtrack after the stream. Hmm. Ari, where are you? I 
I know how to do a backward somersault. Come on. Oh, they, they wanted a cake from this city. Okay. Oh, it's a cake. I'm a little bit wary about the next Spider-Man game, to be honest. Simply because the DLC felt rushed, and I don't like what they did with Yuri. Like, I don't mind bringing it in that direction. I just don't like that they did it so quickly, and it felt forced. Hi. Sup, fuckers? <laughs> Hello. How you what are fucking assholes doing tonight? Ari. Uh, doing I know okay. you... You said no colorful language. I'm allowed to say fuck. Fuck you. Fair. Fair. Uh, fuck you. You married this shit. Ari. Nah. Yes. Yeah, see, this is why it's a fucking mistake to have me back. I honestly god thought I would never fucking be back surrounded by you assholes. <laughs> Ari, why do you gotta be like this when you're on my friends? Because I'm tired <laughs> and I'm pretty fucking uneasy, so just let me swear as much as I want, please, because oh my god, I... I have been scared shitless all day. <laughs> uh, so yeah, fuck you. <laughs> Not right no. now. We're we're live on stream. Bitch, I will get us banned. Fuck being live. <laughs> Baby, this is for charity, so no. Uh, you have a point there. Also, okay, but you what if the charity is about sex? <laughs> no cop. <laughs> then it would wouldn't be on here. Um, but anyway, as as I was saying earlier on in the stream, Ari pledged to, to uh, donate $100 to the Trevor Project, so uh, that's why she's not being punished right now. Yeah, I, I can't do it on the air because I still don't have my debit card, but I went to the bank today, so I may either just do it, like, tomorrow and put the money on my disposable card, and donate and send a screenshot of, of the receipt to Zen, or I may be saving that money for therapy. I don't fucking know. Welcome to Shiveria Town. The music in here is like the fucking Hobbit. It's great. <laughs> hey, Rom. How's it going? Hope you are doing well, you beautiful son oh, of oh, a bitch. You gotta see what's in the Crazy Cap store. There's some fun stuff. I just can't... I mean, I know that this is like a short game, but I still can't believe... Your dumbass made it this fucking far. I'm sorry for calling yeah, you a no, dumbass. I'm, 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 I'm with sorry you. for like, calling you a dumbass. Even, <laughs> I'm so sorry. even with this game's like, I, he, she is s s crushing. You this. weren't supposed to do that. Oh god. <laughs> well, what? how are you gonna get to that moon? How are you gonna get to that moon now? Ari, stop I'm that. I'm trying really hard here. Give me. <laughs> no backseat I'm gaming. I'm trying really Keep fucking in mind, hard. We're also here. dealing with a delay, so. By the time you see you ask how, she's probably already done that. Yep. Yeah, I've. I'm and like I just got the moon. Done fucking 100 percenting this game. I only have like a few more moons left, and then there's like a batch of purple the coins. No, there's, I'm I'm like stuck on the fucking seaside kingdom. There's a batch. I only need her like three more purple coins to move on, and I'm just like, where the fuck are these? Yeah. All right. Um. But anyway. Uh. I. We we have over 110 moons now. We've been doing pretty well actually. Uh, if it was about sex, it would be a very short stream. Honey. Honey. You know, I'm going to con- I, I kinda- I kinda don't want to comment on that. But I also don't give a shit. But at the same time- okay, you know what, fuck it. It wouldn't be a short stream if me and Zan was going at it. Alright. Fair. Let's see what's in the thing. That is I'm all. buying boxer shorts, just because- <laughs> Oh, you're using- you're wearing them in the snow kingdom? Yes. Oh, that's a bad idea. That's a very, that's a horrible idea. That's like making Link run around fucking snow parts of the map naked. I already did that. Uh, because, because this time it's not, it's not a gameplay effect. It's just funny. You're going to freeze your ass off. No, you're going to freeze your dick off. No, actually, you're going to freeze your balls off. And you don't have those anymore. <laughs> you don't even have those! <laughs> but let's see what's in the purple. What's in the so purple? So we can know what to get. Okay. Oh, we we don't have any there. purple coins. And... Uh, but yeah, I've been me. I've been blazing through this game right now. Like I have uh, quite a lot of moons. There is a reason why this game is currently one of the most speed ran on Twitch. Oh yeah, the speed running is amazing in this. So we got Snow Hood. Never fucking bothered, cause I don't fucking care. 
Yeah, nothing perfect, but... I, I'm just running around uh, in Mario booty. Mario has nipples. Uh, oh, look, wanna... he's shivering. <laughs> he's actually shivering. <laughs> I would ask you, why the fuck? But then I know why the fuck, because I'm fucking marrying you, so... <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> I'm still mad at you, by the way. What did I do? You named fucking Joker after me, you ass. After your butt in the final I playthrough had to we won. I that fucking story again today, and I was like, <laughs> I'm marrying this fucking shit. Ladies and gentlemen, the shit I have to go through. <laughs> Don't you sit there looking all innocent, you piece of shit. I hate you. I am innocent. No, no, the fuck you aren't. <laughs> I am nothing but a pure, innocent little girl. Bitch, shut your hoe ass up before <laughs> I come down there. I swear to God, Zenim. I'm naked in the, in the water. <laughs> this is just wrong on so many levels. Mario, get your act together. Mario, I know you want to join the nudist colony, and to that I say more power to you. First spider booty in on this. For the record, I think we should have changed the hat as well. I mean, shit, if Mario wasn't chasing fucking Peach Booty for all these fucking years, he would seriously have some hoes on his dick. That's all I'm saying. Get yourself a girl like Ari. True. She's tough. She's she's from 8 Mile. I am unfortunately from 8 Mile. I hate it. <laughs> Don't come here. For, she's from Hate Mile. I am from Hate Mile. Hate <laughs> Mile is a much better word for it, actually. <laughs> like, fuck. Uh, Go, oh. do not... Even going to the bank here is a fucking adventure. <laughs> It is. It's not fun. Like, I literally, like, saw a guy yelling at a woman to go. <laughs> and she was just waiting for the fucking cars. And he's like, go, move your fucking ass. It's like, dude, do you want her to get into an accident, asshole? Maybe he does. You don't know. I was sure though. I want him to after fucking that. Shit, I might be the cause of it, but at the Shut same time... Shut up, Phil. I'm perfect. totally innocent. <laughs> How about you shut up? Because you and I both know that you're not. <laughs> <laughs> Look, all I'm saying is there's a reason why I'm not getting the fucking toy that I wanted for you. <laughs> I'm scared. But before you before you go in that pipe, uh there is a ledge you can climb. Yep, I I just got there. Okay. See, then, this and is why I you kicked me off the channel in the first place. I didn't kick you off the channel, you left. Oh yeah. But this is why you don't invite me back. <laughs> it wasn't my idea. It was Rosen's idea. But uh, it wasn't, Rosen, it wasn't you my idea. You, you asked. Okay, you know what? All of you motherfuckers fucked up. Okay, I'm placing the blame on each and every one of you. I mean, except that's... for except for Casey and Tifa. They're nice. Yeah, but fuck the rest of y'all. I hate y'all. What did I do? <laughs> Marry you <know> me. You <laughs> uh, guys. And you named Joker after my butt. Oh, also, you didn't play Ace Attorney. Oh, and then, guess what I found out on the way down to fucking Rhode Island last, a few weeks ago? This motherfucker still hasn't played The Last of Us. Oh, ne neither have I, but in my defense, I just now got a PS4. Okay, well, yeah, that's in your defense, but she's had one for God knows how long it still hasn't fucking played. Ari, can and you I stop fighting with me, please? Also, I, rec I, I vote that <laughs> Phoenix Wright becomes the next uh, Sunday slot after Spider Booty's done. Please and thank you. Well, I, would be so I thought I thought the Sunday that. slot was actually going to be uh, Borderlands. Uh, I thought it was New Vegas. Ace Attorney sounds better than both of those. Yeah, I agree. Like Ace Attorney sounds mild, miles better than both of those. <laughs> miles better? Oh God damn it! I set myself up for that. Uh, why do you yeah, guys put that, up with? Plus, that's a stream where we can do voices. Why do you put up with me? That is the real question. Also, you can do voices. I'm not fucking coming back after this. <sighs> Jesus Christ. I mean, I know that, like, fucking Zen's gonna have fun voicing, uh, Maya. Mia. Fuck. I forgot. Both. <laughs> uh, she's voiced by Colin Clankenbeer in a dub. My waifu. Why? <laughs> fucking why? Damn it. Oh, fuck. Fuck no, like she's playing fucking XCOM. You got her fucked up. I mean, I think you do. I don't know. I Say, like, play I like strategy games. It's XCOM, though. Isn't that, like, scary bad? No, no it's, it's like sci-fi. Scary bad sci-fi, right? I don't know. 
If you love her, you don't want to get kicked out of the stream. Fuck, she can kick me out anytime she wants and I won't be mad. I mean, I'm just being honest here. Fuck. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, have you fucking seen me? <laughs> no, I have not. Uh, ho? Zenith? Say that again with a straight face, please. I can't do anything straight. <laughs> Say that again with a gay face, please. No, I'm, I'm dead ass serious. Say that again. Say it again, please and thank you. <sighs> Alright, can I please play the game? <laughs> no, no, just say that again. Say that again. What do you mean you haven't seen me? Ari. Hmm? Ari. Hmm? <laughs> I will kick you out of the stream. <laughs> cool. You thoroughly, you like, you thoroughly forget how many fucks I give. A mistake can cost you the entire game. And there we go. Uh, anyway. Uh, my girlfriend, everybody. Yep. Hmm. Now I have to navigate this kingdom. Ari, you couldn't just be good for like five minutes? Like... <laughs> Maybe I'm a Windico. There you go. So yeah, you're gonna want to find uh, a way to get the wind person over there to, to blow it, to blow that. Uh, I'm trying. I'm trying. that that way and then now I gotta take this guy ow white he's blowing away my hat it's not fair yep. okay Pound X, we got a moon. I'm assuming that's the pizza. That's the pizza. Oh, Mario is getting all red. He is yeah. shivering. <laughs> Got a moon. So many moons, so little time. Mario Jumpman Mario. <laughs> yep. I thought his name was Mario Mario. No, his middle name is Jumpman. I was making a joke about the movie. Oh, yeah. Well, it, it was combining both. <laughs> I'm walking right through the snow. As Mario freezes his nipples off.
And we have more Brutals. This guy again? I, I just beat you last time. Oh yeah, yeah. Now that now they're harder though. Uh, there's a there's a boss or there's a area where you have to fight all four of the, all four of them in a row, but they're all harder and in one life. I see. As we slowly move along. Come on. Right. Why do you have so many hats? And I died. Okay. Let us try this again. Patterns changing. Yep. Yep. There we go. And Well, they certainly got the harder part down. Yeah. I'll be right back. All right. And a bird just hit the window outside my apartment. Okay. <laughs> One more time. There we go, I need that heart. Okay, I'm back. Welcome back. That's two hits. Come on. One more hit. Really? Uh, it's gonna be Borderlands after Spider Booty. <laughs> All right, come on. Ari, you know you already know what I want. I want for you to be nice. But we can't have nice things. Now can we? <laughs> and don't and don't you dare say since when I was I nice cuz I'll I'll pull out all the examples. The fact that you're doing 100 fucking dollars. Yeah. Like, come on, baby. Stop being a sundere. These ice physics are... Uh. Yeah, 
I could have done without the ice physics. Ari, <laughs> you know what I want. And I died. All right. Oh wait, there's something here. Oh, that's just a coin. Pfft. I thought it was a moon. There we go, that's one. Okay, rolling does help. Yeah. Ah, oh, come on! Ari, if I let you back in the call, will you be nice? Later on, uh, and I got hit while I was not paying attention. Alright, let Ari back in the call. You gotta do that. <sighs> okay, let me... I, oh wait, oh wait, I can do it, I can do it. Uh, no I cannot, apparently. <laughs> okay. Sorry, I'm, I'm trying to pay attention to two things at once. It's just... Ugh. Yeah, I get it. All right, so... What are we at? Nine people? I'm going to take a moving group. Where are we going to keep Omega in the thing? No, the... If she wants... If she uh, ends up coming back in, she's going to message okay. me. But right now, we're good. We have been going for yeah, over seven yeah, hours. Yeah, you could. Yeah, you could. What's that? Uh, being nice, fine. Uh, I, I love you, baby. I just... I want people to know how nice you are. I am um, the furthest thing from nice, especially today. So... For me? Also, okay, yes for you, but also it means nothing that I'm donating 100 to charity. I mean, Fair I'm enough. more than happy to look. I'm more than happy to donate to charity. I will donate to charity whenever I can. So that means absolutely nothing, cause I always try to do it. So yeah, <laughs> if you lose your example, try again. You love me. That's something nice. Yeah, mm. but that's I just love you. That's not me being nice. That's me being genuine because I love you and I really want to make you my wife. So there you go. Will you be nice for me though? <sighs> yes, Zeno. <laughs> For once, I will be nice. And I actually managed to defeat the the brutal. Thank Congratulations, you, yeah. you beat the annoying asshole. Yeah, he, I do not he, like them. He's one of the more annoying ones. The other ones were actually pretty easy. I, they're just so annoying to me. And then you get to the fucking Bowser Kingdom, and I'm not gonna spoil that fight, but I was just, oh my god, I hate you, I hate you, I hate you. All right, looks like we have one more thing to do in this in this new uh, donk snow area also you can't see me buying you things as me being nice that's not me being nice that's me wanting to spoil you because i love you and you're my wife 
You see how much she is a sundere. <laughs> I have Shut to. Up, I, I have to constantly manage her, and I promise you, she has this outdoor appearance, and she's gonna get all embarrassed, and she's gonna start saying stuff. But I know deep down that she's the best girl ever. So I'm. She's wrong. I apologize. She's wrong. She's so wrong. She's the furthest thing from wrong. The furthest thing, furthest thing from wrong is right. Uh, I hate you. <laughs> <laughs> stop being right. You're wrong, so stop being right. <laughs> By the way, this is being broadcast to Facebook as well, so everyone's seeing that you're amazing. Uh, see, this is why I don't. Hey, ugly come and to pink. How's it going? This is why I don't fucking come to these streams. <laughs> because look at you, you're just sitting there on camera, all fucking cute as shit, like everybody's gonna fucking notice, and I'm just gonna be here, fucking look at your adorable goddamn face, and I just wanna punch it. See, that's that's her niceness right there. She loves me. Oh, evidently. <laughs> <laughs> I hate y'all. Y'all suck. <laughs> mm. We can <laughs> I I'm a I'm a Goomba with a Santa hat. Then it stop. <laughs> <laughs> Can't stop, really? won't stop. Uh, I don't like you. I'm gonna come over. I'm gonna steal Phrasing. all your anime. You're not gonna get any of it back. Phrasing. I'm not I'm not gonna buy you anything anymore. We're gonna stay home in bed. For Christmas. So wait, we need for to get up there. Hmm. Oh shit! Wait, did I did I tell you that I took fucking Black Friday off of work? I did. Yeah. Okay. By the way, that's my grandma's birthday, so you might be spending uh, some time with my grandma on her birthday if she doesn't die of a heart attack. <laughs> <laughs> when she realizes that you're gay. When she realizes that you're white. <laughs> Well then, okay, moving on. <laughs> yeah, that was bad. <laughs> I mean, at this point, a lot of people have already seen the fucking ring. <laughs> Except my grandmother. And I wear it around her, she just never asks questions. Yeah. Are you sure she can see the ring? <laughs> yeah, no, my grandma is really able-bodied. She's really capable. She's very active. She moves around a lot. I was like, she's she can see the rings in it. She doesn't wear glasses or anything. She's like still in her seventies. <laughs> I'm gonna miss her when I move. So yeah, we're making her a cake. Well, I'm making her a cake. You're just gonna sit there and watch. <laughs> okay. I just gotta know what cake to make her because I want to make it pink. But then I think, oh wait, no, I want to save pink cakes for you because well, I know you're gonna like pink cakes. Well, you know what they say: it's a piece of cake to bake a pretty cake. I'm trying so fucking hard here right now not to finish that. <laughs> <laughs> Give me a minute. <laughs> so don't be hasty. Damn it! <laughs> Gotta do the cooking by the book. <laughs> <laughs> ah, choke it down. Choke it down, Ari. Don't, don't say the catchy song. <laughs> okay, I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. I hate you. <laughs> I really hate you. <laughs> You're the meanest person I know. <laughs> also, congratulations, you got a moon. Yeah, I got a moon. Also, if you want to see more of these antics, please, uh, please, you know, donate to the trans charity that we're this stream is all about. Trevor Project I... link is down below. Never mind, I'm just gonna keep that comment to myself. Any little bit helps. Even if Ari won't admit it. Yep. No, I'll admit it. A little bit, like, a dollar can go a long way when it comes to charities. Even if you think it's not enough, it's helping a lot. Like, my dad used to work as a... doing social work, and he would <laughs> do it for children. Because he just, he just wanted, you know, kids in our area to have a nice home, and... Being from Detroit, I say all the time, there's a lot of kids that should have never been bored. A lot of yeah. kids who don't have their fathers who are living in deadbeat households are being yeah. raised by their grandmas so 
even if you think it's like super small, like a dollar is small, a anything helps. Trust me, I've seen this shit with my own eyes. It doesn't matter the amount. It just matters that you did something out of the kindness of your heart mm -hmm. for yeah, any totally. charity. Exactly. Oh, no. And the reason um, why we're supporting this specific charity is because, uh, you know, I got my orchiectomy. I'm in my transition. And obviously, you know, this is something I feel very passionate about. Um, so if you want to help out, you can also donate. Right now we're up to $144. So, uh, you know. Weirdly enough, I, I've, I've known someone who's had an orchiectomy before, but this is the first time I've known someone who's had it for, for transition purposes. Yeah, yeah like if, it's if a normal really... procedure. It's, uh, no, it's, it's had, a very uh, normal procedure. Like yeah, because if you have cancer or te te testicular torsion or other things Your like balls get damaged too much honestly i'm surprised i didn't get it sooner because i actually had a hydra seal which is uh i used to do karate a lot and i got kicked in the nuts a lot oh god <laughs> so i had a hydra seal repair and i'm kind of wishing i just got rid of them earlier but back then i didn't know um i got punched in the boob a lot <laughs> when i was playing basketball <laughs> so i know how much it hurts so uh, it hurts i realized how I realize how white I am when I say this. Don't. What? I was going to say, behold the caucasity of this product that, that I was just... <laughs> the caucasity. To. Damn. White, spam. white people, white people acting up, white people at it again. <laughs> Goddamn. Yeah, okay. Pumpkin spice spam, that's apparently a thing now. Pumpkin spice spam? Okay, who the fuck did that? I'm going to kill them. Um, spam. Like, the spam company. I'm going to kill them. <laughs> Uh, Ari. They deserve to die. They are made true evil. The world going, is better off without that evil. You're going to have to fight uh, the entire uh, Pacific Islands because most of the, most of spam like spam got huge, hugely popular thanks to the Polynesian islands. Bitch, I'm from Detroit. I'm pretty sure I had my Rambo card checked as soon as I was born into this city. I did am you ready. see Hobbs and Shaw? I yes, did. We did. I, I loved it. It was so stupid, but so fun. So fucking dumb. We loved it. It was our all couple's. Is, it was our couple flick. Oh. <laughs> all I know is Roman Reigns hit all his moves, and he didn't talk at all. I want to go see Detective Pikachu again, babe. We we definitely need to. I can feel it in my jellies. I can feel it in my jellies too. I, I'll make well, a deal wait, can with you. you? Yes, I can. Well, I don't have my jellies anymore. Um, yeah, exactly. That's why it makes no sense. Let, let me make a deal with you. We'll go see it twice if you can be good for the rest of the stream. It's not even going to be in theaters anymore. At, buy the Blu-ray. Yeah, we'll buy the Blu-ray. Yeah, exactly. So be good. <laughs> Perfect okay, well, if, if you really want me to shut up... Uh, no, I don't want you girl... to shut up. I just want you to No, no, no. Be look, good. Look, if you really want me to shut the fuck up, your girl, of course, is very passionate about sex ed, so I can, like talk about that because i've been doing i i know quite a bit about hormones and orchiectomies and the effects and all that so mm -hmm. if you want some information then i can shut I mean, the i'm not up opposed to that about that yeah I'm right. i mean that's part of I mean, why did i did this stream about it i, I started off the you? stream on um, like back at 12 p.m we have been going for seven and a half hours no, wow. i'm talking about did you talk about the medical side of the procedure and how it affects the human body and none altogether I don't believe we did no we talked about like what it does but we didn't like talk about the hormones and stuff so oh boy it is so a fun look topic it is a fun topic look at him oh god he's so cute though he is like the cutest i think you need to tap him oh okay i see i, I see so sorry I, I i didn't realize that we needed to take the racer to the end of the race i was just busy doing yeah, stuff he has no confidence the poor little bean hold on yep. okay but if you want to talk medical oh boy it's a fun it's a fun subject i'm not gonna lie yay hormones uh one second because fuck me i fucking have God, I don't even know what I am anymore. Wait, go back to the go back to the cute bean. I'm go, go I'm going. The... Sorry, I, I had to message one of the guests. I just want to stare at his face and his chubby cheeks. Hi, sugar. We're, I'm gonna stare at my dog's face. We're gonna be rolling. It, this is a a corn song. You're thinking Limp Biscuit. Limp Biscuit. Sorry. 
I was thinking of Chameleon Air. It's Raiden. Hi. I don't know. It starts out with they see me rolling, yeah. Jewel says, pet her and love her. That is a message from my dog, ladies and gentlemen. She says, <laughs> pet me and rub me and love me. Yes, that's right. Let, let's I'm race. Talking about you. you must not oh, race in this race. Oh, she has her head in my lap. I'm so happy. You're going to race as the, yeah. Yep. Oh, hi, sugar. Sometimes I wish this dog was as small as Chiaki, just so I could hold her. See? <laughs> this is why I, we have to have then these I think, dogs. Nah, I don't like small dogs. I'm a big girl. I like big dogs. I want big dogs. I'll hold kitties. Kitties? are so much fun to hold, even though I can't fucking do it right and I scare the shit out of them. Alright, so dog this is see where the, uh, the Royal Rumble pawn is at. Alright, quit training. Let's try the real race. Baby, I want a dog. Mm -hmm. Can we talk about this afterwards? But I want yep. a German Shepherd! Goddamn, they're at $13,000. Dang. I want a German Shepherd. Please. Let me have one. Ari, let me finish the race first. You're not even racing, you're training. No, I'm not. Yes, you are. Now you're racing. Okay, but baby, what if we got a Doberman? <laughs> baby. And? <laughs> we got a Doberman, and we name her... Uh, Dobermans are usually black. Huh. I kind of just want to name her Dog. <laughs> sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. Dog meat? No, no, no. Okay, have you seen Good Omens? No. Uh, yes, yes. I saw the first episode. Yeah, okay. So, like, the d there's a dog in the show, and the kid, Adam, names, literally fucking names the dog. It's a dog, dog yeah. <laughs> so I'm just I, uh, like, dude, I want to get a dog and just fucking name it Dog. I, Why I the hell was, not? I, th I think it was the movie Airborne. The dog. Hey, Dog Dog. <laughs> hey moon moon god damn it oh my god like okay, you literally just get a dog name it dog dog i did you it have to name it dog in a foreign language so you're yeah. just like inu and then what's the like inu and what's the spanish word for dog Pero. inu yeah. better <laughs> yeah so his name is literally just dog dog i i, I prefer moon moon dog dog all right we got a multi-moon Dog dog. <laughs> Congrats, you got a moon. This moon is called Disappoint Your Parents. Fuck them. One second, guys. My guests are talking to us. Oh, hey, Cannon Busters is on Netflix now. Yep. And yet, I'm still having a thrilling Tuesday. Uh, Netflix, why? Fucking bullshit. Fucking bullshit. Fucking we waited how fucking long for goddamn Violet uh, Evergarden? No, 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 the other one. Besides Violet Evergarden. The other one, okay, besides okay. Takiko Rui and <clears throat> Violet Evergarden, what's the one I'm thinking of? Fuck. Too fucking many. Let's go with that. Yeah, too fucking many. Alright, our Why guests are probably going to be on the stream relatively soon. How many do we have in nine? Um, I, I'm determining whether or not they're going to be using the same uh, Discord, but we'll see. Ooh, do we need, uh, Aaron hasn't shown up yet, so we're going to remove him if we need be. Okay. Hi, sugar. Hi, sugar. Okay. Wait, 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 class. What am, I, what am I saying? My dog is just like, hey, rub my belly. <laughs> and that's all I'm doing, so I'm distracted right now. Okay, okay, God, why are you, why are you pawing my arm? Please, sugar, jewel, God. Mm-hmm. Okay, but Zenith, 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 listen to me. Hear me out here. Hear me out here. What if we got a black lab? Okay. Or a Great Dane. I want a Great Dane. Actually, it's no, I, I don't want a Great Dane. I want a black lab. I, like I want a chocolate lab. I like labs in general. I want a Golden Retriever, too. Zen, let's get all three and a Doberman. As long He's as not answering, so I'll take it as a yes. <laughs> as long as we can manage it, I'm fine with that. Mm, like wherever we might be moving to, we might have four cats and a dog. 
Oh god, what do? Please help. I need to help my dog get used to cats so she doesn't kill any cats. I'm serious, somebody please help. Help me, god, please. Joel, what am I gonna do with you? Mm -hmm. Joel, 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 Joel. Please? Don't kill oh, cats. Like, because already in the group. Yeah, but they're using different discords. Oh, okay. Yeah, I just added him to the group. He's gonna be coming in relatively soon. Yeah. So I'm saying you didn't need to remove some... Oh, yeah, no, we're good. Yeah, Bye. we're good. The whole world must learn of okay. our peaceful ways. By force. Thank you for the host bag logged, Ozzy. Uh, and now we're going back to the game. Where were we? We were talking about our Doberman <laughs> that I want. Uh, I love you, baby. Please. If I can have three cats, you can have what you want. Yay! Wait, no, we're getting four cats. <laughs> oh, wait, no, you're talking about our cats. Never mind. Never mind, we're not getting four cats. We're definitely not giving four cats. That's not happening. Nope, sorry. <laughs> then we're not getting three dogs. What? I don't... I said, babe... Didn't we agree? Mm, two dogs, mm, three cats? Mm, 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 two mm. dogs, three cats. That's what we said. Alright, let's okay. go to the Seaside Kingdom. Still, we said two dogs, three cats. Don't deny it. Yes, yes, we did. Thank you. Alrighty, so in a few, uh, uh, our guests are going to be joining us. And then I'm not sure about our final guests. They might be still under the weather. I will have to message them afterwards. But for the moment, um, we are getting the big guns out very soon. So stay tuned. <laughs> Why didn't you put it? You put a mustache on your avatar. I just saw this. Over 9,000 pets. Yes. All the pets. So, apparently this, this post was... Uh... Was not on what the fuck is wrong with you this week, but uh, it's still good. Bear crashes through home, quote, like the Kool Aid Man. No, wait, what the fuck? A bear got locked into somebody's car, a poor little baby bear, and now this shit. Ba Bears, Bears are evolving. The They're evolving. <laughs> what the fuck? You know how I found out, found this out though, <laughs> from the Kool Aid Man Twitter. I I am slowly but surely becoming more scared of bears. <laughs> yeah, all this shit they've been going through. It's like, dude, they're gonna take over and destroy us all. Mm -hmm. <laughs> all right, let's see. We have a lot of stuff in this kingdom. See, this is the perfect kingdom to run around in your underwear in. That's all oh, I'm saying. This is that kingdom. Bear it this all. This is home to beach volleyball, which is the other hardest moon. I thought it was home to nudity, and also, yes, fuck the beach volleyball trophy. I still like, don't have that bitch. Here's why beach volleyball and the jump rope are so hard. Fuck them. For jump That's rope, why. you have to do a hundred jumps in a row without hitting the rope. Fuck it. And for I got a moon. Yeah, for beach volleyball, you have to uh, hit a hundred pa passes a hu uh, without letting the ball drop. Fuck that even more. Yeah, it's really difficult. All of it. It is like getting pounded in the ass in the worst goddamn way. I I, can't, I hate that moon. Can you tell? I really, really hate that moon. I, I've been trying for months, and I still don't have that son of a bitch. Oh my fucking god. Also, Jewel says that she's not satisfied with over 9,000 pets. We have to go more. Chiaki has been further. sleeping my arms three times, like, actually maybe four times the stream. I think she's satisfied with that many pets. <laughs> Jewel will never be satisfied with pets. Also, I'm proud of you because you're starting to get used to Jewel, and you pet her a lot, and you tell her that you love her. Yeah. All right, we're at 123 moons. One, two, three. Yep. So, uh... Congratulations, you can count. Uh, by the way, Ari, um, would our guests join in? Um, would you mind rotating for a little bit, just so we peace, can... Peace, bitch. <laughs> wait, 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 has... I said peace, bitch, by the way. Has Nash been on? Because I want to yell at him. Not yet. He I is... I need to yell at him. He might still be, uh, incapacitated because... Damn it. He's, was he was very him. sick. Why I was hoping to yell at him. You don't get to yell at him. 
Yes, I do. I have to yell at him. I just have to say, you son of a bitch, your show is so entertaining. My girlfriend listens to it literally every fucking time she comes to pick me up from Detroit. I hate you, you asshole. <laughs> okay. <laughs> and, like, is, I, I literally to... never heard of Radio Dead Air since, like, the first fucking time it came to pick me up from Detroit. And I was like, what the fuck is this shit? This is, like, the worst of humanity and I can't stop listening. And I, I, I've been listening ever since, but now I'm just like, I need to yell at this fucker. I have the chance. I just need to fucking yell at him. I need to scream at him and call him what he is, a true son of a bitch. Um, that is all. Okay. That, that, that sound you hear is Casey going to work. Have a good day at work. Yeah, the, the con crud has really taken, like, he and Griff um, told me that they would like to come. It's just, it all depends on their uh, mental states. Yeah, and, I know that feel. Um, so, you know, if not, I might ask, uh, see if, uh, God, uh, uh, see if um, Suede will join us, but he's on a different time zone, so. Hi, Sugar. Hi, Sugar. What? <laughs> Oh god, okay, that noise you hear is my dog. She is very annoyed at me right now. <laughs> she's very energetic. Yeah, she got a short walk because it's gonna rain, so she's like, she has energy, because I couldn't walk her for very long. Hi. Please calm down. Oh, hey, calm down. Down, sugar. There, okay. There. There you go. Oh, I just remembered. This area is home to the, the Gushin. The what? The Gushin. That sounds and like a I sex just name. died. Sounds like a sex term. Okay, Jewel is very upset at me. She's doing a tilt dump. <laughs> I'm annoying my wife right now. Come join. Uh, Ari knows yeah, how to cool. make the best message. <laughs> Um, are you? Sh I don't think so. I just think it's because I really don't give a fuck. I don't know. All right. Um, let me use my map. I'm gonna try to get the more obvious moons right now because some of these are getting a little bit hard. <laughs> wait, you're not even. Oh wait, yeah, yeah, you are gonna be the one. Bye, sugar. Ow, ow. What's she doing? What is she doing? Oh no, I just got hit by uh, Goombas. Okay, uh, change that. What is my dog doing? Because she literally just dumbed down with a heavy thud, and now she's just chewing at her ball because she's very mad at me for not paying attention to her. Oh, yeah, see, the Gushin is the Admiral in Bowser's Navy. That seriously sounds like a sex term. Like, hey, yeah. how's your vagina doing? It's the Gushin. Yeah. I'm, like, I'm afraid you have a bad case of the Gushin. You're going to need to get a penicillin immediately. I'm afraid you have a bad case of the gushing. Only this dick can cure it. Alright, seashells. Seashells. What do you need those for? Uh, those are the special coins. Each oh, each okay. kingdom has different ones. I was going to set up a obscure Dr. Stone joke there, but okay. Because you still haven't seen that show, unfortunately. And I'm behind on it. Uh, I'm talking Mainly about because her. I watch with a group, and Rabbit's dead. Uh, I'm like, <laughs> I'm like waiting, cause we're still not done with Dragon Maid. But once we finish Dragon Maid, it's back to Yu Yu for a bit, and then after yeah, that, we the the thing we did with not, Yu Yu Hakusho doing show, show until we finish Yu Yu, cause it's it's a long. They're both long series. Yeah, yeah cause sure. right now we finished the Ma the Beast of Maze Castle arc. So next is the uh, the tournament arc. That the, takes okay. half of the goddamn show. What the fuck? Yeah, it does. I, I need to showcase a Yu Yu Hakusho. And Mob uh, Psycho 100, because I just started watching that. That's real good. I'm going to show her that, too. I'm just like, okay, after Dragon Maid, I don't know if I want to get back to Spice and Wolf with her or if I'm going to show her Mob Psycho. And I definitely want to introduce her to Vinland Saga. But it's like, oh my um, fucking god, there's so much good fucking anime. Fire Force, she hasn't is, real seen yet. Fire Force, Fire Force is really is good. Fire Force is super fucking good. Fire Force okay. is really fucking good. Do you know the deal with the Goomba and the red hat? Yeah, you have to bring um, uh, Goombas that, up yeah. there. Uh, She's horny. Pretty much. Uh, yeah, like, there's been a ton of great shows. Like, I've been interested in, I'd say, 
like nine of the ten shows Jeff Theory recommended this this season, and the other, the other, only reason I'm not watching the other one is because I don't have Funimation. I have just been on like fucking Fire Force, Vinland Saga, and Doctor Stone. Spice and Wolf is no amazing. Duh, no duh for me because those yeah. are like the shows I've been looking forward to all year. But I have to, I have to check out a uh, given because that's the Yaoi show this year. Yeah. I yeah. have heard of the humongous entertainment games. Um, I yeah. play. I grew up playing Putt Putt Pokin uh, Poke Nut Case. Um, I do really not like anime that takes place in high school. But when it has like less of a focus on school life and fucking bullshit <laughs> relationships between Rugrats, I don't mind <laughs> as much. <laughs> what? What happened? I just shot a giant cork and hit the octopus in oh, the yeah. face. We're waiting more on octopus kind. <laughs> so, so though. this is Splatoon. I My mean, straw. Splatoon was like, you know, you feel more bad for the octopuses because you played a DLC, and it's like, yeah. So, does that stop the um, spiked balls from here? No, it doesn't. No, uh, you have to actually beat the boss. Like, you got to do that four, three more times. Okay, so in, in um, I'll wait to do the Goomba till after we beat the boss then. Oh no, he hot. He pissed and hot. <laughs> oh no, she's hot. But uh, yeah, um, I played Putt Putt and Fatty Bear when I was a kid. Um, Freddy Fish and Pajama Sam less so, but I did love um, Freddy Fish because I remember there was one that I I placed. It was like. There were pirates in it. I can't remember, but I loved it. Monkey Island. No, no, no. There was a. Uh, it was a Freddy Fish game, but there was pirates. Oh, oh, Nintendo it. fucked up bad. So I don't know if we discussed this this morning, but uh, Nintendo people are mad at them because they are in their infinitely badness of the internet. Oh, I heard about this. The copyright shit. The yeah, okay. they're copyright shredding any. Uh, not anything with video game music in it, but any. Song where it's YouTube thing where it's just the, the song, you know. Uh, and then YouTube is all like, "Oh, we're gonna fix this shit." Like, yeah, YouTube, go ahead and fix your fucking bullshit fucked up site. You yeah, YouTube's doing like shit. a bright Chrome system. Yeah. And the, but uh, but then they asked today, some uh, the Nintendo UK asked, "What's your favorite piece of music from the Legend of Zelda series?" The remixes, all of them, yeah, every but... single last one. And like, by that oh, I mean, like, seriously, every fucking Zelda song ever from both the official soundtrack and the remixes, plan. all of them, repeat, loop, every time. By the way, you should talk to the people with the exclamation points above their heads because they usually give you uh, things to get moods. Okay. Right now I need uh, help, yeah. though. <laughs> all the replies are like, put your music on streaming services and we'll talk. Or, I don't know, you guys won't let me listen to any of them. <laughs> okay. Yeah. I mean, there's a reason why I'm not streaming to YouTube right now. Granted, I do have an exclusivity contract with Twitch, um, but, uh, yeah. Also, fuck Twitch. Ari, we're streaming on Twitch. <laughs> Please, don't get me banned. I'm not getting you banned. Yet. I mean, hey, look, if they're gonna stream fucking porn on Ninja's channel and not, you know, toss in Linity after allegedly throwing her cat, which I still don't know if she actually threw the cat or not, then, uh, yeah, fuck this Amazon-owned dystopian fucking site. Hey, look, site. seaweed! <laughs> Damn it. Ari. Yes? We made a promise. Ah, uh, fine. I'm gonna be nice. Thank you. No. Let me be a girl, damn it. They already did. You didn't see that official art from the Nintendo magazine? Dude, you're late as fuck. What, Linkle? Yeah. Yeah fucking like didn't she have like red hair or some shit Hot. no she just had uh braids wait no i'm talking about the one from the old ass issue of nintendo power where they literally um, had like a thin link drawing hmm. with like red hair and shit she's fucking sexy as hell dude let me pull up this picture because like this is my wallpaper one of my many fucking wallpapers all right this is not yeah, this as is easy like, as i thought this it is would be. fan art of the uh, official art so that's a thing but no this is it's fan art the official art that's all but you it's really based on the real official art uh where the fuck is it here it is like it's it's literally the same pose and the same look in the magazine Ooh, hot somebody, spring just, island. Okay. somebody just redrew it for the modern day 
but yeah, this is basically what it, it looks like in the uh, ooh, old ooh, ass wait. Nintendo Power Jim magazine. Bevins, thank you so much for the ten dollar donation. Thank you. As as always, the donations go directly to uh, the charity that we are supporting. Uh, so it looks like I need to uh, possess someone for this. Okay. Yeah, you need to clean up that hot mess. Okay. Uh, yeah, it's called Cadence of Hyrule. Pick it up. Oh, so this I is this is the flood nozzle. <laughs> Pretty much. Oh, you, that's the gushing. Again, pick up pick up Cadence of Hyrule. There you go. You, you good, fam. You good. Uh... I just really want them to make Zelda playable. That's like something Nintendo really hasn't done yet. So wait, Zelda. are we out of? Do, do you run out of water? Or? Yeah, you run out uh, of water. Yes. yes, you do. You got to go back to the ocean. Okay. In order to like refill. Okay. Go to the water, Percy. The water fuels you. All right. That's an old ass reference. Nobody will understand. Oh. Percy Jackson. God damn it. <laughs> I understand. Things. <laughs> I know things. But have you read the books or did you watch the movies? I read the books. And oh, I watched God. the movie and it's... Ah, oh, thank God. Actually, one of those fucking actors are from goddamn Detroit. Oh, and I and died. Like, Damn it. God. wonder what he's doing now. Welcome to Super Mario Sunshine 2. <laughs> uh, this one, this, this one is one of the tougher worlds. Um, no, this one isn't that difficult at all. <laughs> if you ask me, one of the tougher worlds is like Bowser's Kingdom. I haven't gone there yet, so uh, uh, comparatively, I don't know. I'm not uh, talking about you. I'm talking about my own experience. All right, baby. Anyway, <laughs> what I was saying... Philip, you're an asshole. Play it. Because I can't. So there. Fuck you. <laughs> but um, anyway, uh, so yeah, we, we have officially reached $154 donated to the Trevor Project. Thank, thank you... All for donating, especially you, Ari. Doing good and changing the world because fuck everything. Everything is fucked. Do something about it. Ooh, a hat in time is gonna be on the Switch October 18th. Yes. So it's getting a physical release. Yes. Yep. Brip Nick's fucking fan made copy of a hat in time. Nintendo killed it. What a goddamn official physical release. Oh, there's an acorn that we can plant. The question is, where do we plant it? You'll see. A a any. any acorn always goes in a pot yeah i'll yeah. give you a hint to where the one is on this world play beach volleyball there you yeah. go all right in the meantime though don't fucking ruin the acorn the acorn didn't ask for it to be ruined yeah it did no it didn't would you would you say that to goddamn korean jesus korean jesus don't have time for that shit neither does vietnamese jesus <laughs> vietnamese <laughs> Not Vietnamese Jesus, which Dear. is just Buddha, but still. <laughs> this is this is the, yeah, Buddha. This is quite the stream. Oh no! Well, Vietnamese and Korean Jesus are both from the Twenty One Jump Street movies. Yeah, uh, and uh, the Jesus Buddha thing that's from Eric Andre. And then like, it's also you can also kind of say it's from Saint Young Men, which is literally too, about yeah. Jesus and fucking Buddha, Buddha being yeah. roommates. Um, which got a fucking digital release, thank God. But still, where's my physical copies? Um, I was gonna say, oh yeah, yeah. In, in Eric on in the Eric Andre show, you need to get a move for that. You can't, you can't, you can't get in there yet, babe. You didn't clean up. You didn't fucking perform your Super Mario Sunshine duties. Yeah, you gotta clean the lava. Uh, gotta eat the lettuce. Speaking of Eric Andre, uh, yeah. <laughs> when in the intro to every Eric Andre show, he uh, he just destroys his set in various ways, and one of them was to have Jesus fight Buddha. <laughs> but I thought they were friends. Not in this universe. And he's just on the sidelines going, Yeah, Jesus, get booed. Yeah, booed, get Jesus. <laughs> Eric Andre's so fucking good. I would be just be, you know, sitting there by his bitch, rooting for Buddha. Things like that. Well, the whole thing with Eric Andre is that he intentionally makes his guests uncomfortable. Okay, Zen, here's a hint for what you can do with the gusher. Uh, it can propel you through the air very, very quickly. You just have to position yourself correctly. I know, I'm just destroying some stuff. Okay. Not yeah. like that, though. Yeah, um... 
Like, my favorite bit is when Chris Jericho was on it, and as soon as he sits down, Hannibal Burris just pulls out, like, a stack of pancakes and starts eating them and screaming, ah, nom, nom, nom. Okay, is it me, or is Eric Andre, like, the modern-day space ghost? Like, the modern-day modern live-action space ghost? Yeah. Pretty I, much. I mean, it's just, just fucking Gus sitting there, being uncomfortable, being weird, looking like dumbasses while you have just the one humorous fucking weird host. Ah, there we go. You know, you just love them. Well, that's the advantage of uh, live action, because uh, you can you can add, like, more levels of discomfort. Like, uh, they started putting fish in the vents. Oh, yeah, she's getting it. Oh, you're gonna die, though. No, I'm not. Oh, no, you didn't know die. I'm good. Are you sure? <laughs> Life's good you when you're a ninja block. I thought life was good when you're, like, gay. Oh, and there's the moon. I mean, I'm, I'm just saying, I'm pretty sure that's true. Also, what do you mean, moon? Right now I just see you collecting fucking purple coins. It's like a minute delay. Yeah, oh, I that, that moon, okay. Wait, what moon? Oh, that moon. <laughs> oh, that moon, you know. That the, fucking moon. Oh, you, oh, you, you know the- Oh, side the, show, the, Bob. You, 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 you know that the, you know, the, the moon, the poison specifically for Cusco, Cusco's poison. That poison? <laughs> I thought you were talking about, like, you know, the moon, the, the fucking moon moon that certain people like, like you, because it's attached to a certain part of the human body, and yeah. Moon moon? Moon moon. You mean the, the, the wolf? No, the moon moon. Moon moon? <laughs> yes, <Ass>! the moon moon. <laughs> Damn it! I've been streaming for eight hours, so I'm just I'm going along with this. I, and I apologize. I have completely lost my girlish voice because I've been talking for eight hours. So yes, I. I mean, who fucking cares at this point? I mean, I could do this, but it it is a little bit, you know. <sighs> I think that's bad. Or or that's how you do this for eight hours. Or. Or you can just rub the belly. Just rub the belly. That's all you can do. Just be one. Be zen with the flu. And rub the belly. And I got the moon. Speaking you got the voices, moon? That's something I could do to entertain the stream. I, uh... So, I, I, have I told you about Tag Team? Tag Team Racing? No, uh... John Page and I have a show called Tag Team, since we're both former... Oh god, Jewel, fine, here. Yeah, they they have a, a well they they're it's related to wrestling that's where the title comes from but tag team is uh, you do games together right Rosen oh I thought it was just me I was like it might be raining soon I thought nobody could hear me <laughs> again all right anyway let me fulfill my duty and actually clean this place up. Welcome to Super Mario Sunshine to Electric Boogaloo. Jeez, the new Super Mario Sunshine remake looks amazing! Uh, there's literally a fucking reference on this world. I, I mean, this entire fucking world is a reference, but then they just take it one step further with a goddamn <laughs> costume. Honestly, never play Super Mario Sunshine, but I have a feeling I'm gonna be like one of those people who really fucking likes it. If only my GameCube wasn't given to my little cousin, and it wasn't even my GameCube. Alright, so now we gotta go to these two places, alright. Is it me, or does the corks look like, I don't know, something you would find on a bottle of Jack Daniels? It, it looks like more like a wine cork. Are you sure it's like the star and the coloring? I, I don't Mmm. Mmm. It's I mean, it literally is dino. a fucking. It literally is a fucking wine cork because look at what he's on top of—a a giant fucking glass of champagne. Oh, dude, I thought that was me. Okay, well, he's out. Yeah, I think. Jewel says from my belly. Of course. And I'm back. Okay, yeah, my internet dropped for a second. There. Yeah. That's what happens when you live in fucking California. I do wish we could get a sequel or a remake, but you know. One of these days. What are we talking about? Uh, Super Mario Sunshine. Oh, yeah. There's yeah, no saying... way in hell Nintendo's gonna remake Sunshine after how poorly a lot of fans received it. 
I mean, if they did and they did the impossible and they like made I mean, it in a way where old fans who hated the game really fucking enjoy it, then Wind yeah, Waker was poorly received and they got a remake. Yeah, right. but like, God, you if they remake fucking Sunshine, they have to fix the goddamn moons. Yeah, I mean not the you moons, mean, the stars. Shines, I mean, yeah. fuck, fuck me. Shine God sprites. Damn. There we go. Um, <laughs> They're literally the same fucking thing. Yeah. So, uh, as I was saying before I got cut off, um, we, we've done some recording episodes of Pokemon Ren, uh, White, uh, no, Black Randomizer. And uh, we have done some streams of Dying Rampa. Which way did he go, George? Which way did he go? <laughs> what? Uh, I, I was. It's on the stream. <laughs> oh. Don't eat my hand. Don't eat my hand. I'm kidding. She would never do that. Chiaki might. <laughs> she was. She was busy gnawing on me earlier. God, I I cannot fucking take. Okay, this is how you know I'm not a cat person because if a cat like, you know, numbs on my hand or just sits in my lap and their claws get in my lap and my leg, I just immediately nope the fuck out. <laughs> I can't. I fucking can't. I do not have the tolerance or the threshold for that shit. I love it, especially because they're cleaner than dogs and they don't smell Okay, as much. bitch, hold the fuck up. What the fuck did you just say about my goddamn dog? Mm -hmm. I said nothing. Yeah, you did. Say it again. Mm -hmm. What the fuck did you say, Ziff? Oh, Rom Cowboy, uh, you can still check that out on our Twitch page. Yeah, the everything's archived in the VODs. They have everything up there. Can I get back to fucking, you know, annoying you? No. And fucking getting ready to kick your ass because you said something about my dog? Nope. <laughs> no, you deserve it. I already have to oh, fucking punish you. you, you you're going to punish me idea. anyway. Exactly. So let me double it, goddammit. J Jim just brought up a horrifying idea. What's it like swimming in carbonated water? Carbonated Boy, water. That sounds bad. That sounds horrible. Horrible. It's just gonna be fizzy and shit. Yeah. <laughs> That's what you- mm. <laughs> Fizzy and shit. Duh, why does that sound like a good name for something, but I don't know what- It sounds like- Not a soda name, because that's too fucking obvious. A LaCroix knockoff. Mm, no. Something else. The Lee Croy. A sex toy. A 80s no. cartoon. No, wait, yeah, could it make a good it, sex toy? Nah. Oh god, I don't want anything near my genitals that could be labeled as fizzy. Fizzy so lifting it's a, drinks? What if it's a fucking oral toy? Wait, no, that sounds worse. Okay, never mind. Yes, I'm about to say that sounds terrible. <laughs> okay, so to climb the lighthouse, you have to go underground. But I recently found out people sell fucking sex toys on Etsy, and I am both intrigued and very concerned. I mean, that makes sense. It makes a I'm shit ton of sense, but it's like, okay, what are your credentials, and can this make my pussy feel good? I got- I bought a stand arrow on Etsy. Well, that makes- it's, it's fucking Etsy, but if it's- Goddamn sex toys. I mean, I understand fucking bondage gear, but if it's a vibrator, I'm just like, okay, I am questioning everything about this. I mean, come on, y'all. Y'all. You, your girl loves toys of the adult. Oh, God, life. it's a Neil. A giant eel. Yeah, that's fine. I'm just now curling at the idea of freaking branded bondage gear. There's, some, there's something like punk rock about bondage that that uh feels like corporatizing it is just fucked up you know you say pump rock i say sexy as fuck <laughs> well no, i say punk rock you said pump rock which is a whole th different thing okay uh, but i i meant the same thing fuck you yeah yeah, yeah. not no you only <clears throat> then shut way, up before i tie you up which i'm already planning on doing but still by the way you remember the eels mario 64 they're yeah. back yeah they're back with a vengeance and wow, Mario 64 scary, remake looks amazing. Mario 64 sequel. Mario 64 2. This time it actually plays well. Okay, I gotta let my dog out of the goddamn room because she's going crazy. Hang on. Alright. Moon Moon. Do you guys hear her running? Yes. <laughs> Wait, where did she put it? Sugar, you want it? You want it? Sugar, we're going down. Sugar, sugar gay? Oh shit, oh shit, oh shit, oh shit, oh shit, oh shit, oh shit. We good, we good. Sugar gay? I mean, sometimes I really do think Jewel is gay, but then I think, yeah. Well, no, uh, there's this infamous clip 
uh, online of uh, Mark McGrath of Sugar Ray freaking See, the fuck out. See, only people of culture understand how fucking hot bondage is. I'm not denying it. I'm just saying, like, like I said, it's it feels wrong to have it a brand on it. Come I mean, really? wait, every fucking set of bondage gear has a brand on it. That's how it's made. Okay, you know what I mean. You want Gucci if bond it gear? Fucking... Is that is that what you want, Gucci? If it was fucking YouTube bondage, I would be like, no, fuck you. But I'm I'm just like walking around Spencer's there with we my go. stepmom. After getting my goddamn up, wedding dress, money. and Ooh, I'm like, wait, hey, wait, I'm wait, wait, gonna go check out Spencer's to find stuff for me and my girlfriend. Hold on a sec, Ari. Ari, Ari, Agro will thank you so much for the twenty-five dollar donation. You're amazing. Yeah. Oh yay, twenty-five dollars. Wait, what are we at now? Um, I'm waiting for it to update. Give it a no, minute. But like total. Oh, there it is. So wait, we're at one seventy-five. One seventy-nine. Seventy-nine. God damn it. Which, by the way, babe, my mom got a my stepmom got the wedding dress. <laughs> <laughs> nice. I mean, not the wedding dress, my bridesmaid's dress. <laughs> but uh, yeah, we are eight hours into the stream. We're doing good. Uh, I really wish you could come to my parents' wedding with me. I wish so too. Uh... All right, now I gotta fight this thing. Oh, he pissed. This is what you get when you're sipping too much on that champagne. Oh lord, he coming. Okay, dude. Why does the fucking octopus guy remind me so much of a Game of Thrones character? I just don't know what it is, but it may be the fact that he's bald with a mustache. Like, you know, every fucking male from Game of Thrones. He reminds me of that guy from Spongebob. Like, where? No. No, 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 the other guy. The fucking... The, the, with the fan club. Oh, Kevin. Kevin. I thought you were talking about the other guy. I thought you were talking about the mustache, what word? Oh, Squilliam, I think? It's been a long time. Squilliam fancy, son. Rip. Okay, yeah, when, when the lava is off his head, ground pound it. Oh, you missed your chance right there, though. Come on. Run, bitch, run! Ari, you're, you're behind, I'm... <laughs> I know, the stream is like a minute behind and I'm just... Lost. I'm trying my best, but, you I know... I can't say or do anything. <laughs> oh, God. I mean, seriously, unlike Zelda, this is like a game where it low-key tells you what to do. You just have to pay for it. Yeah. I know what I'm doing. So, backseat gaming is enough. No, like, you literally have to pay for it in this game. Not, not microtransactions, I got em. but yeah. Gotcha! I wonder what my dog is doing right now. Okay. God. Where'd he go? Where'd you go, chubby, chubby jelly? I, I you lit it's not fucking hard to lose him. He just disappeared. Where, where are you, chubby jellies? You killed him. You're a murderer. No. Pay for what you've done. I feel it in my jellies. No, you're a murderer. Pay for what you've done. There he is. Shit, he's still alive? God damn it. I can't take it to jail yet. You're already taking me to jail. I know, and I'm the fucking warden. What you gonna do about it? Come on. Come on. Stop running. Stop resisting. All he can do is run. He knows he's gonna lose. Damn it. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> <laughs> and I Have fun. All right. We we gonna do this. Wait, did you die? Well, yeah, because uh, he he came out of nowhere. Oh well then, good for you. <laughs> Ari. Yes. We're not going to Mister Sister. God damn it, Zidim! You cannot fucking do this to me. I can, and I did. Yes. No. No, you cannot. I'm still in your fucking car and I'm going. Without you. Fuck you. Nope. No, I'm going without you. Still in your car. I'm taking an Uber. Fuck you. I have money now. I have a job. You can't fucking tell me what not to do, bitch. <laughs> mm. Don't like you. Only yeah. fucking reason I wanted to go with you was so I could see you embarrassed because you're really fucking cute whenever you are. <laughs> I know. That's so, the whole yeah. point. 
Exactly. So fuck you. Going without you. Uh. We are a married couple. <laughs> yeah, we are fucking married, dude. I, she has the ring. I, my ring. I have to get her hers. That's not going to happen for another few fucking years. Like, guys, just... Stop just, moving. Gonna, mm. Look, what, whatever you see anyone who thinks that we're legit shit married, just, just tell them it's not going to be for a while. When you see a About ring on four her years. finger, then we're engaged. <laughs> yeah. But still, we're married. Yeah, no, we're, like, solely fucking married. I hate it. I mean, I love it, but I also hate it. Come on, in. I love it more than I hate it, babe. I don't even hate it. I love you, too. I love you, too. But you're a butt. It's I just I like how... go to the fucking sex shop. Going back to this game, I just love how diverse these kingdoms are. Because I, I cannot say that I've done the same thing more than once. I'm just waiting for the Super Mario Galaxy DLC. Well, we already took off in a rocket. Yeah, but besides that, like, yeah, you can say, oh, the Moon Kingdom, but it's also like, no, it, no, not the Moon Kingdom. <laughs> moon like, Moon. No, not the Moon Moon. <laughs> moon <laughs> Moon. Not the Moon Moon. Good night, Moon. We'll see you next June. Nah, that's a boring story. You know what my favorite bedtime story is? Go to fuck to sleep. Or, you know, gay porn. And we got our multi-moon. Congratulations, you got a moon. Now this go in that thing he was sitting on. This I moon is I think you automatically go in there. Boy. Yeah, you do. Jesus Christ. He, his brain literally fucking explodes. I forgot about that shit. Uh, it's been so long. Did the glasses half game. full? <laughs> I like to see it as half empty. Ari. Hmm. No, Mister Sister. Fuck you! You can't fucking tell me not to go to a goddamn sex shop. I just did. You don't fucking own me. I'm still in your car, and I'm going myself. All hmm. right. So let's go into that champagne glass. Long. Ass, fucking, ass, <laughs> fucking adorable ass, fucking son of a goddamn fucking marrying this fucking love of my life. God fucking, I hate you. Uh, this is perfection. Uh, I don't like you at all. Go die in a fire. Oh, wait, shit. No, I'm not going that far. Okay, you, you don't have to wait. Did you finally get figure out how to get to the champagne? Kind of. You don't you don't you don't need that. You just have to be yourself. I am myself. You you still don't no, but you don't you don't need a mob. A you mob psycho one oh one? Oh yeah. You don't Oh crap. I really hope you picked up that checkpoint. Yeah, you, you picked up the checkpoint. Ari, you're backseat gaming again. Oh, Sorry. cool! You and, McGregor, you and McGregor get to play Obi Wan Kenobi in a non-terrible thing. Oh, uh, what now? What? You and McGregor are set to return as Obi Wan Kenobi in Disney Plus series. Ah, uh, fuck you, Disney Plus! Congratulations! More shit that I want to see that I have to wait on because that's how you do it. Okay. Oh, hey, you figured it out. Think of it this way: yeah. I'm positive that it's gonna get it for uh, the Disney debate, so you can just watch watch it off for hers. Yeah, but even then, I don't really think. My fucking brain is going to allow that shit. Like, I already get fucking... Uh, I already hate myself because I use my dad's Amazon account to watch anime and fucking other shit. Like, I'm planning on watching The Boys and I want to die. Because it's on Amazon and I'm using my dad's account. So if I have to borrow somebody else's account from a shitty fucking streaming service that I hate, I, I'm just no. Mm -hmm. No, I already have to do one. I don't want to do the other. Oh, we're at the Lake Kingdom. Yeah, these paintings, they, they get you to secret areas and kingdoms. Ah. Pretty mermaid shit. Uh, which, by the way, okay, I need everyone to yell at my girlfriend that Lizzo should have been fucking Ursula. I don't care. <laughs> I don't care either, but still. Oh. 
Sorry, I had to unplug my mic. My ears needed a break from the headphones. Yeah, I know how that feels. Or you get a comfy pair of headphones that I unfortunately cannot afford. I still can't fucking you, believe you I barely bought... bought. Uh, no, no, <laughs> you should have never fucking done it. You wouldn't let me. Yeah, because fuck spending that much money on a fucking pair of headphones. Well, fuck you spending that much money on a fucking pair of headphones for me. That's my job, not yours. I thought my job was to look pretty. It is. And to let me spoil you, so shut up and let me do that. Don't fucking spend $160 on a pair of headphones for me. You know, you already know how much of a fucking bitch I am, okay? I don't deserve that shit from you. I also spent, like, a couple hundred for a 10 terabyte, uh hard drive because I need that for my game footage. Yeah, but that's your shit. Not like shit you're buying for me to spoil. <laughs> I mean, look, babe. Babe. Live action. No one should be Ursula. Yeah, th see, look, that's exactly how I feel ugly and pink. It's like, dude, everybody fucking bitches and complains about live action Disney movies, but it's like the reason they keep making them is because you give them your money and unless you're doing it for a review, you have no fucking excuse to see these shitty fucking movies. I already saw goddamn Aladdin thanks to this fucking cute-ass shit streaming right now, and I have PTSD. We have 131 moons. Okay. <laughs> I need to find more. Look, look, all I'm saying, babe, is I'm gonna take you shopping... And we're gonna get some nice clothes for you. Wait, and we're gonna go to Captain Broadway. Toad. And I'm gonna show you a good fucking Disney live action shit. It's called The Lion King. Ugh. The Lion not, King not, not the movie, Not the movie Lion King, the play Lion King. I'm taking her to go okay. see the play. Okay. The live action Lion King was not good. I am so happy I missed that. Like It was boring. Everybody fucking says that. I don't want to see any of them. Like, literally, out of all the Disney live-action movies I've seen, half of them I've been dragged to by my family and this cute asshole right here. <laughs> I'm still fucking mad at her because I had to pay for goddamn Aladdin tickets. Ugh. Goddamn Blue Will Smith genie. Mm. Bad memories. Very bad memories. But look... Like... I'm 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 gonna put my money where my mouth is because I keep bitching about the live action Lion King and I'm gonna take her to go see the play on Broadway because I saw it as a child. <laughs> so I really want her to go see it. So I'm gonna take her shopping and we're gonna go to Broadway. I still watch. maintain that Aladdin wasn't that bad. That's your opinion. My opinion is fuck that shit. <laughs> like seriously, fuck that shit. I hear that fucking shitty ass song they gave Jasmine and it literally gives me nightmares. So yeah, that's my final review. Zero out of ten. Don't see any more of these fucking shitty movies. <laughs> like, they're remaking goddamn Lilo and Stitch. Has anybody heard that news? They're doing a live-action remake of Lilo and Stitch. At, at least that's a movie that could benefit from live-action. No, in terms it's of not. Being, in terms of being an interesting concept and what they could do with the alien designs. No, it's not. Because you want to know what... People say the live-action remakes fail for blah blah blah. I say that they fail because they miss, they don't understand the original message of the book or the movies. They just don't understand what made them so good. They don't, they don't understand, understand why we liked them in the first place. They don't, they don't understand why Cinderella was fine in its original form, or what makes Beauty and the Beast a masterpiece, or what made Aladdin fun. And with Lilo and Stitch, it's going to be a goddamn nightmare because they don't understand what made that movie so fucking good. Mm. Like, oh, hey, look at the cute fucking alien. Yeah, I like the cute fucking alien, but you know what I like even more? The fucking family dynamic of two sisters from a broken family struggling to heal. That's what I like even fucking more. Wait. Oh, yeah, fuck that noise. I know how to get a moon. Oh, you finally figured out how to get a moon? Yay. Shh. I wasn't talking to you, you meanie face. I wonder what this moon is called. Is it called, fuck you, let me go to the sex shop? <laughs> Not anymore. <laughs> no, it's called, fuck you, I don't need your permission to live my goddamn life, Zenith. You know what you need? Sex. Some discipline. That's my job. For you. Like, I see a moon on this thing's back, and I need to glide to it, but damn. You have to do... 
God, there's another fucking thing you have to do with that guy. Yeah, like, I have to glide to I... that glass champagne thing, but the gliding's so unwieldy. No, it's a learning curve. Like, you know how, like, you hate fishing in Stardew Valley? It's a total learning curve. You, yeah. you have to get used to it. Because they don't tell you how to control them. They just tell you, here, go, fly. Yeah. Hmm. You'll get used to it. We got this. Yay, you can do it. Or maybe you can't. I don't know. Ari, put faith in me, please. I don't know. Should I? You won't let me go to the sex shop. Okay, fine. Thank you. And I, I got the moon. Name. Bonjour, Dory. I don't think Disney is scared of animation. Disney is just scared of not making money because they're a greedy fucking company. Hey, like, Isaac. Down, how's it going? Um, they shut down the goddamn 2D department. I mean, uh, you're not wrong. Let's see here. Um, like, fuck. The can't... last 2D animated Disney movie was... God damn, it was Winnie the Pooh. That's depressing. Isaac, if you want to join, uh, feel free. We can add you to the call. Just let us know. Yeah, I'll just, like, dip out. But, well, we, no, right, Disney, yes, Disney just... To me, and I wish to subscribe to your newsletter. Thank you for the follow, Poké Nutcase. Uh, you don't have to go, Ari. Um, we have room for people, because I, I just took Ethan out the call, because he's probably not going to be ready for a little bit. Mm -hmm. Disney has all these studios, and they aren't willing to take any work. Dude, the biggest risk Disney has taken so far was keeping Deadpool rated R, and that's not a risk, because they know... They fucking know if you make Deadpool anything less but rated R then people are going to riot and not see the next movie. It's like they're doing whatever they can to keep making money. That's why they stopped making 2D animated movies, because it's like, oh, hey, this shit is expensive and it's not making as much money. Let's shut down the department that's going to, like, not make us as much money because profit, bitch. Fuck your fucking sunshine, happiness, and rainbows. Give the goddamn mouse some more fucking money. I mean, that's literally any corporation ever. Yeah, but Disney to, is just like top to be tier perfectly prime example. to be perfectly fair. Every corporation wants to make a buck, and uh, Isaac, we just did it so that um, uh, you'd be in the group. I mean, every corporation wants to make a buck, but you have like, you know, corporations that actually care, and you don't mind giving your money to, and then you have top tier prime rib rich fucks like Jeff Bezos and Amazon. I'm sorry, but. <laughs> corporations care that's an i don't think that the goes biggest together. fucking lie i've ever heard in my life yeah burn them all burn them all all right it looks like linkara might be joining in a minute okay well i'm going to dip out so that he can join because my fucking computer needs to update and it won't let me use it until it does so Peace, bitches. Fuck y'all. Have a good one. I'll be in the chat. I'm not leaving. I'm All just right. gonna annoy the shit out of you even even more. Love you, Ari. Bye. Hate you. Yeah, I hate you so much. She loves me. I hate you. You're a bitch. <laughs> I'm, I'm just... God, I can't think of a fucking comeback. I'm going to come back and I'm going to annoy you even more. I'm gonna think of a fucking comeback. So yeah, fuck you. Bye. Later, Ari. <laughs> okay, lunch in kingdom. <laughs> I still can't believe we've been going eight and a half hours. I mean, we, yeah. we've had breaks, but uh, this is the longest I've gone. Meanwhile, they're currently announcing the matches for Battle of Los Angeles, so I'm freaking out. Oh, by the way, uh, the special guests that uh, are gonna be joining us shortly are Linkara and Vika from uh, hey. uh, Atop the Fourth Wall and uh, Idols of Anime. So look forward to that. <laughs> uh, you can join the call whenever you want, Isaac. Um, it's, it's totally up to you. We have room for three additional people. I just don't want it to get overcrowded. The Luncheon Kingdom looks interesting. Oh, the Luncheon Kingdom. 
everything's food and it's amazing. Mm -hmm. Hello. Hi. Hey, Isaac. How's it going? Good. Had a long... Oh, you'll love this place. Yeah, this place is... is full of food. <laughs> um, right now, how many moons are we at currently? Like yeah, I just got out from work. 133. Your ideas are intriguing to me, and I wish to subscribe to your newsletter. Oh, thank you for the follow, Ugly and uh, Pink. I was listening to the stream. <laughs> yep. But yeah, had a long day at work. Apparently, a customer found kittens under their engine. <laughs> I heard about that. That's funny. And I took one of them home after. Aww. They're pretty young. I don't know what... I need to take them to the vet at some point. So, right now, I just got the basic stuff for it. That's an angry tomato. And there's corn. <laughs> oh, yeah. It begins. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> Chef Goomba. I just killed a tomato. <laughs> Oh yeah, I can only see what's on the stream. Yeah. Oh well. Unfortunately, there's a little bit of a delay. I think there was uh, a yeah, moment fine. where we dropped like a couple of frames and that post put a delay, but we'll we'll get. I there. mean, that's fine. It's 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 Twitch. That's how it, it goes. That's yeah, how it operates. But uh, yeah, we've been going about eight and a half hours now. We're that's that's impressive. <laughs> um, the breaks definitely helped. Um, I don't think mm -hmm. I have enough for this, but I'm gonna try. Damn it. Yeah, that didn't work. Mm -hmm. So how have you been liking the game so far? I really love it. Um, for yeah, someone- I didn't get a chance to say yet, but this is my favorite Mario game. Maybe the best Mario game ever made. Yeah, this is probably currently my favorite. Um, it's, it's definitely different. It's one of those games that I was surprised with uh, and, and how innovative it is. And granted, like I said, I haven't played much besides like a little bit of Galaxy and whatnot, but there's just so much to to do and so much diversity and just Cappy's awesome. There's a lot more freedom in this game. Let's you go about how you want. I didn't want to kill you. Let's see. And, and the amount I, of as I die. find is just incredible. There's, There's so much to do. There's a moon for everything. And it's like... Everything is... Awesome. <laughs> and everything counts toward progression. You just go however you everything want. Everything counts toward progression! <laughs> everything is awesome. Alright. I'm gonna try this again. See if, See if I can do this. Because clearly I need to take this guy. I assume you know about the... Oh, there's that Goomba. Yeah. Okay, yeah, that's why I killed myself. You know myself. where to go. I always find out where, where okay. they are. So I need to get them over to her. Did it. Okay. It's like so nerve-wracking. Welcome to Mission Impossible. Yeah, we got a moon. Corn. Uh, Jim, if uh, if nobody else shows up in the next couple of minutes, because I think Linkara is going to be showing up soon, and if he and Vega show up at the same time, I don't want to uh, have too many people in the call. So I'll let you know. But we're going to be streaming for a little while anyway. <laughs> Okay, so we got that moon. Now the question is how to get across. Oh, I can possess the fire? Oh, oh yeah. Oh. oh yeah. Ow, as I die, but <laughs> yeah. We're gonna be up all night to get lucky. Bubble Mario. I think that's what they were called. Bubble? 
Bubbles, something like that. To have the you... Mario Wiki! I have watched uh, Wallace and Gromit. Um, I, I am a fan of it. I have not seen everything, but I, I want to uh, play the games because uh, the Wallace and Gromit games look good. Damn it. Lava Bubbles. But they can be simply called bubbles. Ah, there we go. I'm like, what am I supposed to do? <laughs> they Look at me, I'm on the fire! <laughs> they, they stole stew. Oh no. This guy is a lot easier than the other guy, at least. But there's only so much he can eat. <laughs> Welcome to the all-you-can-eat kingdom. Hey, Rowdy. Yeah. How, how's it going? Welcome. We are in our eight and a half hour mark because we started technically at noon, and uh, and I died. Um, we, we've had consistently high turnout. I, I'm very, very happy with this, but, uh, um, you know, this has just been a very, very fun stream. I'm very happy with this game. Screw you, Goombas. There's just so much to do in this game. It's, it's ridiculous. And only the boldest of bold will attempt to find all the moons. I will find all the boons. 100% this game. I will. For trans rights. Zenith says trans rights. Damn right. Yep. Before you hit me with your poison. Okay. Yeah, he's he's gonna kill me again, okay. My food's on the way, so I might disappear for a moment. Okay. But until then <laughs> Until we meet again. This place is just covered with boiling tomatoes, and I, I didn't want to do that. God damn. I mean, it's like being in a stew. Consider this all the soup. The sauce, uh, or whatever gonna, it is they're cooking. We're cooking with gas. Alright, buddy. This time we're not going to jump into the boiling water that looks like Pepto-Bismol. <laughs> it does. We're not gonna hit, get hit by the boiling tomatoes of doom. It's not gonna cure your. Hey, writer's block. We're cure. doing good. We are ah, that, we were doing good. It, um, we're having fun. We're entering the all-you-can-eat kingdom. Or the, well, the luncheon kingdom. But I just want to make a a jo uh, reference to uh, Mus Brave Fencer Musashi. That Pepto Bismol was not gonna cure your heartburn. It's gonna make my heart burn. It's going to cause it. It's going to cause it. <laughs> it's Vigo's pink slime. Why? Why is it my dripping sweet goose? There's one. Two. Thank goodness for the arena not letting you jump out of bounds. Yeah. 
Welcome to Splatfest 5. <laughs> mm. uh, not, ow. I hope they make another Splatoon. And I did it. Yay. And we got a moon. The Brutals are after some cooking. <laughs> they want some good eats. <sighs> Under the cheese rocks. <laughs> Let's not cut the cheese. <laughs> Ooh. Are you saying boo or boo urns? <laughs> <laughs> I get the pun. That's a fork. That a fork that is also alive. I That's a fork <laughs> that I'm talking. Okay. I love that it has limbs. It's just, what? <laughs> Mario, your world is weird. After everything else he's been through, this is what's weird. <laughs> uh, well, we've seen some weird things, but I mean, We've seen a T-Rex, we've, se we've seen some things, we've seen a live-action car in the desert, but still. I'm trying to think what else you need to get to, or... I won't I'm sure there, there's a lot... Oh, I found a moon rat by random. But now I have to get to it. <laughs> Let me check the, the outfit store. I haven't been here in a little bit. The Octo Fork. <laughs> They're all forks here. We all float here. Don't you mean we all fork here? <laughs> oh, fork you. <laughs> I'll be right back. All right. Pirate hat, yar. All right, pizza should be here. I'll go greet them. Alrighty. I will be right back. You can wall jump between buildings. That's probably how I'll get it. And there's a clown outfit? Do they play Fortnite? He's a Mario, a pirate. <laughs> so I have to dress up like a chef to go in there. Pirate's not a chef. Clown's not a chef either. Okay, let's get this moon. So I have to jump. Is this an ingredient too? <laughs> the names on these are pretty fun. They got really creative with this world. Or Stu will be ruined. 
No, no, it's gonna be ruined. Fork Knight. Oh. <laughs> oh God. I'm back. Welcome back. I was just traveling. I got another moon. Yeah. We have we have many moons here. Trying to get, uh, get me into this Pepto Bismol. Ari didn't scream at Nash. She was she was being a tsundere because she doesn't like that. I, she, she's jelly. That I I watch Nash's show. <laughs> she doesn't mean it. Yeah. Still, still not here. Alrighty. I want my pizza. I'm a pirate. Will you eat all the meats? Probably. I will. I will do my pirate duty to. Uh... Shut up and take my money. Ooh, ooh. Rowdy, sixty dollars. Thank you so much. Wow, thank you, Rowdy. That's nice. A I need to put in some, but I can't find the donate button. Oh, it's right underneath the stream. It's where the Super Zenny Odyssey thing is. So if you oh, look directly under the stream and click it, it's right there. Found it. But thank you so so much. And uh, now with Ari's money. We're at two hundred and thirty-nine dollars. Um, in which case, um, I'm going to, I'm going to up the ante a little bit because we uh, we're we're not even halfway done. So let me, yeah, give me a minute. Uh, campaigns. It's a good thing this is very easy to do. Uh, dashboard. Okay. Okay. I'm upping the ante to two hundred and fifty. That'll take a minute to upload. But thank you all so much for the donations. Um, it really means a lot. Hey, there we go. Sent you twenty dollars. <laughs> I'm just gonna wait for the gift to play. And that's my cue for pizza. Be right back for real. Yep. Oh God. Shut up and take my money. Thank you for the money, the donation. I think PayPal works through it too. It's just Tiltify is what I use to keep track of everything. To keep track of it, yeah. Yeah. Because I don't want people thinking that I'm using the money because I'm not. Yeah. Yeah. Hmm. Shred that cheese. Shredded cheddar. Shred the feta. <laughs> 
I'm cutting the cheese. So now we're at where our campaign is at 260. Dang. Pretty awesome. I I was not expecting this. <laughs> we're doing good. <laughs> good and talk. Oh, that's what I'm looking for, right underneath that cheddar. Any more cheese puns and some will kick my Asiago. <laughs> These puns are these puns will are getting a little bit cheesy, guys. Why don't we cut it out? <laughs> Limburger. <sighs> At this rate, reaching three hundred will be a breeze. Oh, I love you guys. All right, let's see what we're at now. Give me just one second. Just want to double check this. Okay. It just takes a while to update. All right. Um. Almost hour nine. I get set on fire and covered with bees. Oh, I did it. Nice. And that was just coins. Okay. But that was a complicated jump. I feel proud of that jump. I'm using forks. <laughs> aren't, aren't forks in this kingdom sentient? Probably. <laughs> hmm. I'm supposed to do something up here, but what? Oh my god, I possessed a piece of beef. <laughs> I possessed a giant slab of beef. Yep. <laughs> I love this game. Oh, it's great. Hillary mounds of mashed potatoes. Son, help father eat his mashed potatoes. Tiny onions. And now I'm in the stew. Boil them, mash them, stick them in a stew. I love this kingdom. It may be a little bit harder than the last one, but it's so creative. <laughs> 
And there's my cue to multi moon. Yarg, that that must be blowing me away. <laughs> what? Oh, he just got blown out of the stew pot. Yeah. That's one angry volcano. So now you gotta get back up there. Yeah. yeah. I'm sensing a pattern. <sighs> All right. Uh, oh, pfft, as I die. Diving into the lava, that's exactly what I needed to do. <laughs> uh. It's okay, Zen, you got this. <laughs> uh, I, I got my butt on fire, at least. Yep, still fatal. <laughs> okay, we got the we got a moon from the Luncheon Kingdom. So we need to head. There is so much salt in this kingdom. Yagi, you wanna come up again? Come on. Come on, little baby. Oh, come on, baby. Come on. Everyone wants to say hi. Come on. Oh, no, you don't. No, you don't. You're on stream oh, now. <laughs> Everyone say hi to Chiaki. She was like, I'm gonna stretch my legs on you. But I don't want to sit in your lap anymore because I don't want to be a star. Okay. And I'm back. Welcome back. back. Yeah, Thanks for the subscription, Bra Victor Brines. Or Brion's. I, yeah, Victor Brion's. I also brought the cat into here just to keep an eye on it. I brought my cat, and uh, she she was decidedly a brat today. <laughs> of course. But I love her. I'll be sure to post the cat online as <laughs> soon as I get a chance. All right. Got to go this way. Ooh, cannon. I like Skull Cannon. We It feels so good taking possession of these turtles that got got like so much uh, 
so much trouble in previous games. Silly now turtles. You can wield fire. You too can wield the powerful power of the charging chuck. Oh god, <laughs> Koopa Troopa. There you go. Yarg, a vest. Eight bit Captain Mario. <laughs> I love that there's a costume of for all, eight bit costume for everything. As long as you have the full thing. Like mm -hmm. you have to have the full costume, but it's still really cool. As I fall back into the water. Half of this stream is me trying to keep my balance on corn and not fall into the water. You got it. And then you died. Yep. You got this. Oh, okay. Maybe you don't got this, but it's okay. It's all, it's all good. So we need to go in here, but first, heart. <laughs> Aren't we all just trying to keep our balance on corn? I mean, my balance on corn is a little bit different since I, I spell it K-O-R-N, but still. <laughs> We. I'm riding up a waterfall. <laughs> oh, God. This is not bode well. Yeah. Oh no! Alright, this time I'm just gonna ride the wave. <laughs> Alright, come on. Get in the Pepto Bismol. There you go. Oh, I have to I have to put this on fire. There's my moon. Now we can go through the door. The, the Cook-A-Teal Showdown. Okay. <laughs> These puns. That's a that's a lot of coins to keep in one chest. And they keep it all the way out in a place where no one could ever get to it. <laughs> because the car is way too already.
Perfect timing. Yo! Hey, hey. Lewis, how's it going? Just fine, Vega's here too. Hi! Hey, hey Vega! Oh. Welcome. We are in hour nine of the uh, charity stream so far, and uh, yep. things are going great. <laughs> Since his voice only, you won't hear me when I do this. Ah! Nerf gun! Ah, she's shooting me. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you're mean. Oh, yeah. Casey does the same thing except without the nerf. <laughs> Just her body. Yep. So I've, so I've never played Mario Odyssey. How how far ahead are you in the game? I have, um, I'm at the Luncheon Kingdom, which I hear is near the end of it. This is actually a blind it's, playthrough. Uh, the end, it's the last of the traditional kingdoms. Okay. So after that, that is Bowser's Kingdom, then a boss, then the final kingdom, and then the secret kingdom. Mm-hmm. But, uh, since this is a completion run, I'm trying to find all moons. Yeah, I was about to say, you haven't finished any of them. <laughs> no. Um, we have, I think, 130-something moons right now, out of 999. There are 999 of them? Yes. Yep. <laughs> some of them yeah. you have to buy, but... I was say, I'm assuming you have some kind of walkthrough or guide for, for obtaining all of them. That's, um, that's what I'm here for. He, they're, ah. they're helping me. I'm mostly doing this blind. I'm also handling the tech stuff, so I'm tweeting out that you guys are here. Yay! But yeah, things have been going good. We actually managed to raise uh, $260 so far for yeah, uh, the Trevor Project, which is very nice. Indeed. Woot. Uh, I love how this game looks. It's a very diverse game, because like, there, there are some kingdoms that have a specific palette, and there's ones that are like completely different. And th this is all about food, so I, I think this might be one of my favorite kingdoms. <laughs> Yeah, so far we've had uh, the Cap Kingdom, which the theme is all hats. Um, the Cascade Kingdom, where it's a prehistoric theme. The uh, Sand Kingdom, where it's kind of like a Aztec theme with uh, thrown in De, Lo De Los Muertos stuff. Mm -hmm. uh, the Lake mm -hmm. Kingdom, which is like a, a peaceful underwater place. Uh, I actually can't remember. Hold on. Um, uh, Snow Kingdom? Snow Kingdom, yeah. A, a cute little ice village. The Seaside Kingdom, which is a nice beachfront. The Treasure Kingdom. Um, Your ideas are intriguing I'm sure there's to one me. I wish to subscribe I'm, to I know New Donk City. Have you been to the city yet? We yes, have, we have been to New Donk City. It's uh, it's weird because they're realistic looking humans. Um, <laughs> I, uh, the, I was broken a couple times though because uh, the juxtaposition of different graphics because normally it's like we have mario s stuff and then we have real people like showing up randomly and then in this kingdom we have sentient forks yeah. cloud kingdom that's what i was forgetting what <laughs> how do forks live <laughs> that's a good question because because the kool-aid man is red that's all i got <laughs> oh well, that explains everything <laughs> oh speaking of the kool-aid man i mentioned this to them earlier but uh apparently there was a bear that broke into somebody's house, and the police said it was, quote, like the Kool-Aid man. And I found that from the Kool-Aid Twitter. <laughs> that's, uh, I don't think that's that's good brand awareness, guys. <laughs> you just break through, through, through a wall? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Does bear attack people? <laughs> it's totally cool though that, that, because they compared to Kool-Aid man. That's great for, that, that's great for... Well, no one was in the house. It was better than the moose that happened previously. Yeah. The moose? In uh, an RDA story, a moose broke into a house and just ah. laid there. <laughs> All sorts of animals end up in houses. What will we end up with next? I like with the bears that jump into cars. Yeah. yeah. There's an epidemic of bears trying to be humans, and I feel like they've played too many video games. <laughs> or not enough. Bing. <laughs> Once climate change uh, basically take us humans out, it will be the bear kingdom. The same yeah. over bears. <laughs> <laughs> we'll just have the bear necessities. Oh. oh. <laughs> <laughs> uh, oh so, so 
<laughs> punishment. Um, so the basic premise of this is that Princess Peach is kidnapped um, by Bowser, who wants to marry her. As you do. And it's up to you to defeat him and a bunch of rabbits to uh, stop the wedding. Why are the rabbits trying to make this happen? I... They're the bridal planners. They, they apparently get a kick out of planning bridal parties. I don't know. No, it's their job. Oh, it's their job? <laughs> yeah, they, are, they were hired by Bowser. They're called the Brutals. The Brutals, yes. With a D. See, now I just, just imagine that this is like the prequel to Mario and Rabbids. <laughs> oh, yeah. That's what I was thinking. I'm like, okay, so this is how the Rabbids entered their universe. It just occurred to me, Mario and Rabbids is an isekai. No, oh it would have to God. be after, because... Now we establish that rabbits exist in the Mario universe. So, what happens when they multiply? Uh, uh, come oh, on. Yeah. And one of my favorite things about uh, Odyssey is you can get different costumes. Yeah, like the, Pirate yeah. Mario here. We have Pirate Mario. We also had Mafia Mario. And of course, Half Naked Mario. <laughs> in swim trunks. You can do Boxers, it. Boxers, let's know. be honest. You can do it. You can do it. You actually can. Or you actually can, yeah. I, I can, it's just the timing on this is very precise. Um, <laughs> Jeff in the chat. For $500, Kool-Aid Man can perform your demolition project slash birthday party. <laughs> <laughs> All you have to do is say, hey, Kool-Aid, but you have to have the cash up front. Hey, Kool-Aid. With... Oh, my God, he's here! <laughs> how, my money. how do you get here in space? <laughs> How did he get into space? <laughs> <laughs> so proud of that bit. Yeah. Can I help the game if I shot it with my Nerf gun? Just gonna shoot my monitor. I mean, it couldn't hurt. It could. It, right, it couldn't hurt. hurt. My monitor. <laughs> true. True. <laughs> At the moment, my platforming skills do need work. Um, but also I've been playing nine hours I'm straight. <laughs> Have you eaten anything? Yes, I have. We took two breaks, one to I, I, eat lunch, and one to stretch because I was starting to get tired. Awesome. Remember to stretch in long gaming sessions. Uh, <laughs> if you don't, you could get like, you know, st uh, stuff problems on your legs and stuff. Yep. Honestly, I'm surprised you're doing this at all because you're still recovering, aren't you? I uh, I'm just recovering from my orchiectomy, but um, the pain has actually gone away for the most part. It's only when I stand up, so... It's been replaced by the pain of Lava Pepto-Bismol! Lava Pepto-Bismol. <laughs> it doesn't cure heartburn. It causes it. It causes it! <laughs> uh, but yeah, I, I, I wanted to at least get this done because, um, I mean, I... I saw H Bomber guy's stream and I was just like, I wanted to really get back. And uh, I've been wanting to do something like this for a little while. Hmm. And this seems the best time to do it when I'm actually on medical leave. Yeah. Makes sense. Mm -hmm. It's definitely a streamable game because of how many moons there are and you can pretty much yeah. set how much time you want to spend on it. Yeah. Right. yeah. An idea I had was a 24 hour Mario Maker stream where you can donate to get your levels played. Oh my god, that's a great idea. That would be good. I just, I, I'm not good at Kaizo Mario stuff, so I would have well, to yeah, I prepare. Said beat. I just said play. I, I did it. Okay. Whew. All right. You can do it. You can do it. Go I, for it. I just have to not jump in the lava. You should probably just jump on the lava sides and then get it over that way. So you're not risking... Oh, wait, you made it. You okay. probably made yeah. it. Yeah, we're actually... We had a delay on the actual video footage of the stream, so... Yeah. Yeah. So it's like, you'll be like, Oh, you failed. No, I got it this time. Oh, good. Uh, Jim, Breath of the Wild is already being done uh, just regularly. Yeah, that's that's part of the regular stream. Sonic Fox just announced that he's going to do a, uh, a big stream as well. Nice. Oh, nice. Sonic Fox is so cool. Ooh. Yeah, he's awesome. Yeah, he's, he's great. Mm-hmm. Oh, there, there's a flag, thank God. It's safe point, checkpoint. Whoops. So I don't have to do that again. Ooh. Go, 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 Just go, go, go. Touchdown! I, I was saying earlier, I felt I feel like this Mario game and uh, Link Between Worlds, I think it was? They're, they're the two main Nintendo games that actually made coins matter. Mm. I mean, in this game, like, there's no lives, but I like how it utilizes coins. For that yeah 
Into the soup! Alright, so I'm defeating a giant bird with fire. <laughs> what the <laughs> this design? Hi! I'm making soup. <laughs> that voice! <laughs> <laughs> oh, it makes its own ingredients. This looks like a How good place to find some the... ingredients. <laughs> do I season you with paprika or what do I put on you? Oh, come on. Oh, God, no. <laughs> I, I, I do not want this. <laughs> <laughs> this is not Ma the stew of, of my I dreams. I eating those peppers. Ma'am, you, you can't do this, ma'am. Ma this is a McDonald's. I did it. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> this bird is so drunk. <laughs> drink too much Pepto Bismol. I'll drink to that. I used the entire body weight several times over. Ah, <laughs> oh, damn it! <laughs> Welcome to the stupendous stew. I don't know why. I don't know why I made the chicken the uh, constantly in pain Jewish character from Opie and Anthony. <laughs> you turn the page. You wash your hands. I Oh my god, did y'all see that new Rocco? I, I I've been meaning to see it. I'm really happy, though, because... Uh, I loved it. I, I heard the, the Rachel plot was really well handled. It was. Yes. Yeah, super good. Great. Yeah, it just felt like, when while watching it, it felt like Rocco never left. Yeah, pretty much. Okay, so Bird, you can't just throw in durians stuff. into the stew. You need to add other things. <laughs> Jake in the chat, this bird has obviously been to the soup store. <laughs> Welcome to the soup kitchen. I am the soup guardian, guarding the soup. Okay, this is getting the weird. Soup and trembles before me. <laughs> Fuck off! <laughs> I am one with the soup. The soup is with me. Oh yeah, uh, Invader Zim is tomorrow. Yep. It is, isn't it? Yeah. I uh. I saw one of those idiots complaining about Rachel Bighead, and I'm just like, I want Joan and Vasquez to make every character trans now just to piss this one guy off. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> make more cartoon characters trans. Make, make it gayer. Angry. Make it. <laughs> Spite is such make a wonderful gayer. motivator. I know. No, it is. It's so <laughs> solved. Rocco says trans rights. <laughs> Every every time something like this happens, I just remember that uh, <laughs> comic with Rebecca Sugar saying, "Make it gay." Yep. <laughs> okay, so I'm supposed to jump from this. this is I'm supposed weird. to jump from blob to blob of Pepto. Wow! I have to time it. Uh, <laughs> you can do it. Why Look at the you? pattern! Why I are you mean to it, so you should be fine. The soup store. One, 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 <laughs> no soup for you. One, one, why, one, why are you barfing one. Pepto at the soup store? <laughs> Fuck you. <laughs> 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 this is <the> worst. <laughs> well, I have to say, this is the worst hotel service <laughs> I've ever had. <laughs> this piece of Hell's Kitchen is well, weird. Besides heartburn, <laughs> would this also cause diarrhea? Damn you and your lemonade. <laughs> Sauce. <laughs> what would Gordon Ramsay say about this too? Oh my god. I'm trying to remember the all song. Alright, alright, pattern time. One. Come on. Tastes like a giant pig bread <laughs> vomited Pepto Bismol into this soup. Oh, so you know our secret recipe. One, 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 two. Right. Oh, I'm getting the flamethrower. One, Have you given up? Two. Yes. Uh, come on. It's there we go. The Hell's <sighs> kitchen. And, 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 and Gordon, you know, Gordon repeats the same advice over and over again, same in dialogue. But then, like right afterwards, in the interview section, like Gordon Ramsay's advice really helped me. His advice was, "Stop doing that." <laughs> yeah, you did this, it. The soup is raw. <laughs> it's definitely raw with this whole chicken falling into it. <laughs> And now it's perfect. Okay, I did. Yay, chicken Pepto Bismol throw up soup. Nothing like yeah. riding up a waterfall of Pepto Bismol. Arise, soup chicken. <laughs> arise. <laughs> arise, chicken, arise. <laughs> oh, yay, something nice is happening. Moons. Yay, you got a multi moon. 
Cookatiel. That's what that thing was called. <laughs> that's a good. That's a great name. I forgot about that. Enjoy your salmonella. I am never eating soup That's a good again. one. <laughs> oh, we uh, we did talk about it earlier, enemy. Uh, Lewis, have you have you happen to watch the show Polygon? On I have not. It's very good. It's basically uh, like comically over the top uh, lore dives, and one of the episodes oh. was the Bowser's military hierarchy. <laughs> <laughs> it's really I, like they're all on YouTube. I highly recommend it. And uh, <laughs> but they wanted to point out that. Uh, on the admiral slot for the navy, we have the Gushin, which I really just wanted to say because his name is the Gushin, and I had to learn his name is the Gushin, and now so do you. <laughs> the Gushin. So is he like the mascot behind Gushers? <laughs> Probably. <laughs> gushin, Gushin, Gushin. Hey Ari, gushin. welcome back. Gushin makes me feel good. <laughs> oh yeah, slot machine time. All right, slot machine. Ooh, gambling. Oh, I just remembered. Zeta, this is the level where we can get the clown suit. Yes, it is. Yes. We get no. Bavo. Do not. Wait a minute. I, I just realized you can get the clown wig and the suit. You actually can get Bavo. Resist <laughs> the clowns. Clowns are horrible. Embrace the clowns. clowns <laughs> I saw uh, that the Alamo Draft House was going to do a clowns only screening of it, Chapter 2. And the it. best response I saw was. Wow! All the people who complained, about, all the men who complained about there being a women's only screening of Wonder Woman. Here's the movie for you. <laughs> <laughs> all yes, right. These are the. Uh, these are the. This right here is the denizen of the Sand Kingdom. Just they own all the slot machines. Ah! One off. Damn it. <laughs> oh yeah! Another great Polygon Unravel episode is uh, developing the perfect Poke Wrap. Which includes every single Pokemon. I saw that. That one was so good. <laughs> if if only for Scalp or Skrelp, done with the like Skronk? the rolling R thing. Skronk? Skrelp. Yeah, that. Oh, I love it when you do that. Rolling my R's. Yeah. There we go. I got it. I got a moon. Oh, yay! Oh. Moon. Moon prism power activate. So then, it's where do you think the final, uh, the final area is gonna be? Based uh, on what you the final countdown. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, I mean, I honestly can't predict it because, like, it doesn't follow the traditional Mario formula where you have like ice, lava, blah blah blah. Uh, it does a lot of things new and different with it. So I'm kind of, I, hmm. I will say, uh. It's not Bowser's Kingdom, but we are going there. Um, Dark Souls? You want a Bowser's Summer Home? Oh, you're not wrong. <laughs> there is a Dark Souls area. Rest in peace, Terry the Tantula. Yes, that was uh, Brian David Gilbert from Unraveled. That was his uh, Tantula that he ha had to give away to Kevin Punt to complete his, uh, complete his Pokedex, which explains why Kevin Punt is in jail now, or at least he should be. Oh my god, I love the store. I want the, I want oh, it's great. Don't What's do really it. weird... Don't do it! Don't do it! Do it. Do yes, it. you did! No. Yes. Put it on! Put it on! No. Put it on. No. Oh wait, I forgot the... <laughs> Alright. I, I, I already got the uh, the helmet, so let me put that on. Okay. It oh. just, I have to get it separately. Hold on. Yeah. Let's see what you can get in the purple store. Yeah, hey the, look, uh, it's Boffo kingdom. the Mario. Yep. Each kingdom has their own set of coins. Wait, no, it's Buggy! Buggy the Clown? <laughs> Buggy. Let me show my. Let me throw my buggy balls at you. <laughs> yeah, what we got? We we can get a Beautiful. chef hat. A thing of beauty. <laughs> you could actually wear a wedding dress, which is great. Mm, your ideas are interesting to me, and I wish to. Oh, thanks for the follow, the Cryptic Psych. There's a there's a post game uh, free DLC they added, where uh, you're gonna want to buy the uh, the. Chef outfit, by the way, because that gets you a moon. I just got that. So I'm going to okay. quickly change into it so I can yeah. get that um, moon right there. Get back into the clown outfit, because that is essential. We, we, yeah, have, to, we have to clown around. We, we have to I, let them know that we are down clown to clown. Head. I say clown head lawyer outfit. Or we can just go random, because there is random is an option. Okay, now but we yeah, really uh, are Chef Ramsay. What was <laughs> I saying? All right, um... Damn it, I forgot. I completely forgot. 
Uh, check out the moon. But yeah, there is a Dark Souls boss. I'll say that. <laughs> there we go. Is it a giant spider? Hi, I'm Chef Mario. Everything you make is raw, but it's a call time. <laughs> Mario would be the chillest chef. Oh yeah, I remember what I was saying. Uh, with the wedding dress. Uh, <laughs> we have to. We have to Louis do something when we get to the wedding dress. Yeah, for the post-game Luigi minigame, uh, if you go up to him wearing the wedding dress, he's just, he's his reaction is great. It's the, uh, oh Mario, you're getting married. Wait, why wasn't I invited? <laughs> <laughs> Nice. Like, he just doesn't give a shit that his brother's in a wedding dress, which is awesome. His brother is supportive. Yes, Luigi's cool like that. Luigi is the cool brother. <laughs> like, even Bowser's like, wait, I'm the one getting married here. Yeah, to <laughs> Mario. Exactly. I'm the bride now. With, with, with Bowsette. <laughs> oh my god, that was the best, like, week. Uh, before, like, I got killed by a tomato. <laughs> Attack with the killer tomatoes. <laughs> now that's a throwback. <laughs> yep. Uh, um, I'm trying to think of what else uh, happened during the stream that before you guys got here. Um, oh yeah, New Donk City is amazing. Uh, it's basically Pauline from Donkey Kong is running a New York style city. Yep. Also, everyone's New York there. <laughs> yep. They 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 told me to forget about it. I'll be your one up girl. Please tell me you watched the entire one up girl song. Of course. Yay! Like we d we actually played the uh, the level where you could get to uh, run around in eight bit style and face Donkey Kong in that out in that song playing. Nice. But not to get off too top. I did but, uh, it. Okay. Fun. Fun Smash Bros. fact: When you're on the new Donk level, like the new Donk stage, yeah, if you touch the, if you uh, that's like, not what the, I wanted uh, to do. People, Where was the moon? They'll do a little like, I don't know, little riff or whatever. Yeah. So I, I missed something clearly. You need to get the there. There's I think a either a turnip or a lovable. You need to get into that that final pot. Okay. Thank you. You can jump on the tomatoes while you're in fireball mode. Yes. Oh, that's how you get up. You have oh, to jump okay. Like, use the tomatoes as a springboard. This was a hard. I'm now remembering this was a hard one. <laughs> now you're telling so me. Apparently, hard. what's inside tomatoes is its own lava. The, yeah, that's The weird, tomatoes are evil. <laughs> you can hang in the tomato lava. Well, welcome to the Mario Kingdom, where nothing makes any sense. Nope. Everything makes everything. everything's made up, and the points don't matter. I was just everything thinking that. wants to kill you. <laughs> mm. Guy the fireball through the tomato puddles really, and jump in the soup at the end. I could really go okay. for spaghetti now. Uh, my my well, butt is on fire currently. Me. My buns are on fire. <laughs> the clowns have eyes. The hills have eyes. The clowns have horns. You know, this wouldn't have been a problem if you had stayed in the clown suit. Oh my god. <laughs> they wouldn't have let me in with the clown suit. <laughs> Who says a clown? Don't beat them up. What are they going to do? They're, they're They're all clown racists. <laughs> I, for one, do not appreciate the anti-clown service here at this restaurant. I appreciate the anti-clown service. That's because you're prejudiced, sweetie. Yeah, screw clowns. There, I said it. With their big red noses and their hair and their like polka dots. And your hopscotch and your hula hoops. <laughs> <laughs> you just tiny you, tiny you, clown cars. And their little cars. Yeah, what I recommend doing is uh Yeah, defeat the tomatoes them. first, yeah. Yes, yep. <laughs> Create the path. Get the sauce. Also that sauce is hanging over the edge. <laughs> this this does not feel like a good restaurant. I would give it negative five stars. Well, they're not, they're, they're trying to live their lives. They're not trying to be eaten. I gave it a bad <laughs> review on Yelp. I gave it a bad Tinder and Amazon review. No, thank you. I gave it a bad Goodreads review. There were no books there. 
What a waste. You, you, this could have been have, a wonderful restaurant, but they just won't listen, and they've given up. You've given up. Give up. Move your ass! You fucking donkey! <laughs> so now, now we're going. To... <laughs> well, uh, he he does say that sometimes. He does. He, yeah. Gordon Ramsay loves to insult people with donkey. I know. There we go. All right, now we just need some pasta, and we we're good. Bounce. Bounce. You can do it. I did it. I put it in there, but I died. Oh, oh, I think you have to light the torches. Are there tor no torches? No? Okay. Yeah, you gotta... I don't know what you, I don't know what you gotta do. Did you have to jump in the stew before? Oh, oh, no, I see what happened. What happened was you hit the rim. <sighs> okay, let's do this. Tomatoes. So die. Go, 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 go. Go, go. Encouragement. Attack Encouragement. of the killer tomatoes. Encouragement. Encouragement. They are at 159 here. How do you not know how to cook tomatoes? <laughs> What's a tomato? Sorry, tomatoes. <laughs> <laughs> Undercover chef. Everyone knows it's Gordon Ramsay. <laughs> I'm British, you know. I have many I cooking have... shows. You know what this yeah, is? This is Splatoon 2, Tomato Harder. Alright, so we have to go up here. Now, where? what do I have to do? Ah, oh, I hit the I rim. Got... Donated. Yay. Uh, Ari, uh, no, it has not been an up up updated to include your donation, I don't think. Uh, no, this has not been updated for your donation. Um, I mean, right now we have currently two hundred fifty-nine dollars with your donation, which nice. is very yeah. generous. My girlfriend's very wonderful, but yeah. I, I I see the problem now. I have to get in the pot, not on the edge of the pot, and then we can get back in the cloud suit. Yes. Uh. Oh. As a cook, you are a clown. What are you, uh, an idiot sandwich? <laughs> By the way, you are. What are you, an idiot sandwich? Uh, Lewis, I had a recommendation for you for once you're done with the uh, the heart gold randomizer. Yeah, sure, go ahead. Uh, so I've been like really into the series lately, and I've loved just getting people into it. Have you heard of Dong and Rampa? Yes. Yeah, if you, I would recommend playing those games, but knowing as little about it as possible going in. I know about the bear, and he gets be gets the students to kill each other. That's all you need to know. Yep. Like, that would be a fun uh, stream for, like, doing voices and stuff. Hmm. It, it is a very, I'm like... I'm going to do it afterwards. I kind of want to play a more modern game. <laughs> yeah. yeah that one came out in, like, 2011, so... Well, yeah. You should play yeah. Zero I, Escape. I like, can... like, something... Like, I kind of want to do Fallout, but at the same time, Fallout would take forever to get through. You That's true. Anime game. You sh no, you should do a dating sim. <laughs> do Dream Daddy. You do should do, uh, yeah, do Doki do Doki Dream Literature Dream Club. Daddy be fun. Do Doki I... Doki Literature Club. Yes. And I did it. <laughs> that, one, that one's fun, If again, if you know nothing about it. Okay, we got the moon. Let's go back to the clowns. I also want to do, uh, uh, not Castlevania, Bloodstained. Oh yeah, ritual yeah. of the night. Yep. Well, oh, uh, I'm, hoping, I'm hoping that at Heart Gold we'll finish up around October so I can do a horror game. Yeah, a fun uh, two-player game is a uh, Nidhog. What? What? I don't know if I can do two-player games with my setup. Well, we could play together. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think, I think it's, it's co-op. It's cool. It's definitely local co-op because I've I played it with Casey. It's a uh, basically a 1v1 fencing game where you're trying to get to the end, the edge of a map and sacrifice yourself to a god. Ooh. <laughs> Nidhogg 2 is what I would recommend because it's the better one. Alright, we, we are clowns now. Excellent. We are down to clown. You're a chef clown. Rom Cowboy would be like Fallout from like 3 because, <laughs> you know, I'm all in the first person kind of thing. Plus... Plus, I, I watched Team Four Stars play through a Fallout Four, and that looked like a blast. Oh, 
Oh, oh, you haven't played? Them? Yeah, they're they're really fun. Uh, three, four, and New Vegas are worth checking out. Uh, especially New Vegas because that's the one that actually plays well. Yeah, if I do it, I'd play New Vegas. Yeah. All right. Uh, now, I remember I wanted to get Zenith into Fallout, and I was the one person who was optimistic about seventy six. Everyone was like, "Nah." <laughs> oh, sorry. I was like, sorry. "Nah." I just wanted it to be good. <laughs> Well, oh, the same thing could I'm be said so about sorry. No Man's Sky, but just wanting it to be good doesn't automatically make it. No good. Man's Sky at least got better. <laughs> I got better. <laughs> yeah, once it once it was officially out of beta. Yeah, which was its first what year? Two years. It was two history? years yep. into its lifespan, which was too late. No Man's Sky is another idea. Basically, playing like a sci-fi game when it might be fun. That'd be cool. Um, have you seen Monster Factory? I know of Monster Factory, and I know I know some of the memes from Monster Factory, but I never actually like like watch it in general. I know they just did Star Trek Online. Yeah, I was about to bring that up, and then the Star Trek Online team tweeted out that they put the character in the game. You know what yep. you can do? Monster Prom is very oh, good. That's such a great game. Mo what, was that? what was that? What was the name of the character? Like Yoda something? Uh, it was. Uh, I gotta look it up. A Yoda Star War or something like that. <laughs> Yoda Star War. Yeah, I out of Monster Factory, I recommend starting with the the saga of the final Pam. Yeah, I've heard of the final Pam. <laughs> or of course the boy mayor of Second Life, but that's a little too the, mm. the politics element of it is a little upsetting How now. How do Not I cut that, this cheese? Because of uh, yeah. Anyway, uh, because because we live in a hellscape. Yes, because we live in a hellscape. Uh, oh, oh, okay, uh, I found it. It was Yoda Skywalker Star Wars. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'm gonna f throw frying pans at everybody. Uh, for the cheese, what you gotta do is yeah, the frying pan thing. Yeah. Oh, the cheese. I am a ninja turtle, and I cheese. I defeat cheese. Speaking of as if movie, apparently that's getting a board game. There we go. What? Yeah, muffin time. <laughs> oh my god. I need that. <laughs> okay. okay. This whole stage is. Making me want to go cook dinner. It is. I, am, it, I bet I am getting hungry myself. <laughs> yeah, looking at all this cheese, I I must admit. I'm craving tomatoes. I'm making spaghetti in like a little while. I could go out and get some like and like get some stuff and like make a pizza or something. So we gotta go here, ride ride the cheese. Cheese world. The Chaz. The Chaz. I am the <laughs> This is I am the cheese. I am the best character in the show. The show. I'm the better oh. than the. <laughs> oh, Borderlands. That's another fun one. Look, man, it. Look at all the cheese. Overcome no, Bravo. I'm gonna be doing Fallout. Ooh. Kill off for D20 Live. Oh yeah. That'll be next year. And I got climb the cheese rocks, Moon. We don't know. Probably. Oh right, you missed the nut. That's what you missed—the nut round the corner. Yeah, there were, there were an entirely weird amount of moons that related to nuts, and I'm just like, that's oddly specific considering recent events. <laughs> the other thing to consider is maybe there's just too many cooks. Too many cooks. <laughs> Too many, too many cooks. cooks. Too many cooks. Too many cooks. The longest time you said they did not have the lyric, uh, uh, too many cooks spoil the broth in that theme song, and then I proved no, wrong. No, but yeah, but you every time you sung it, you put it in the wrong part of the song. It Don't takes care, a lot to make a stew. But always put it in the wrong part you, of the song. You said that it was not in the song at all. You put it in the wrong part of the song. It is not in the chorus. I will put... Zena, put it on right now. <laughs> <laughs> I don't care if this thing gets played. <laughs> you are the clown. Perhaps I am. He honks in your general direction. <laughs> <laughs> Why is it, can't you turn into a character that eats the cheese? That is a very good question. I have no idea. Bad game, zero out of ten. <laughs> Too much water. <laughs> but those points were redeemed by the fact that you can play as beef. You can play as beef. You possess beef at one point in this level. 
Well, why are we not playing as beef right now? Because it got eaten by that bird that was disgusting. Right. That bastard. Oh, so there was a moment you got to play as Meat Boy? Actually, yeah, r real quick. Uh, can you can you go in your like bestiary and see what we've abducted so far? Okay, here we have our action guide. Capture actions. So we have captured a frog, a flying Goomba, a uh, chain chomp, a Tyrannosaurus Rex, Yay. a mother flipping T Rex. We have binoculars, uh, a bullet bill, uh, a tiki statue. Um, with sunglasses. With sunglasses. We have uh, another type of dragon that glides, a fish, uh, something weird, a, a tank. A tomatillo plant. A tomatillo plant. We have a fire bro that you can shoot fires. Uh, a wiggler. <laughs> Some fire <laughs> bro. Um, and uh, let's see, a lava bubble and a hammer bro. Here's the real question about this game that will determine whether it's good or bad. <laughs> can you pet the dog? Yes, you can. They yes. added that in. There is a dog, and you can pet it. I've seen it. Yes. Excellent. You could also play cat fetch with it. Yes. All right. Where is the last moon bit? How, how do you play cap fetch with it when when touching the cap will make it, it, it make it possessed? Well, no, it's already wearing a hat. Ah, it's the hat's weakness. Other hats. Yeah. Yes. The thing Where's is, the, the hats are alive the too. Section? Goddamn food is making me hungry. <laughs> Where is that last piece? Uh, that's a good question. Destroy oh, everything. <laughs> Some something weird. Chunk of cheese. As I as I die and then probably have to do it all over again. <laughs> oh no! I just have to find the last piece. Oh, oh my god! Maybe you should have left some cheese so you could jump over there. I think it's on this mound of cheese here, but I do not know. Okay, that's a moon. <laughs> oh. As weird as this is, I just can't uh, help being hypnotized by just destroying blocks of cheese with a frying pan. It's very satisfying. Oh, there it is. Geez. Oh, you know, you found a secret one. Yeah, that was that was a secret moon that I found earlier. Cool. So this was all a waste of time. Keep oh, digging into that cheese. Dig into the Gouda. What if this is just an advertisement for the cheese industry? Clever girl. <laughs> I just want, like, one or two more moons so I can move to the next kingdom. Sorry, you will never leave the Moonlight Kingdom. You can check uh, out any time you like, but you can never leave the cheese. Apparently, there is a part where you can possess a cactus. Really? Also, uh, ones that didn't show on the board are Knucklotex Fists, a mini rocket, um, a zipper, so sticky fingers can happen, uh, with piranha plant, coin copper, a tree, a boulder. The boulder agrees. <laughs> uh, picture match part, proper wiggler, pole, a manhole cover. Yeah, you can possess Taxi. a zipper, yeah. <laughs> People. That's a weird one. Like, just straight up people. Just straight up steal people's bodies. Yep. Who is the real villain of the Mario franchise? <laughs> it's Mario himself. Alright, I'm... I'm, my game. I'm really wondering where this piece is. Because... In the floor. Are you sure that there is another moon? In Wasn't one of them outside? Like Hang you on. Need to grab I'm... one from the outside. I'm looking. Give me a second. Um... Just lay waste to all the cheese. <laughs> Welcome to the Try cheese factory. That maybe. Uh... While you were still possessed. Hmm. Oh, Thanks, IGN. No. That was super unhelpful. What? I, 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 I looked up a guide the... and it was just said, find the pieces. <laughs> IGN Good is advice. not ever helpful. <laughs> no. It's something I've learned. Oh, here we go. Oh, I found a moon. Okay, good, because the guide I found was also not helpful. 
The lantern on a small island. Okay. Now we just need one more moon. Oh yeah, there is a there is a secret uh, painting somewhere in this area that will take you to the secret kingdom. What is inside of the secret kingdom? Secret. It's secret. Secret no door. No spoiling. It's the post-game kingdom. Oh my what God. Do you think of is it full of bees? Can you possess those spiky things? Uh, the spikies, no, no, you cannot. Because the, <laughs> technically, their hats are their helmets. Ah. Ooh. Put the hat. Put Cappy on top of it. Yeah. Hat stack. Hat stack. TF2. This. <laughs> oh no, death. Hmm. You Mario's think? trying to become Sailor Moon. Kinda. A little bit. Uh, He's literally a Sailor Moon. Yeah. Fighting evil by moonlight. Fighting evil by moonlight. Fighting evil by moonlight. Fighting, Fighting evil, evil by moonlight. <laughs> Wrestle with Jimmy. Ooh, Dodger is raiding. Thank you for raiding, Dodger. Thank you for raiding, Dodger. It's cool. Second raid today. Yeah, this is a second raid. I'm gonna have to get used to how I'm eventually gonna switch over to Twitch, so I gotta figure out how I deal with do and deal with raids. Oh, I can help you set up set that up if you want. Like I'm not sure what the what the protocol is on Twitch for these things. Oh, uh, basically can... just a thank you message and uh, I'm assuming you use Streamlabs right now. Uh, right now I just use YouTube. Oh, okay. Well, uh, this is my Streamlabs charity hat. <laughs> you, it's basically your stream command center, and you can set up like a little alerts for when stuff happens. Alert, alert. Um, yeah, like I have alerts whenever any anyone donates, it plays the uh, shut up and take my money clip from Futurama. Um, yep. and then uh, when, when I get raided, I have uh, the Eric Andre will be right back noise. Nice. <laughs> it, it's a little bit of work, but once you set it up, it, it's it's not that bad. The, the thing that took me the longest was setting up the just the charity stream because I had no idea what I was doing. I, I, when I was setting up my uh, my big tax stream, one of the, I was tempted to use Streamlabs for that, but it wanted like full access to, as to YouTube, uh, 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 the account itself, and everything like that. I'm just like, uh, that's fair. Uh, maybe I'll feel differently about tw about doing it with Twitch. Yeah, Twitch is just for streams, so it's a lot uh, a lot easier so for I'm that. Like, why do you need the ability to uh, to edit my videos? <laughs> Okay, I got the final moon, and we can move on. What? No, rats. no, you, you are forever it. in Pepto Bismol. <laughs> <laughs> there's a lot of Pepto Bismol worlds in this game. Look, there's a lot of food. You get a lot of indigestion. <laughs> okay, here, here's the question, Zeta. What is Bowser's Kingdom gonna be like? Let's take a guess. I'm um, guessing tasteful and elegant. Yes, actually. <laughs> Bowser's a class act. Yes. And we have 151 moons. Hooray! I love, I love the design of the Odyssey. Although you need to put some stickers on it. Class it up. I need to find more moons first. 999. Oh my god. Yeah. Like, oh, there's... There. Some some kingdoms have like 69 moons. There are some that have over 100. Alright, let's... Before we go to Bowser's Kingdom, I need to actually get something to drink. My uh, energy is no, running low. You got 22 hours. You'll be fine. <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay. Mm. I love how it looks like a little metro <sighs> line thing. Oh, yeah. That has to be the DC metro. Wooded Kingdom. That's the one I was forgetting. The whole the, the environmental steampunk place. Yeah. Yeah, Wooden Kingdom was actually really cool. Um, I didn't spend a lot of time there. It's got really good jazz music. Also, there's an underground area where you get to possess boulders and a T-Rex. Yeah, the T-Rex is the best summon, in my opinion. Summon? Summon. <laughs> this is Final Fantasy, right? I mean, with, the with a boss coming up. 
Pretty much. <laughs> okay. So it's time travel and someone wants to destroy the world for stupid reasons? I mean, kinda, yeah. Like, I thought this was just gonna be about getting married. Kind of. <laughs> uh. Here we go. I just love all the design bits in this game. I oh, haven't he's going to Bowser's wedding in the clown suit. <laughs> there, I there is a different dialogue option for each complete outfit. <laughs> like you have to be wearing both pieces, but there there are things. And the outfit follows you the eight bit. Like Bowser's there's terrified. <laughs> I'm not joking. <laughs> the good thing too is that there's eight bit like parts of the kingdom, so you can uh, go like flat. And your costume, if you have both pieces, it follows with you. Nice. Yeah. <laughs> like the polish in this game is unreal. Wait, wait, what? Is that a dragon? Yeah. Oh, you're at I told you. Them now. I. We we just entered Dark Souls. Yes, <laughs> basically. Look at this thing. Wow. Also, look at Bowser's awesome shoes. Pretty sure I fought that thing in Smash Bros. <laughs> <laughs> Is this Monster Hunter? Oh, the Rathalosia. Readily, you're way too big to be in Smash. <laughs> Let's see if you survive this, plumber boy. Well, I didn't. <laughs> oh, Guess I'll die. <laughs> and thus the day was not saved, thanks to the Bowerpuff Girls. Guess I'll <laughs> die. Time to did it did it die. Oh, the Odyssey's broken again. Die, 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 How many die, die, times do we have to teach you this lesson, old cap? <laughs> So yes, this I is the uh, that building standing up. I don't know. <laughs> like there's a big chunk ripped out of it. That should be falling in on itself. Man, Frank Lloyd Wright really is a genius. <laughs> you know, you know what? This is the mansion that you guys went to during a silent vo uh, oh, yeah. Get used to voice from the dark. How you beat the, uh, the, the boss. What was that? This this is the mansion from Voice from the Dark. <laughs> Scarfersdale Manor is a little better maintained than. <laughs> hmm, your ideas are intriguing to See, me. Oh, thanks like for the follow, Daph. It's not Smaug, it's uh, Parlanthax, the dragon from Skyrim, who was voiced by Charles Martinet. Okay. I'm a dragon. Dragon noise. Welcome to Dragon Tales. <laughs> dragon does lightning saw blades. Dragon, dragon, rock, rock the, the dragon, dragon, dragon ball Z. More like shadow discs. One touch will send you to the shadow realm. Look out, lightning! The, the dark energy discs. Oh, yeah. <laughs> All right, hop on its head and pull out those those spikes. But I don't want to. What, that don't what the fuck happened to Spyro? <laughs> Get off it, get off it, get off it. Oh, no. There that is. <laughs> You're a dead man, plumber. It is. We got this. All right. I feel like the lightning shooting out of his mouth, this thing is actually related to Ghidorah. It worked. Okay. So this is how we rock the dragon. With my patent impending dual disc system. Behold, this is dragon sound. <laughs> <laughs> what happened? Friends to eternity, know. loyalty, honesty, yeah, stick to the thick it thing. <laughs> oh, right. Isn't a giant spider invasion tonight? It is, but I'm not going to it. Yeah. Rift Jack's alive. Uh. Money is not great right now, so I'm so we're we're saving expenditures for stuff like Rift Tax Live, which you know I can just download later once it you know once it goes on. Yeah. I Second. would go, but I'm I'm kind of like unemployed, well, on medical leave at the moment, so I, I should probably stay indoors. Yeah. 
Once you're able to stand up and not be in pain. Yeah. Yeah, there you go. Yeah. <laughs> that is a cool power, though. I shoot lightning that forms into electrical saw blades. <laughs> I am I am the electric dragon. <laughs> I'm trying to think of the stand name for that. Ride the lightning? God, I'm going to have to frickin' watch JoJo so I get half these references. You really should! I, I'm doing a, a JoJo abridged, and I was going to ask you eventually uh, if you want to be part of it, but yeah. I'll watch JoJo. Is that a JoJo's reference? Me? We, I'm doing the uh, the latter half of season one for a Patreon review, finally. Oh, part two? Ah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. oh, it's, probably... it's still, it's still, uh, no, it's still uh, part one. It's still the first season. Yeah, part, season one is parts one and two. Okay, well... Uh, I left off with, I think, uh, Dio as the vampire. Okay. Like, uh, 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 like, ambushing them in a coach, and, like, the horse got its head cut off. Oh, you mean Jack the River exploded from the horse? That's the one, yeah. Okay, yeah, then you're in the, fir the first half of part one. Woo. Yeah, that's where we left off off in the previous Patreon review. Yeah. We... Enough, uh, <laughs> jo John Page, my, uh, my Let's Play partner, has been watching it, too. He's at the exact same point. Hmm. Hopefully this time I'll be able to tell the difference between rugby and football. I, uh, I, I have no idea what the, that is either. <laughs> like, people people were really irritated by that because it looked like football to me, and I've never seen rugby before. I was the just more worried about how... Language. I was just more concerned that they don't look like their ages. Oh, yeah. yeah. That's the Iraqi that's a, that's way. That's an anime thing more than a JoJo thing. Now we got the power moons. We beat the dragon. We rocked the dragon. All right, let's, the dragon let's will still kingdom. be there too. You can talk to the dragon. Oh yeah, you can talk to him. Ooh, he's what? chill. It's an Aragon. <laughs> I wanted to have the voice of Sean Connery. <laughs> Welcome to Dragonheart. Yep. <laughs> Draconic victory. So I'm kind of surprised. We are pretty much on the final kingdom. And we're at the 10-hour mark. Second to final, but yes. Or second to final main game. You know what I mean. Well, you're focusing on the main plot, not doing any of the you know, side stuff. Yeah. True. Well, there's always time for side stuff. Yep. Yeah, yeah, you can buffer, if you're time. doing a completion run and getting all 999 moves, you'll, you'll need the extra 20 hours. <laughs> In fairness, yeah, 154, not bad. Uh, I should probably, I might need to take a break in like a minute just to regather my strength, but we will go from there. And we'll probably head out relatively soon, I'd say in the next 10, 20 minutes, just to get some food ourselves. Yeah, yeah I don't want to deprive you of food. I should get some food as well. I'm really craving something with tomatoes after that tomato round. <laughs> Oh, well, well you, you, may be, you may be craving Japanese food in a bit because uh, it, Bowser's yeah, Castle is is a shogun. It's fucking feudal Japan. It's <laughs> awesome. Oh my god. Look at, look at this. Look at this. So cool. The showdown. The final showdown. <laughs> Welcome to Yizhong Tower. Well, that's China. Louis. I know, but it looks like... I, it's I Hana, this is Takashi's Castle. It's it is Takeshi's Castle. Oh my god, Takeshi's Castle. Time for most extreme elimination Lewis challenge. Uh, the layout and the bridge and everything, it looks like it in Overwatch. It's yeah. Hanamura, Lewis. Hanamura is Japan. Oh my god, the Gilbert's no. that bad! You don't <laughs> understand places. Architecture is similar. Oh my god, Lewis. <laughs> Whee! Fly, oh. my clown, fly! You can possess these birds. You're gonna need to actually. Ooh, possess the bird and see what happens. Bird, 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 bird is important. Like to get up the, these walls, you need to possess the birds and vault uh, up the wall. Oh, bird, bird, bird. that's inter interesting. <laughs> oh, oh crap! You can do it! You can do it! I did it! Freaking Pinocchio beacon! <laughs> yes. <laughs> God damn! Wow, <laughs> this is the main mechanic in this in this world. This is see, it's stuff like this that just makes me think. Oh god, I could oh, never design something like this. This is some out of the box stuff. Yeah. 
<laughs> I another another great joke from the uh, Polygon military hierarchy video. Shout out to Stove Faced Ogre, whose name makes him sound like he could be a member of the Wu Tang Clan. <laughs> So I need to butt stomp him. Yes. Ow. Like dodge the dodge the thing he drops down and then quickly hop up it and yeah. Great job dodging. <laughs> Dodger, I need you your help to dodge. Dodge. Big dodge. Big Nerd. Dodger in Tokyo, yeah. Okay. There's a moon. We got a moon for just doing the thing. We, we did the thing. Yay! The blood red moon. That means all the yeah. enemies are going to be revived. Oh, crap. It's a super moon. I got a moon. All right. With that, I think I need to pause at least for now and get something to eat. Yeah. Sounds like a plan. <laughs> Uh, thank you guys for showing up. Uh, really appreciate it. Yeah, it's good. Good talking with you guys again. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. No problem. Well, we might. We will see if we can stop in tomorrow as well. Mm -hmm. Cool. Thanks for inviting us. Mm. No problem. Any yeah. word from Nash? Um, uh, Nash last... is currently streaming, so I don't know. Nash, uh, last I heard with Griff, like, they wanted to make sure that uh, health-wise they were okay. So um, I wanted to wait and see, but Griff did say that she wanted to at least stop by if she could. Yeah. Yay. Yeah. Alrighty, um, I'll probably uh, get some food and I'll try to get in touch with them. Uh, but we will be right back, guys, um, with more with with more New Donk City and whatnot. All right, sounds good. Alrighty, I'm back. All right, of course she'll be back now. Go. Cool. There we go. Oh, I had some good chicken pot pie. Um, all right, while we're doing that, we should probably rearrange the people in the stream. That's what I'm going to do. I'm free to drop out if you need me to. Let's see. Let's see, I'm taking out a couple. Yeah, that's fine. Aaron's probably gonna be here, so we'll add Philip. Do you want me to ask anybody or? I think we're good like this, because Hero might join in too if he's here. Hero's already in the group, but yeah. Yeah, so I think we're good right here. Okay. Let me just quickly get set up. Hey, Zen. Hey, how's it going? Everything's good. <laughs> All right, we are back. Whew. Cool. So we have been streaming for ten and a half hours now. Um, to Almost the halfway point. How are you feeling? A little bit tired, to be honest. I'm gonna see how I feel at 12. Um, I mean, we're going the whole thing, but if need be, I'll cut it off at 12 and then do more tomorrow. Okay. But um, we'll see how I feel. In any case, yeah, in that event, I might. Uh, I will only be able to be there for a part of it. Mm-hmm. Yeah. But. I have John's birthday stream tomorrow. Yeah. So let's anyway. re recap what happened so far. We uh, originally had a goal of $100. We shattered that because Ari said, oh, hey, I'm going to donate $100. Then um, we shattered the second goal. And uh, right now my current goal is $250, um, which we technically have already. We have $260, technically. So I'm good with what we have. Um, but I at least want to finish... I want to finish this main story campaign because we're pretty close. But I am getting a little bit tired. 
if you're getting tired, what I would do is because I I wouldn't break it up to two. Yep. I I don't, I don't know what I was gonna say actually. I mean, I could always just do a second charity stream at a time. I, I'm impressed by how much that has been yeah, raised I, thus far. So far, so far. But yeah, let's 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 go until we can. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. Yeah, you missed the Dark Souls boss. You hurt the last dragon over here. You I missed, unfortunately, uh, you yeah, missed I unfortunately the Magic missed, Dragon. I, I unfortunately missed Linkara, which I did not want to do, but oh well, that's really a bummer. His it, timing actually, was not set in stone, so it's like, it's hey, one of those uh, things. If, if you do end up streaming uh, more tomorrow, then you might be back. Yeah. Like you said. Points or yeah. purple points. Tennis. Sorry, I was watching the uh, the game rooms animated for tennis. <laughs> Atari tennis. That's why it's just called tennis. Yeah. <laughs> tennis. Tennis. Back when sports titles were amazing, they were the pinnacle of video game titles. There was golf. There was tennis. There was basketball. <laughs> What's a basketball? Yes. <laughs> What's a paladin? Oh, that'd be a fun, uh, fun charity stream. D and D. Indie would be fun. Unfortunately, I've never actually played the indie. I've. I've been wanting to DM. The problem is I have no, uh, I don't have the free time or patience to DM a campaign, which sucks because I have a campaign planned and want to do another. Yeah, I think you made the right choice not seeing the Rangers. Ah, 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 ah. Alright. Let us continue for a little bit. I may need to take some Tylenol in a bit. Starting to yeah. get painful again. I'm in pain because of my balls. What do you think? <laughs> Lack thereof. <laughs> okay. So we have to do something here. You're just just flipping the bird right now. <laughs> just flipping the bird all over the place. 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 Tweet, tweet, motherfucker. Kitty, what are you doing? Cat wants the bird. Hear her just across the room. That's why they're in pain, baby. God, where is this last bit? Last piece of the moon. <laughs> Alright, I feel like that bit would have worked better as one as one post. Yeah, she really just spammed like fuck you, fuck you, fuck you, you cool and fuck you I'm out. <laughs> yeah, like did. again, that would have worked as one post. Uh Ari, Ari, Ari. Fair enough! Fair enough. Ari, go, go to your room. We'll change your NXT tapings once I know what it is. 
just in case you people see don't something like them. here. Cameron Grimes has a new hat. <laughs> I hate that name. I hate that name. Sweet. Oh, actually, I think I might call it off here. My uh, I'm starting to get some pain. Okay. Mm. Uh, do you want to move the stream to? S oh God, you can't do Saturday. Yeah. Uh, uh, when do you want to do it? Because Friday is obviously. I would. Let's I, try I'm for like next week or something. Um, I apologize, okay. but uh, I, I just with, started yeah. hurting. Like, yeah. yeah no problem. Mm -hmm. It's all good. Um, we got about half of it done. So, with that being said, guys, thank you all for watching. Um, I'm Zenith Warrior Princess. Uh, thank you so much for all your donations. We raised $259 today um, for for trans and LGBT youth. Um, that means uh, a lot. May I suggest where we raid? Because there is that other charity stream going on right now. All right, what is, what is the hashtag? I mean the, mean the, sl the slash oh. slash raid uh, slash raid new legacy inc new legacy I -N -C. inc I'll put it in the chat what's our raid message be Pepto Bismol yeah Pepto Bismol, Pepto -Bismol. hey this is Magami33 thank you for watching Zenith Will Review don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe for more awesome videos. If you like what you see, check out the Patreon page at patreon.com slash